Morning, morning, morning. Now, I've got several things I've got to say before we do the early bird. First of all, thank you for all your messages about Luther. He's absolutely fine now. He slept on top of me. Luther's my cat, by the way, if you didn't know. He slept on top of me, got bitten by a squirrel. His arm all filled up with whatever it, it fills up with everything. So when I got home on bank holiday Monday, he was like that. He had two jabs yesterday morning and I've put, I've had to put Metacam in his food and everything and he's fine today. He's still limping a little bit, but he's eating and he's absolutely fine. And thank you for all your lovely, lovely messages, right? Now, I need to also tell you, right? You know the crochet along that Sam Speedo launched the other day? I have got, how many more have I got? 30. They're already going on pre-order, right? We haven't told anybody. And then Jess from upstairs, well, she's not upstairs yet, obviously. She emailed Ben when he was asleep last night and said there are, thir well, are there 30 once people have checked out or there were 30 when she put them in oh there were 30 when she put them in and we've also we've already noticed people checking out there's 26 now 26 now so that uh, when roy comes in i'll get him to deliver it because he's bringing it up from the warehouse now but i just need to tell you that straight away right let's do this first of all it's today's early bird now, it's something you'd be very familiar with, right? Now, um, already, this, this, I've had it at this price before as an early bird, right? I've had it at that price as an early bird before. We're going to reduce it again today. But what is it you're saying? What is it? Well, you know it. You'll know it because you see it every single day on the table. Right. It's the Quilty Bear, mini iron. You get the little jug and you get the travel case. Now, if you Google Yahoo or Bing that travel case, you'll see that you can buy the travel case on its own. For $16.99. Different make, different make, but $16.99, which would, at the moment would make the iron £12, right? That's £12. If you want to see around the iron or do you want to crash? Crash first then. Crash, 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 crash. So it's only not much, not much, but it's already, to, right, $26.99, right? If you buy, if you were to buy the carry case from elsewhere or, or, or put a value, right, that means the iron would be £10, right? Means, oh, I've got it. Now, it's not a direct comparison. It's just a case like this. Look, $16.99. So it, not the same make, not a direct comparison, but just to show you, right? So take that off there. That makes the iron £10. I know, I know. I can hear somebody going, ooh, like that. Anyway, what is it you say? So you, you get the iron, right? You get 1.9 metres of cable on it. You pl obviously plug it in, English plug, British plug. Um, then, oh, I haven't got no upstairs. Um, now, there is an upstairs camera coming soon, but... Right, so this is where you put the water in, because it's a steam iron. These are your little windows here to see uh, how much water you've got in. This is steam on, steam off. That's your old-fashioned dial there to do the temperature. It's got a little light there, so when you plug it on, the light, plug it in, the light comes on. Oh, now, my Facebook's still on adverts. So, Roy, Roy, stop, 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 stop. Keep going through it. Here's lovely Roy. Oh, here we go. Here he is. Morning, look here. He's You're lovely. Right. Morning, everybody. And Morning. there's Zena. Look, lovely Hello. Zena. Everyone's in there. Yeah. I didn't realise she was so short. Oh, John. <laughs> anyway, look what he's brought. He's brought the crochet along. We'll get on with that. Get on to that in a minute. We'll get on to that in a minute. Anyway, so the little red light here, when you plug it in, it goes off when it's ready to iron with, right? There's your steam holes on the bottom. What's the matter? Yeah, I've still got I've still got adverts coming through on mine. So hang on, let's just let's just switch my whole thing off and come back to it. Right, okay. So uh, then then it's also got. I'll let Michael show you this because we've got Michael on uh, multi-skilled floor manager, operator, whatever his job is, MFSO PP. Um, anyway, look look, it's got that lovely little handle on it there, which is if you've got dexterity issues. Right, hang on, I'm just trying to get the Facebook live because I've still got yesterday's adverts on. Uh, 26.99, mini steam iron with travel case. It's a little lovely. And you get the little jug and you get the little carry case. So you can take it on your holidays. Now, you see, I've still got adverts on my Facebook live. Start again. Let's start again. All right, then. we Right, anyway, so here you go. Uh, so 26 99 make sure you check out on that. This is how yours will arrive. If you're thinking of buying it as somebody, uh, for a gift, it comes in a lovely box, as seen on TV. Bruce, I see, Bruce, what does he use his for? 
Oh, Bruce. Oh, Bruce. He's not in today. He uses it as a travel line, apparently. Right, hang on. I'll put Facebook on again. No, I've still got Delphine on an advert. It might be my... It might be my... Um... Anyway, keep going through for this. Keep going through. Keep going through. Let me just... Are you, all, are you all right watching on Facebook at home? Everybody, don't let me know because mine won't work at the moment. 26 99 Keep going through for this, though. It stays that price till midnight tonight, remember? And then at midnight tonight, it goes back up to 28 99 Right, hang on. Let's just get rid of this. Okay, so other 18 people are watching on Facebook. It must just be me, then. Right, I've got the advert now, the opening titles now. No, there we go, it's jumped now, it's jumped now. Brilliant, brilliant. So Margaret says, morning, John and team. Have some coffee to help stay awake for your busy week. No, I'm not having coffee this morning, but I will later on. Uh, morning, John. Love you in Blackpool, says Patricia. Laurie says, so glad to hear Luther is better. Have a great day. Claire says, morning, John. And also, please, Luther's okay. Hilary says, morning from Bridlington. Oh, hang on, I've lost it again. Hang on a second, I'll bring it back. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on a second. Mine keeps reverting back to the beginning again. Hang on a second. Oh, no. Yeah, you see, I've gone right back to the beginning on my Facebook Live. Right, keep going through, keep going through, keep going through for this. I oh, know, it's a brilliant price, isn't it? Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. I'm just going to try and... Let me switch my whole iPad off and I'll switch it back on again. That might be the best thing to do. At 1.8 metres on, on the travel iron. I'd, I'd I'll switch my iPad off. Hang on. Yeah, I don't understand. I'll switch it back on again. That might be the best thing to do. Yeah, but th th it's not switching off. Michael, sort this out for me, would you? Michael, sort it out. Multi-skilled. Multi-skilled, yes. He's going to sort it then. We were only saying how, what a brilliant thing they are earlier as well. 26 99 Keep going through. Keep going through. We're going to move, oh, now, 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 now. It's not an early bird, but we're thinking if you've got one of those, maybe you'd like one of these as well. So this is your little red. Now, I'll, I'll sh I, have I got one open, actually? We used to have one on the board there. No, I'll have to open one of these. What colour would you like to do first? Purple, right, I'll open the purple then. Purple. Right, so here we go, look, here we go. So that fits, that fits in there like that. If you, take, if you are taking the travel line or you're got keeping it somewhere safe, that fits in there beautifully, doesn't it? Like that. 3 99 so that's your purple one. Oh, we're going with my iPad. It's running off with it. Oh, it's all right. There's nothing to look, it's the work one. 3 99 that's the purple one. That's the purple one. I've also got it in what colour next? Green next. I've also got it in green. Three ninety-nine. Have you got it? Have you got it? Oh, that's fine. If you turned it off, then I could get yeah. right. Okay. Then I've got the pink. There's your pink one. It's very pink, isn't it? That one. Hot pink. Don't you drop it. Last time I worked with Michael was the day the iPad smashed. And I had to buy a new one. Yeah. <laughs> And then I've got the navy blue one. Is it working? Oh. Just turn it back on now, sir. All right, thank you. This is Michael, by the way. Come in here. Hi, now, you might recognise Michael, because if you follow Vix, you and Vix do those sing-along things, don't you? Yeah, over lockdown, we did some songs. Yeah, yeah, so, because he sings. He's a singer as well, he sings. And um, he's in a band, aren't you? Yeah, um, wedding band, yeah. yeah I've, done a, I've done a bit. I've done yeah, a bit. he's been around the block a few times, yeah. you can tell, can't you? <laughs> Anyway, they do that thing when he's at his house and she's at her house and they sing a song, you know, from like The Greatest Showman and things like that. Right, let's see if this thing will work now. Put my, oh, I nearly read out my code. Let, <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, that's the navy blue one. Shall we look at today's menu? You see, it's only saying to me that Saying Street was live. Oh, no, it's live now. There it is. Got it now. Got it now. There's Michael. There's Michael. So anyway, here is the, I've got 33 people watching on Facebook Live now, that's nice. Right, so today we've got sewing room tools at 8 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, Becky Alexander Frost Buffer is in doing the Mayfair bag. We've got it in several different colours. Then now we've got Emily Roberts doing her bag in at 10 o'clock. 
uh, called the Rebecca bag. There it is, the cork bag. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got keeping it together. Oh, now, 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 now. That's a picture of a very old one, that one. I haven't got that one today. Uh, where's the picture of my one for today then? Where's the one she sent into Google Drive then? No, it isn't, because we haven't got that one today. Okay, I'll check. There it is. That's the one we got today. Anyway, when we did it last time, it completely... Look at me, hold on to this. It completely and utterly sold out. Back to the menu. Then we got Folded Star, a cushion with Emily Roberts. It's a panel. It's lovely at 12 o'clock. Right, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second way is by Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out, which I'll just catch up on these. Uh, Kat says, good morning, Sewing Street crew and amazing John Scott. Oh, thank you, Kat. I'm glad Luther's on the mend. Have a beautiful day. Lynn Tewitt. Michael and Vicks have got great voices. Watch them in lockdown. Margaret says, John, maybe you need to borrow Luna to keep the squirrels away. Yeah, we thought, we thought that yesterday. Uh, Claire says, hello, Michael. Wave. Um, Patricia says, a morning, Michael, from Blackpool. Um, Claire says, morning, John. Also, please, Luther's OK. Ruth says, good morning, John. Hope Luther's better soon. Thank you, Ruth. Pam Minihani says, good morning, lovely. Amanda says, good morning. Sandra says, good morning. Donna says, good morning. Lynn Tewitt says, Facebook good for me please that luther's getting better looking forward to seeing becky alexander frost today she's in a mood today uh, my facebook keeps dropping in and out says june that's what mine was doing june anyway the third way is by going to the website www.sewingstreet.com click on watch the show live uh, and then you'll see a white box on the right hand side there you can click on there and you can write your message and they're the ones that come on my bottom later yes right now if you go down you'll see there are two columns there are today's show deals they're the things we've already shown and then you click on pre-order this is everything we've got for the next five hours so look you've got tools tools now i've got some very exciting tools in here because i was supposed to be here yesterday to launch this lamp wasn't i anyway they've saved me some not many but they've saved me some but uh, it'll come in a minute where is it where is it keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going look scissors tools paper needle threaders rotary cutters Pattern paper on the roll, pattern paper on the roll. There's the lamp, there's the lamp, there's the lamp. It's a lamp come magnifier and it's a three in one. It's brilliant. Uh, now, what's this? Other? There's the John Scott book. Now, there's only 56 left. There's only 56 left. There's the cordless, the new cordless scissors. Look, and there's Joe Carter's red panda as well. We've got everything in this out. Then Becky comes along with her first bag. There's your bundles, there's your patterns, there's your hardware, there's all the stuff you need. Uh, ignore that quilting tape, that's only one-sided. There's the 780, which is what she uses. What's sold out? Oh, the patterns have sold out on their own for the Rebecca bag already. Uh, so the only way you can get them is in the bundle. So there you go, there's the bundles for the cork bag. Lovely, so that's a Rebecca bag. Then, oh, we also got, that. we're doing those at 12 o'clock, our upsell so. Then Becky's second bag there which is which always sells out whenever we do it then there's the bundles for it then the folded star folded star folded star right where and there now i'll do this first i'm going to supposed to be doing that first but i'm going to do this first right this is your uh, um sam sabido launched it last monday 22nd so go and watch it on youtube right uh, she launched this, it completely sold out. We, have, we got 30 more back in, right? We were texted last night, oh, I wasn't. Bet I got nothing yesterday. No texts, no sheets, no nothing. 57.99, right? Yeah, it's all right, Ben, it's all right. I thought you'd remember when Hayley sent the message. I thought, oh, we'll realize now he's not sent me the, no. Anyway, anyway, you, what you get in here is you get all of this yarn. Now, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. But you get all of this yarn all of this yarn right it's a it's a crochet along now have we got a picture of the finished crochet blanket oh no can we go to youtube and show the beginning of it right so what it is is you buy this for 57.99 oh this one's got a code in it right i can't show you this right so what you do is when you've bought it these, these are some, not instructions, these are what you do. It's a 10 week crochet along. Every Monday, Sam will release the next part of the pattern via a PDF pattern, which I will email to you. Week one will be launched on Monday, the September 12th. That 
Oh yeah, but that's come yet. Yeah, that's come September the 12th. That's in 12 days time, isn't it? The final part will be on November the 14th, giving you plenty of time to finish it by Christmas. So what you do is you buy it. When you get this, I can't open this because this one's, this one's got a code in it, right? So if you email Sam at the email address in here, quoting your unique code, she will reply with an introductory email, including all the links to the Facebook group, the website and everything like that. So that's what you need to do. Now, I don't know how many of those are left because we only were given another 30 and four had gone before we even came on air. We're just checking now, we'll just have Seven have gone. Seven have gone already. I'll keep reminding you during the day. Right, there it is. There, thank you. Thank you ever so much uh, for that. There, oh, there it is. There it is. Look. It's just behind, hanging on the, the wall behind Sam. It's lovely, isn't it? So beautiful. Go and have a look. Don't go now. Or you could, well, actually, you could go now because there's only tools in this first hour. But no, no, I'm only joking. But if you um, go and have a look on the 22nd of August, YouTube, 12 o'clock, right? Then um, uh, you can see Sam demoing it, for, showing you all about it, Rebecca Reed launching it. There she is holding on to it. I'm gonna keep that on the set all day because I'll keep showing you that. Right, now, yesterday, I was supposed to be here yesterday, wasn't I? But because of poor old Luther, I couldn't be, old message, like, please say goodbye to Ben, who is soon returned to university from Virginia. Ben, I didn't know you were going to, he's a bit old, isn't he, our Ben? Mature student. We've also got to say hello to Becky, because Becky had her operation yesterday. Apparently, it, went, it was a very difficult operation. Very difficult, because something had grown round something else. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Michael. Sorry, sorry. We're only live on telly, don't you worry. I wouldn't come to one of your concerts and do that. Oh, maybe I would. In between going, get off, get off. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Becky, we hope you get better soon. She had her operation, it all went well. And for once in her life, she had no makeup on. I know, I'm, I'm, and you can't do this in a hospital gown, can you? So she was well, not flat chested, but you know, she wasn't balconetted up like she normally is. Anyway, let's get into that. Let's do the light, let's do the light, let's do the light, let's do the light, because I was meant to launch this yesterday. I'm glad Vicky got to do it. I'm glad, I'm glad she was able to just cover my shift right. We have been talking about this magnifier lamp for so long. And it was mainly because June wanted it, right? June really, really, really wanted one of these. So um, Claire, the owner of Native Lighting, designed one and then wasn't quite right. So she redesigned it, redesigned it. Anyway, this is the finishing. Now, I can't tell you how many of these went yesterday. So many went yesterday. Now, it's totally and utterly exclusive to us. Don't show that yet totally and utterly exclusive to us now it was only supposed to be exclusive for for uh, like a day or so right they've extended the exclusivity now so it's you can only get it here until i think it's next a month next monday yeah next monday and after that after that the price will be 146 pounds 99 pence for here as well Right, okay, so it will be, because Native Light Cell, they're very strict about what they're, which is why we get into trouble when we reduce them. They're very strict about how much people, because, you know, around the, the different ambassadors and everything like that. Anyway, so it will be 146 146 today. 146 99 but you can't get it anywhere else. And hey, she's only going to release it to other people next Monday, right? Next Monday. So this is the only place you can get it. Now, you're looking at this, aren't you? You're going, John, I thought you said it was going to be a floor lamp. John, why is it called a three-in-one? I'll show you this picture, first of all. Look, you get all three of those. Obviously, you don't get three lamps, but you can use your lamp in three different ways, right? So... Here's the table version, right? So this is, I'm not going to move it because I've got it lined up with the upstairs camera to show you the beads in a minute. This is the table version, right? Oh, it's lovely. I love it. I love it. love it. Right. This is the floor version. Now, I'll just lift this up. It's nice and sturdy. It's not too heavy to move, but it's nice and sturdy. Right. You can't see that, can you? It's gorgeous. It's so, this is the same lamp. You get all of this in the kit, right? So you can, it'll be like this, right? Then what you can do is you can add this and this to make it a floor lamp. Or, oh, that my iPad nearly went for a burp, nearly went for a burp and then. Or you also get this to make it into a clamp and that's really substantial as well. So you get all three 
You get all three. Oh, there's loads of people messaging. Gemma says good morning. Uh, Andy Lynn says good morning. Becky says good morning. Oh, thank you very much, Dean. Oh, June bought hers yesterday. Oh, June, you didn't buy it from me. That's my Christmas commission. I'm not on commission. <laughs> not on commission. Uh, hello, MSO, says Amanda. Uh... Uh, Joan, Joan says, morning from a sunny Cambridge. Great to hear Luther's better. Julie, hello, Julie. We'll miss Becky, but we'll catch, watch later. Rebecca, oh, Becca's there again. Jill says, morning, you look good today. It's because I've got a haircut. Apparently, I look very young from the back. Kat, our producer, came in and went, you look very young from the back today, John. It's nice, isn't it? Dareth, morning, John. First time I've been able to watch Stone Street live. Uh, Shelley says, good morning. Kat says, good morning. Uh, oh, Michael and Vic, oh, we've done that one. Right, who, what did you just say? Right, I've, okay, they're going into baskets. Be quick, be quick, be quick. 139.99. Now look at the split pay. Look at the split pay, 69.99. No interest charge whatsoever. Now, do they come from us or do they come from her? They, these come directly from Claire in Native Lighting. Well, not her, in her warehouse and everything like that. She just moved into a new, bigger warehouse. So now, look at this, right? That's it. I, I'm not going let me show you this bit first and then I'll show you around the lamp right so I've got my beads this is me from upstairs this is the lamp from upstairs right right these are beads right look at these these are beads right and look 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 look, look. 1.75 magnification Aren't they brilliant? Now, what I love about this lamp, it looks so... I'm going to move it now. So I did that for the... Uh, first of all, it's got this really lovely solid base on it here. Now, it's heavy, obviously, because you don't want it tipping over, but not too heavy that you can't move it, right? What you do is you plug it in here. Now, it's not a chargeable one. You have to have it plugged into the electrics. And it's a proper plug, isn't it? Yeah, it's a proper plug. Oh, now. Yeah, it's a proper plug. Look, it's a proper plug. Plug that back in there right right then so it's proper plug then you get the very fabulous now the goosenecks that native lighting use are brilliant because you can't feel any nodules but look you can bend it around like you can with all the others you can bend it to where you want it to be put it up higher if you want it to be or anything like that but look at this look at this look at this right which way is the, oh there you go there's the best way to turn it look at the shape oh sorry is that too bright look at the shape they turned the lights down yesterday they had lights. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look, it's got two. Now, it has to be daylight because obviously the manual. Oh, 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 my giddy aunt. Look at my age spots and my wrinkles. Anyway, anyway, look how brilliant does that look? What? Off one, two. Off one, two. And look at the shape of it. Isn't it a lovely shape? Now, you know why she's done it this, this, like this? So you can bend it. Because you know what? Sometimes, like, when most magnifiers are like that, aren't they? And they're onto the table. Which is fine if you're working on something on the table. But imagine if you've got a tapestry... Well, what? Oh, be careful, be careful. And how many have I got? I don't know how many I've got. Oh, now be careful. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Right, because if you're working on a tapestry or something on the wall or an artwork or something like that, you can turn it sideways and you can use it like that. Does it work both ways? I'll turn the light off. Oh no, because it'll be dark. I'll be dark behind it. Step away from it a little bit. Step away from... Is that far enough away? See, there you go. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Is it good? It's 1.75. Now, you think 1.75 is not much, but actually, it's, you were saying earlier, weren't you, Michael? It's a brilliant... 1.75 is actually a really, really, really good magnification. I also love the fact that it's nice and sturdy and solid. Not heavy. Now, it's LED, so it's not going to get hot. Now, didn't she say if you use it for eight hours a day, which you're not going to, are you? 20 years. Eight hours a day for 20 years. And if you've got any issues, you just get in touch with Claire and she'll sort it out for you. So now, re remember, remember... It's got the lovely heavy base. This is how, well, I don't know how it comes in the box because we haven't actually got the box here. But you get this version. You also get the clamp. So what you do is, oh, right, you get an Allen key. And what happens, I'll just turn it over so Michael can show you the underneath of here. You see under there, there's a big chunky Allen key. You unscrew there, right, with your Allen key. We don't know what uh, floor cat's done with the Allen key. We don't know where it is, so I can't actually show you. But that, oh, no, I can show you on the other one. I can show you on the other one, can't I? Look. Big, right, I'll, I'll come to that one in a minute. I'm getting overexcited. Just calm. 
calm calm right so it's like that you can take that bit out uh, in fact I'll show you on this one so the floor one is here right so that's the height of the floor one at full height so what so what you get oh lots in baskets lots in baskets lots in baskets right what you get is you get right uh, how am I going to do this right let me un I'll just there's a little screw here which I'll, sh sh I'll show you here look right on there on the back of there there's like a little screw can you see so I'm just I have to put it down on the floor to unscrew it because I don't want it to come undone so you take that screw out I put that say so look there's your lamp there's your lamp right so if you want to make it into a clap so that fits into there and you put it on with the allen key or it fits into there and it becomes your clamp on lamp a uh, clamp on mag lamp magnifier or let me just put it down safely this is what you get so this is the base that you get <coughs> that you get anyway you unclamp you unscrew that from underneath there don't you because there must be an allen key under there there's the allen key hole underneath there right so you screw the base onto there and then this bit is in here and then at the top here there's like a little hole and there's a little hole on the base of the lamp and you line those two little holes up and you just put that screw in and you screw it together is it oh that's we can make it longer and shorter well i'm sure you just unscrew it like that oh <laughs> oh <laughs> June, you're gonna have so much fun with this. Look at that! That's not what it's there for. All right, hang on. How? Oh, it comes out. Oh, 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 oh! I see. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. Will that go in there? No. Right. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, what you do is you get this. You make sure you well, the bit with the little hole in is at the top. You unscrew that. You drop it in. Anyway, so you can have it any height you want. So if you're sitting at your armchair, right, you might want it a bit lower. You know what I mean? Once you've screwed it, it no, it doesn't do that once you've screwed it up. It's only when you unscrew it, you can do that. Right, or at its, at its height height. So if you want it over the table, and what's brilliant is if you are gonna have it next to you on the sofa or the armchair, this is, look how, look how slim that is, right? Look, can you see that, Michael? It's just standing there, it's going, oh, yeah, not in his head. That there will slide underneath your armchair, underneath your sofa, won't it? So you can have it right next to you, so when you're doing your work. Now it's 139.99, it will go up next Monday then, it must be, next Monday it will go up to 146.99. Next Monday, it won't be just exclusive to us, you'll be able to get it any old place, right? Oh, we've only got it in white. We've only got it, and we won't be getting the black version. Well, no, no. Okay, so the black version is being discussed, but it, it, even if they do it with black, it'll be way, way, way into the future. Now, how many split pays is it? Two, right? So, what day is it? Today? Oh, it's the first of September tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, you, now can I just say I'm going to send 25 years ago today, Princess Diana left us. 25. Oh, you weren't even born. Charlie, what, how can you remember it? You weren't even born. <sighs> anyway, let's not go there. I just kind of came out to me. Um, 1st September, so we'll take your money. Like if we take your money at midnight now, let's call that 1st September. 1st of October, if you buy it as a Christmas present for yourself or somebody else, it's paid for, isn't it? Because you paid one today and one in a month's time. 139.99, exclusive to us until next Monday. Split pay with no interest. If you put it on your credit card and did it into two payments, you'd pay interest, wouldn't you? Keep, keep going through. It's very sturdy as well. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Lots of you got it in your baskets. Lots of you going to... And I've got to get... Look, what time is it? It's half past. Hayley will be messaging in a minute. Go, get on with it, John Scott. Right, hang on a minute. Let me just put this back so we don't lose anything. I'll let Michael sort that. I'm putting the screw there. It's your responsibility. Thank you. Yeah, now I've got so many things to tell you about. Right, look, oh gosh, you know what? <laughs> let's bring it back, let's bring it back in. Right, let's switch it on. Where do I need this to be, hang on. Because 
Look, now lots of people have been asking if I'm going to make this in bigger print, right? It's not going to be in bigger print. It is going to be in audio. It'll be me reading it. I don't know when they're going to fit me in, though, because I've got to go to Brighton to record it. But that's by the by. And I, I'm, I'm not allowed to tell you this, but it might be going into 30 different languages. Anyway, look, look let's have a look, see, see if it works. Where's the writing? Can you see it? Can you see it from there or not? Oh, hang on, I can make it, I can make it not so bright. There you go. There, look. And if you don't want to read it flat down like that, oh, look, 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 look. You're not going to be able to see this. It'll be like, oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I'm just looking at the Rumbledy Thumps recipe. Uh, this is my book, 12.99. 12.99, comes with a signed photo. Now, how many do you say we're left? 56. 55. There's only 55 of these left now here at Sewing Street. Let me just do it like this again for you. Can, you. can you see? It might be a bit bright for the camera to take. But look, 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 look. How, and I'll just open it on page like, look. Oh, that's where, it's, that's where the camera doesn't like it, isn't it? There you go, look. Oh. That was London again, and Man that's when I moved to Manhattan. That's the little story of when I moved to Manhattan. Oh, actually, look, look, how, no, oh, oh, you see. Michael knows what he's talking about. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Right, so that's the book for £12.99. Let's just put the lamp back in just for one quick leap before I move on. Uh, because there's loads you've got in your baskets, make sure you check out. Remember, exclusive till next Monday. We'll go up to 146 99 next month. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. How many people now have got it in their baskets not checked out? 15 of you need to check out. I'm not, I'm not saying you won't get it. I'm not saying, I'm not doing that. There's 15 in baskets and only four left. I've got enough, I've got enough, right? But 15 have now got it in their baskets. Please, please, please make sure you check out. Two lights and it's daylight. Oh, 16 in baskets now. It's daylight, right? So if you're matching color, matching fabrics, matching thread, whatever, or if you're doing an embroidery, a cross stitch, and you think, oh, is that the same green? Is that the same green? Or red or yellow? Then you can check, can't you? Right, let's move on. Because I've got... Uh, so many things. Right, this, right, now it's only plain paper, it's not the dot and cross paper, but we, uh, you know when you buy a book with patterns in, or you buy a pattern and they all cross over, and we say trace it off onto some paper, right? Dressmaking pattern paper, there's how much on it? 10 metres. It's a metre wide, which is plenty wide enough for most pattern pieces, right? And it's 10, I'd buy a few of these. In fact, I didn't know that we were selling these, and there were two in the office and I nicked them. Months ago now, months ago, and they're in my, in my workroom upstairs, in my house. <laughs> anyway, 8 99 for 10 metres of paper, pattern paper. I know it's fantastic, isn't it? Really, really, really good, right? 8 99 I keep moving it the wrong way, don't I? I should be in the West End, me, shouldn't I? 8 99 pattern paper. Now, well, they're giving me music to dance to now in my earpiece. Anyway, it's patent paper, it's from Prim, so it's good quality. I've not opened, the one I've got at home is, oh, actually, what did I use it for? I've, I know I've used I think I might have wrapped a present with it and drawn pictures on it. But anyway, 8 99 8 99 Right, now, if you're going to do your own pattern tr transferring, you need a, ro a tracing wheel. Now, for some reason, I've got two here. Okay, they look almost, they're absolutely identical. Oh, is that prim, is it, that one? Now, have a look at this, right? These are two different makes, right? I'm showing this from upstairs, right? These are two different makes, they're identical, look. They're... Anyway, so I'll do the prim one first, which is OQ, OQS830. I don't know what the difference is, apart from, that one's 3 99 and doesn't, it comes in an envelope, so it's environmentally friendly. Nice wooden handle there. The spikes are long enough, but they're not going to do you any harm. They're not like mine that looks like a torture thing from Game of Thrones, because mine, the, the pins on it are about that long. Oh, there's so many messages. Dawn, can't wait to hear you read it, John. I heard your voice as I read it. Friar Anne, good morning, John. It's wonderful to see you. Pam Minihani says, I'm, it's my birthday tomorrow, 40 plus VAT. Uh, Lowe says, what a shocking day that was. What day was that, Lowe? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, of course, of course it was. Your face was a picture when you found the springy thing, says Amanda. Margaret says, morning to a low. Oh, they're having chats amongst themselves now. 
just woken up after a night with oh I wonder what that said Jill I just thought it said just woken up with all my friends no after a night out with my friends feeling a bit fragile Isabel says gl uh, glad Luther's improving morning John just caught up says Isabel anyway that one's 3 99 this one from Millwood oh I'm exhausted already I'm going to do five hours today I didn't sleep very well because Luther slept on top of me all night and I couldn't get much sleep. What, do you want the number? I did. I had, I had to sleep with the cat blanket and he had the whole duvet. Oh, that one's only 2 49 That one's only 2 49 That's the difference, the price. There was something else I wanted to show you about pattern cutting. Oh, gosh, yes, of course. Just think, Charlie, now they're used to sleeping in the bed, they're going to expect you to let them sleep in the bed. Charlie's moved into my house on Monday. Charlie and Hat, his girlfriend, while I'm away on holiday, they're moving in to look after the house and everything like that. And last, yesterday I started writing a note. You know, you leave your... I'm on about page 10. They're going to be spent their first night just reading all the notes about the house. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. Don't worry if this bit of ceiling falls in on you. It's that kind of note. Meter stick, if you're drawing your own patterns, you need a, oh, is it a meter or a yard? A meter stick, meter stick. In my day, it was just a yard stick. Yeah, I'm going to run out of energy. Um, there's nowhere to have coffee, Low. There's nowhere to have coffee here. We're in the middle of a big industrial estate. Yeah, they don't do soya, though. No, I know. It's like Greg's, they don't do soya either. Oh, Stephanie got the magnifying lamp. Well done, Stephanie. You're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. I'll go back to it. I will recap it before the end of that. In fact, in fact, I'm in the 12 o'clock hour, I might bring it back in the 12 o'clock hour as well. 4 99 Me to stick. Charlie, the wine is in the garage. He knows. <laughs> You know, you, know. you can't get to the wine fridge at the moment because it's surrounded by all the cushions. So what they have to do is put all the cushions from the garden furniture out into the garden. Then they can get to the wine fridge. I realise there's whiskey in the bottom of the wine fridge as well. And there's also a lot of red wine on the floor beside the fridge. Right, lots of people asking about Joe Carter's Red Panda. We launched this last week, right? And we've got some left. Now, these come directly from Joe. I'll have to show you a picture of, the, of the, what you get in the box because we, we've got that. Now, I don't know where you might get that from, whether it's on our website or on her website. $29.99. This is a Roddy the Red Panda. Isn't he just adorable? Oh, right. These are the fabrics, right? So you get the ginger fabric. Uh, you get the white fabric for the face, you get the brown fabric for the face, you get the white for the nose, and you get the black for the uh, tip of the nose. Uh, what day did we launch it? Sorry, I can't remember. 19th of August. Please go and watch it on YouTube. It's adorable, right? You also get a free badge. Have we got a picture of the badge? Can we go to her website? No, hang on. Where will it be? Is it, on, is it not on extra details? The day we launched it, we had pictures of the box and everything like that, with everything in the box and the badge and everything. Oh, Nurse Julie, what are you doing to message me on YouTube? I can't see those. Charlie's just seen that one. Nurse Julie normally comes through on, YouTube, on Facebook, doesn't she? Fiona, when I did a lot of house sitting, I used to ask for notes. It's very sensible. Well, it is, because you don't have to use the washing machine otherwise, do you? 29.99, it's two owls design. Joe Carter, two owls design. Don't worry if you can't find it. We can get it another time. Oh, we've only got 20 minutes left. Look, I've, I've got to get on. Got to go. Don't worry, Ben. Don't worry. I'll just put it back on the shelf. So that's my book, The Red Panda. Uh, the pattern paper, the light, the iron, the crochet along. Now, I've only got one of these left. Now, it seems that every time we do the show... Oh, it's got... It's sold. Sold, sold, sold. Right, and what'll happen, what'll happen is I'll do, I'll come and show, do a show next week, there'll be one next week as well. We sell it, and then there seems to be one just pops up. One just pops up, I know. It's gone anyway, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Right, let me show you this as well, because this is brand new. This is brand new. I, I, we launched this with uh, the Franklins boys, you know, um, Gary and gorgeous George. These, now you know we've always sold electric scissors because uh, we used to have, well anyway, these are, look at the price. Look at the price, right? This, and the weight, the, I don't know why I'm doing it with that hand as well. The weight, right? So it's fantastic. What you do is you can either use it plugged in or you can charge it up, right? 
Right, you only have, you only have one. New one's cat. Look at the price, cat, cat producers just come in. I oh, know, they're half the weight, you only need one set of blades. You can even do, what do they call it, skinny tin? No, what do they call it? Skinny tin, what do you have on your show? Do you have skinny tin on your show, cat? It's very fine tin. You can cut with these. Right, you can do straight lines, you can do curve. Right, now I did get this one out for a different demonstration, but we're not gonna have time. Oh, this is Lynette Anderson, Michael. I can't be cutting up Lynette Anderson. This is her new range. No, no, it's too late now, I'm gonna start. Right, you ready? Oh, I was gonna do a straight, straight line. Ooh. Look at that straight line, but watch this if you do if you're doing dressmaking. I haven't done that very well. I've got a bit wobbly there, but look, you can do curves, you can do everything with it. It's they are and I right, okay. Cat the reason Cat came into the gallery then went, you're I'm not an I'm not a fan normally of electric scissors, right? Because they're too cumbersome, too heavy, you can't get precision. These are the weight of a normal pair of scissors, right? 79.99. Oh, hang on. Now, that's supposed, that's supposed to have been taken off. So you still got the introductory price with uh, nine pounds and a penny taken off, right? These are supposed to be more. So these should be 89 pounds, really, right? But these are fantastic. I'm sure he called it skinny tin. Yeah, craft. It is like craft metal, but, but they called it like skinny tin or something like that. Um, Hang on, Crazy Rain says, morning, John. Sandra says, morning, John. Can't wait to see you in Belfast tomorrow. Oh, I've got to be in such a grump when I get there. I'll be so tired. At uh, 79.99, 79.99, they're fantastic. Brilliant, right. So that's that, they, now I'm not sure if they come from, have they got a little shit, have they got SD next to them? Got a DS next to them? Oh, okay, I don't, I think they might come from us and I thought they came directly from Franklin's, but sounds on my cup, but mind you, we've got this new system and it doesn't work. Does it really, if you think about it? No, new systems never work. Right, next. Excuse me, I'll just have some ginger water. It is a branded, it's jewelry maker, we don't have our own, it's a jewelry maker cup. Right, where are we going next then? I can eat you iron cleaner. That is uh, RMZW01. You know what? In a costume department, you never, ever, ever have... You're, you buy these by the lot. I nearly said something very rude then. I'm overexcited. You shed load. Shed load. You buy these by the shed load, right? If you get gunk on the bottom of the iron, you use this, right? So what you do is you switch the iron on to get it hot. Then you switch the iron off. Or I always leave mine on, right? And then you literally take that. It's like a lipstick. And you kind of wipe it on the bottom of your iron. The smell is disgusting. You've got to do it in a um, ventilated space, right? And then all the gunk burns off the bottom of the iron. Wipe the iron down afterwards with a damp cloth and a dry cloth. And remember, always do... Oh, where's our iron gone? Oh, there it is. When you finish cleaning, always clean on that bit under... The, obviously yours, if you haven't got these. Clean under there as well. And also... Make sure after you finish cleaning it, do a few squirts with um, the steam because I got caught out like that years ago. Clean the iron, busy iron in a costume, did some steam, brown, gunk came out of it. But it's fantastic, 2 99 Julie Vaughan. Hello, Julie Vaughan. Uh, morning, John and team. Love the iron cleaner. Don't breathe it in though. No, exactly what I was just saying. Just saying. So that's that, that's that, that's that. We've got a lot of tidying up to do in this three minutes, Michael. Oh, now these, I don't know why these are here, but... When we did a colouring in panel the other day, we didn't have any of these. Well, I don't know. How many have you got? Oh, they must have had a new delivery. Must have been a new delivery. 13 99 Now, what these are is that you see the, all the different rainbow colours there. There's a fat nib on one end and a thin nib on the other end. You can iron, and not iron, you draw your colour in on your fabric, right? Then you iron the back of the fabric with a hot iron and then it becomes fixed and you can wash it up to 40 degrees. So you can do t-shirts, denim jackets, bits of fabric. That one stays here, that's it. And that one goes, bring your trolley, that's it. 
We'll just have just helping Michael tidy up well because there's lots to do. Anyway, get these, get these, get these. They're fantastic for colouring in. If you've got black and white fabric, you've got fabric you want to highlight. If you're doing sand tangle, you can um, you can uh, do a bit of sand tangling shading with these. That's when we had them last, wasn't it? With the sand tangle lady, Sandra Tangle, she's called. She's been on, yeah, she's been on, yeah. Mrs. Tangle, Sandra for short. It's not a real name. She's really called Sandra. I thought she was Sandra Tangle, and that's where she got San Tangle from. She's not. She's Sandra something else. Nothing to do with it. And it's, what's it called? It's tangling. You do tangling. Yeah. Anyway, 13.99. Gorgeous. Loads of those baskets. That's what Roy brought up. That's what this goes in. At $13.99. Any of these left? That's your pattern paper. Then I'll do it one more time, then Michael can put it away, you see then. Oh, there's a few left. Keep going through for that. Keep going through for that. It's $8.99. You get 10 metres of dressmaking pattern paper. In fact, you're going to need this for tomorrow because Rebecca Harrison, I'm, I'm not on tomorrow. I'm in Belfast tomorrow, but Rebecca Harrison's on tomorrow doing dressmaking. Somebody else, somebody else on tomorrow. Thought it was red. Oh, Susie Duncan, she won't be doing dressmaking. Loads of in baskets. Oh, they may sell out, they may sell out, and I'll just recap the meter stick. I'm only doing it so Michael can start packing away, you see. He's got a lot to do. I wasn't very good at javelin, I was quite good at discus. 4 99 the wooden meter stick. This is what cats are, producer cat's favourite. No, oh, she's not ours anymore, she works somewhere else now. Four ninety nine. Mm, I wouldn't. Four ninety nine. Right, moving on. Michael can put that away now. Oh, you. He can put the beads away. Oh, you can put the rope those away. Right. What else? Oh, you can put that away. Right. Where am I going next, Sam? Oh, rotating cutting mat. The big pink rotating cutting mat. No, this is 18, this one, yeah. 18 inch. Oh, it's only one left. That's it. That's the one you'll get. No, you won't get, no, this is the one that's been touched by me. Right, so use it as a normal rotary cutter. Um, not rotary, rotary cutting mat, right? But look, ka ching, ka ching, ka ching, unlock it turn it over and it becomes a rotating cutting mat. Now that, because it's 18 inches, you could fit your block on there, couldn't you? You could fit anything on there, as long as it's less than 18 inches, obviously. Use your long ruler. 32.99. And then you just lock it back up again when you put it away. And it's got a lovely soft bottom, so it doesn't slide on your table. Then I've got the 12 inch ones. Uh, which colour do you want to do first? Blue first, because that's his favourite. There's only 10 blue ones left. Here we go, look. So again, it's a solid little mat there. It's got your inches. It's got your circles. It's got your 30, 45 and 60 degree line. Right? What are you looking for? Oh. Go up. Right. Unlock, unlock, unlock. Da -da, da -da. Rotating, cutting back. 1699. We also have it in green. I haven't got a green one to show, so I'll just show you the packet. There's one. There's the packet. Quick question. Where have we had no messages on the bottoms? We had no messages on the bottoms. Morning, John. Uh, just tuned in. Please can you tell me how Luther's doing. Lots of love the show, Sarah, in Merseyside. Sarah, he's absolutely fine. He got bitten by a squirrel. His arm got all poisonous. He couldn't walk on it, so if he, he did, he'd fall over. He had two jabs yesterday morning. He stayed under the stairs all day. By seven o'clock, was out playing in the garden with that uh, ghost. And then all night, slept on the bed, and he was purring so loud all night. And then at one point, I woke up, and he was actually asleep on... I was on my side, and he was sleeping. And he, rather than wake him up, I slid the duvet across so he could still have the bed, and I had the cat blanket. 
I, I could have gone in the other room and got a quilt, but you know that thing where you go, it's like, shall I have a drink of water? <laughs> I want to drink of water. <laughs> like that. Anyway, 1699. 1699. But you also know no, they also purr when they're frightened. So it's not just that they're happy, they also purr when they're very frightened. 16, he wasn't frightened last night, but. 16, 19, it also, um, they say, if you have anxiety or, um, you know, high, not high blood pressure, but it, it calms you down. It's very good for calming you down, cat purring. I know, right, moving on. Next. Oh, they're lovely to have, but oh, when they bear poorly or when they, when they go running on a road and you're just like this the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Right, next. APP hexes, they're one inch hexes here. It's not very interesting to look at, there they are. 3.99. Vicious tree rats or squirrels, they say. The thing is though, I think he's most probably got the squirrel like that and the squirrel was just self-defending -defend itself, you know, and bit him. I don't think the squirrel would just run up to him and gone, oh, you're Luther. <laughs> I think he'll have like had him in a headlock under a tree somewhere. 3.99. Gorgeous. Yeah, that squirrel won't do that again. Mind you, I don't. I, it'll be interesting to see if he goes out with them again now. Well, let's see how many days he stays away. Because I need them to have their jab jabs on Monday. Before I go on my holiday, I've got to go to the vet with the cats, right? That's going to be a nightmare getting them there on Monday morning. 3 99 That could go away, Michael. Thank you. Uh, that's, not, that's not in the air anymore. Righty ho. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. Just in the blue today. The multi mat. Now, this is ours. This is a bit dirty now, this one. We shouldn't really be showing that one. In fact, let's, do, let's, let's put this to one side and we'll keep that one because this, that's too embarrassing to show now. That's a hot iron done that. Right, because this is your pressing mat here, but then inside you've got your sandpaper for when you're drawing using your pencils. You've got your block keeper there and you've got your cutting mat for 19 99 It might have been a deep snore. No, Fiona, it was only when I was stroking him. How would the Panthers cope in London? I'd be terrified. Well, Sue, Norman and Nellie lived in London quite happily. I did see Nellie got knocked over by a John Lewis's truck. And I, she ran across the road to meet me as a John Lewis's truck came that way. And I saw her fly through the air and I thought, oh, that's it. Anyway, she just went like this. Oof, and carried on walking like that. These, the trouble is when I lived in Twickenham, they'd follow me into town. So I'd be, I'd be walking on the high street and, I'd be, and I'd think, oh, that sounds a bit like Norman. And I'd turn around, there'd be Norman follow me down the high street in Twickenham. So uh, anyway, anyway, so there's that mat's lovely, that can go away. Right, uh, right, now if we're going at 5-2, I'm going to recap the lamp then. I'm going to recap the lamp. Yeah, right, okay. This was launched yesterday. I'm calling it a lamp, it's a magnifier, three in one. Uh, I'll get... Um, Charlie, to show you the picture why it's called a three in one, because you can either use it as. Had you lost it? Oh, it's not you, sorry. I thought, oh, I thought it was the director doing the pictures. Right, look, so you can have it as a, a floor lamp, as a table lamp, but you also get it with a clamp. Now, so many people have got this in their basket. I just need to tell you, I'll do the, the science first, right? It's 139.99 today, and we'll stay that till Monday. On Monday, next Monday, it goes up to 146.99. You get split pay, 69.99, interest-free completely. Totally and utterly exclusive to us. Nobody else has got this, right? They sold loads yesterday, loads and loads of them. And because it, it was supposed to be my launch, they said, oh, you can do it again today. Oh, we've almost matched it today. Oh, my word. Right, you need to check out. So how many have sold? Right, OK. We've almost, we've, oh, we will, we will. If everyone's got it in their basket, we'll have matched yesterday's. We'll have matched yesterday's. Woo -woo. Anyway, look at the shape of it. Look at the shape of it, first of all. It's 1.75 magnification, off, on, bright. It's daylight only, so if you're matching threads or fabrics, things like that. The reason it's on a side like this is you can use it, oh, you can use it like this. 
Am I in the right place, John? Oh, yeah, perfect, right? You can use it like that. I'll show you my ring like that. 1.7 magnification. There, there it is in real life. 139.97. Now, it's 1.75 magnification. It goes that way, but Claire's designed it so it can do this. So if you're working on paint or imagine if you're doing little miniature painting or drawing or something like that. Uh, brilliant, isn't it? So remember, you can have it as a table lamp. You can have it as a, a, a tall floor lamp. And you also get this, this clamp, which means you can do a clamp on lamp as well. 139.99. Right, please check out, please check out, please check out if you've got that in your basket. Oh, we go. Just finished reading your book, John. Lovely read. Please add some photos the next one. Love the show. Karen, if I'd added, because it's self-published, if I'd added photos, the book would have cost you about 59.99, not 12.99, because it's so expensive. Unless you've got the, the wherewithal to do photographs, like, you know, it, it costs so much money to put photos in. I, I would, and also, I can't really put a picture of me and Piers Brisbane on a beach and stuff like that without his permission, can I, and things like that. So it's, it's so something a bit difficult. I could do the one of me and the lion, or I could do the one of me in a see-through Mac, and oh, I found the photo, by the way, and all that sort of thing, I can do that. Anyway, I've got to go. Straight after the break, Becky Allen's under frost, we are doing this bag here, which is called the Mayfair bag. And we will see you in four minutes from now. Hi guys, I'm Becky Alexander Frost and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials, which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost. And most of you might know me as Baffer in the studio when John and Vic say our ah, Baffer when I message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags, as you can see, I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags, um, however, there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Claim to fame, I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, basically I used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaid dresses for me and my sister and basically I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature by the way. Um, she said I'm a bit young to learn her words and basically she said maybe when you're a bit older. So my when I turned eight I basically learned to hand sew and by the age of 11 I had my first sewing machine. I'm now in my late 30s, but still act that eight year old. My favorite tools or top tips. So, I have two best friends. One's called the Bulky Sea Maid, which is this, and one is called Quilter Stay. This will help anybody, the Bulky Sea Maid will help anybody if you've um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot. This will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch. Now this is my best friend for when I would come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot. I mean a lot. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Hi, it's Yvonne here. As you all know, I was born in Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland. And we're getting to that point in the year whenever I get to go home. From the 1st of September, the Stormont Hotel in Belfast becomes the home of Quilt Fair, which is an event that together with my friends, Margaret and Helm, we have reintroduced into the, North, into the island of Ireland. We are really looking forward to this, our second event. We have retained many of the features that you like from last year's show. We have those nice wide aisles. We have all those expert traders and our free talks and demos in our schoolhouse. In addition, this year we have added our creative workshops 
which Sewing Street have so generously sponsored for us. So this year we have added in two exhibitions. One of them, Old Roots, New Shoots, is from the Irish Patchwork Society. And the other exhibition is the work from our traders. It's, it's entitled, This Is What We Do. So I really hope that I will see a lot of you there. We thank everyone for their continuing support in this venture that we have to create the best little quilt show in Ireland. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! I don't know why everyone's giggling. No, no, everyone's giggling. What's the matter with you, Becky Alexander first? You running in with that chair. Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> no, no, because it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Becky Alexander first here. Say hello to everyone. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I've taken this off from the shelf. There's nothing behind your head now. So hang on, let's put this up here. Right. Uh, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. I haven't yeah. seen you. Oh, I've seen you, haven't I? Yeah. I saw your face for a quilt. Because yeah. I haven't seen you for ages. Yeah. You changed the hair, colour of your hair since then? Um, my husband did it, Michael. Oh, I'm worried about him. <laughs> Don't be. No. Um, is, it his new, is his new career... Oh, hang on, it's caught in your microphone. Is it his new career? Is he going to become a hairdresser instead of a bank manager? No. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't trust him. It's only, He's done it's, a nice it's, job. It's that conditioner stuff that you wash in and wash out. Oh. So he yeah. hasn't sat there with prop side <laughs> or anything like that? No, he did a good job, though. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> He's called the Ginger Ninja. I tell you what, he wouldn't leave me alone at festival clubs. Yeah. Oh, oh he's yeah, right. Badgering me, <laughs> give us a hug, John. Can, can I come through the talk, John? Everything he wanted to be my assistant on the stand and everything, didn't he? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, illusion. Uh, all right, let's make a bag then. If she's going to be, oh, no, he said another rude word then. I've got to be kidding. That's you. I, since you came in the building, it's all the bad words keep popping out today. Anyway, look how professional this bag looks. I, I, no, that sounds wrong because all your bags are professional. Thanks. But you know what I mean? It does not look like a bag that you've made. And I no. don't mean that rudely. I just mean with, uh, with uh, all the instructions and all the finishing on this, it's really, thank you, Charlie. It's a really, really, really high standard. But it's not uber difficult, is it? So no, no, you, no, I'm going to take at you. home, could create something as gorgeous as this. That's what I'm saying. It's just, it looks like it's come off a design. Imagine if you went into one of those designer shops and you saw that on a, on a high shelf and you said to the, and you said to the little lady, you know, or little man little or whatever, lady. they might not be little, they might be big, but the person in there, I'm just imagining my local, at Bista Village, where you go to the designer shop, you go, oh, how much is that handbag? And they go, oh, like that, one of those, remember? <coughs> like the shop that wouldn't let Julia Roberts in when I was working with Julia Roberts. <laughs> anyway, look, this is gorgeous, right? Now, what we've got is we've got the pattern, pattern with, with hardware and fabric bundles to go through. So what I'm going to do first is because the, pa the pattern with hardware is going, let's do those first. Because you know what happens when Becky shows, they always, everything sells out. Everything goes, right? The second hour is already flying out. The second hour when we're doing that lovely bag it all keep up. Keep it together. Keep it together, yeah, if you bag wouldn't it mind. All up. <laughs> bag it all up. Spice girls, spice up your life. Right, I don't know what's the matter with me today. I'm a bit hyper and I'll calm down in a minute. It's you. Me. It is you. Right, are we doing silver or are we doing gold first? Silver. So what you get in here <coughs> is you get your instructions, your templates, your zips and all the hardware you need for £48.50. £48.50, that's a lot of hardware. And please remember that Becky and her family have sat and they've counted all of these out. They've done everything, done your zips, done your zip pulls and everything for you in that. Can I just say that actually is cheaper than what I actually sell it at? What? 
So they're getting it nine pounds cheaper than what I actually physically sell all those items for. So if you were to buy all these items from you, it'd be nine pounds more. Yeah. Is that a mistake? Has Ian made a mistake? No, no, no. It's the You've done it specially. Yeah. <gasps> Becky, you'll never be rich. No, no. You'll never be able to afford a dining room table. <laughs> You know, I tell this story every time, right? <laughs> so in her flat, right? I used to say, she used to do videos from home and I'd go, look, you can see the fridge if you look really closely. Anyway, now, <laughs> right, the dining room table's gone. You all right? Need some yeah, water? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Dining room table's gone. The fabulous cutting table and everything's gone in, right? And I said, where do the kids have their dinner then? Um, and she went, on, the, on their knees, watching the telly, right? I said, where do you have Christmas dinner? Around the cutting table. No, that's my cutting table. They have to have their Christmas dinner on their lap. But then I saw something else was delivered this week. My, um, my cutie free arm. Um, my long arm. Where's that gonna go? It's already up. Yeah, no, but what, what have you taken the out? Moved. <laughs> so the family are like this in the corner, and Becky's like this making her bags around the rest of it. I don't know. Anyway, this is the got the silver one, £48.50. We've also got it. What I love is when it's what you see here, the teeth of the zip are silver coloured to go with it. You get the gold one, and you get gold teeth with this one. Now, you see that other zip in there, the yellow one there and the grey one in here? They're all with, different colours. So that, you might get a random colour, yeah, yeah, yeah. but this zip, you'll definitely get a black one yep. with, with both the teeth. gold teeth. Yeah, yeah. So there's £48.50. Remember, that's £9 cheaper than if you were to buy all those bits from Becky uh, individually. And you get all, Now, this isn't the one I've got to make... A, this is the one we haven't to make an announcement about, is it? No. No, that's fine. Wait, that, I think that's later. <laughs> Later announcement. Right, if you just want the pat on its own and you don't want the hardware, here's the pattern on its own. <coughs> flying out, absolutely flying out, as all Becky's patterns do, £13.50. Now again, you get everything you, you get everything you need to know in there, right? Morning Bex, love the new bag I need in my life from Sue in oh, South Africa. Morning Sue. Morning. Is that Sue pattern tester Sue? Is that a different Sue? I think that's a different Sue. Different Sue. Right. Um, because a few people have been saying they're looking forward to you coming in. I'll find yeah. a minute. Um, also, if you get stuck, you don't mind people contacting you, do no. you? Saying, I'll sort this out for you, I'll sort that out for you, and everything like that. Um, anyway, £13.50 for the pattern. There it is. Gorgeous. Now I've got three, four, four colour bundles. So let me do this one first. You get two metres of fabric. You get a metre of the PU and you get a metre of the, is that lining then that one is it? Yeah, but you need, um, you need your lining. To oh, when you line your, your straps and everything, that's why yeah. it matches, yeah. You don't get the horrible plastic <coughs> bag inside. <laughs> that's me. Grey and grey, this one. Grey and grey. Which one are you making in the, the, the brown. black? Brown, okay. Right, okay, so that's grey and grey, a 19.99. Two metres of fabric for 19.99. Right, now the one that Becky's going to be uh, demoing is the brown. So you get the brown PU and the, I think that's <coughs> chestnut, I think that might be. Beautiful. Dark brown, 19.99. Now the one I'd choose is this one. Oh, message on the bottom quickly before I do on to the next one. Uh, I love that Becky is combining her design studio with her family life. Not everyone has the luxury of a sewing room. I use the dining room table from Katie Merced. Kate, you've got a mansion. I thought you lived in a mansion. <laughs> when I looked up on Google Maps, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> right, this is the one I choose. Your gold. That's going to look gorgeous, isn't it? Now, would I go with gold or would I go with the silver? You see, I might be a little bit controversial to have the silver. silver. I was just thinking that Because it's myself. that lovely soft gold, isn't it? That do the silver um, hardware on that one. 19 99 Right, now, uh, <coughs> then there's black. Just want to go for solid black, black PU and black, the black cotton. Everyone does like a little black dress, you need a little black bag. You do. No, I think I'd definitely do, well, I think I'd do silver with the black. Yeah, definitely, yeah. But it's up to you. Obviously, we all have different tastes, don't we? Now, you're also going to need some, you don't need tracing paper, I don't know what that's doing there. Um, you're going to need some, now, can you, is it a choice or do you have to have both of these? Right, no, so it's a choice. So as explained in the pattern, um, there's multiple ways of using it. So depending on you need to know your machine, what it can cope with. Because right. there is a bit of a bulky area. Right. So the foam stabiliser you can use um, all over the bag. Right, okay, so this is the foam <coughs> first of all. 
Now this is not iron on then, this is um, no, it's sew, sew in. in. This is a sew in foam. And it has drop, to be sew in. Drop the code, DRM, has to be sew in. Has it has to, to be. Has to be sew in. It's in our form bosal. Sew in, has to be sew in. If you're using anything from your stash at home, it has to be sew in. That's 10 99 Will I use all of that? Um, no. Oh, no, it's loads, a couple though. of bags out of that. Yeah. Minimum. Okay. So I'll, I'll let Becky explain the rest in a minute. And then I've also got H640. That'll make the bag quite slouchy, but that's if your machine has... Hasn't got the, the wherewithal yeah. to get through it. So that's 9 .99. And you'll also need some iron and interfacing, I presume, because you put that Definitely. on everything, don't you? Yeah. You might already have this iron and interfacing there. Uh, that goes on everything, <laughs> including the husband. <laughs> when he's making the tea, cleaning, dyeing her hair, looking after the children. <laughs> I know. And holding down a full-time job. Yeah. Right, so that's everything for sale. So you won't need me to interrupt anymore. But, oh, no, so, so basically, the, the Bosal makes it like this. Yeah. The H640, you get the same bag, but it's just slightly softer, slouchier. Softer. Yeah. Um, and also, if your machine isn't going mm. to go through that, go with the H640. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. All right. So where do we start? Well, now, what are you going to show us today, first of all? Um, I'm going to show you how to make the outside because a lot of people have been saying they're going to get confused okay, so over keep, that. I'll put that near you there, so it might be just... But I'm also just going to quickly talk through the pattern. You do what you want to do, girl. Off you go. Right, okay. So on page... Three. three. Is it Samantha Fox? Three. Three. Yeah, three. <laughs> on page three and four, um, it explains... Does um, it talk about threads on those pages? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> right, so depending on what fabric um, you're using, some won't need interfacing, some will need interfacing. So I tell you, basically, which types of fabrics. I even mention sewing streets, um, soft PU in here that it needs interfacing. Now, if you're using cotton, you'll need interfacing, but if you use like a thicker cork or something like that, you'll need to not interface it. I do actually mention, if you're stuck, let me know, email me, and I've got all the details of emailing me on here. I'll physically help you out, and I don't mind. Um, so, please read all the notes. There is like two and a half pages of notes. If you are using the Decaful Light, um, which I mention, um, you need to fuse that on straight away. If you're using um, sewing foam or the fusible fleece, you don't do that until you're told to within the pattern. Right, okay. So you carry on, I'm just measuring something behind you. Okay, no, that's fine. Right, so I'm gonna start off with doing the these bits here, the straps, and attaching that to the main body. So, We've got the two pieces, the top and the bottom, so that's your top piece and your bottom piece. And you're going to put your um, tape on either side, and you're going to peel that off. Right, now, I need to just say something to you very quickly. I said I wasn't going to interrupt, but the one that's on pre-order today, don't buy that one, the tape, because it's only one-sided. Yeah. And you only use the double I side, don't you? And the one they scheduled for the show has got one-sided. So when you, if you buy that one that's on pre-order underneath us, I've taken it off the table, but if you buy the one on pre-order, it's only one-sided, so it won't be able to do like this. Uh, can I just say very quickly that uh, June, it's 80 inches long, the lead for the lamp. Uh, Becky, great to see you. I love that bag, says Crazy Lorraine. Love the Mayfair bag, and I love Becky Alexander Frost, says Michelle. Oh. Uh, uh, Lo says, morning, Fred. Morning. Susan says, morning, John and Becky. I love this bag. I saw yours at Festival of Quilts. Do you have this bag at Festival of Quilts? Yeah. Uh, fabulous bag. I do love watching you together, says Lynn Tewitt. <laughs> morning, Becky. Any tips for working with PU, says Julie Vaughan. And Judith says, morning, both. It's Giggle Central today. No, we're being very professional. So you'll talk about working with PU in a minute, will you? Yeah, um, I'll just say a few basic things. Yeah. Size 16 needle. Yeah, tell um, Julie Vaughan, not me. Oh, sorry. Size 16 needle. Definitely a walking foot. Um, lengthen your stitch length. And if your sewing machine can do it, adjust the pressure. So that's how much the presser foot presses down on the fabric. I think I've just put something on the um, fans page in one of the comments anyway, and it's like a massive comment. Oh, okay, brilliant. So yeah. if you, or you can just private message. Me yeah, now. brilliant. That's Julie Vaughan, she will do, yeah. Right, so I'm just bringing the two edges on both pieces into the center on the wrong side and sticking those into place right <clears throat> right 
Right, so I've got wrong sides facing up on both of them. I'm just going to run some more quilters tape on the back. Okay. That's a lot of quilters tape, I know. Yeah. Only uses the double-sided quilters tape, though. Yeah. What do you use the single-sided for? I've always asked Actually, this. I don't know. Yeah. I've Let me find the packet and I'll read the packet. It might tell okay. me. Right, so I've done two strips of wash-away tape or quilters tape. Yeah. Um, on that side. I lost well, the it to Michael earlier and don't know where it's landed. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the one end here, you're going to pop this wrong side facing to the wrong side and match up the two short edges. Right. I'll have to wait for Michael to come back. <laughs> That's fine. And then you're going to do that to two pieces. Yeah. So two steps. From that short edge, still working on this side, you're going to measure in four inches and it this is a leather marking tool so it rubs off right so oh we don't tell that then no um, we should do though we should tell them that shouldn't you right so we're going to sew either one or two rows of stitches either one eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch or just a quarter of an inch away down to this line and you're going to reverse your stitch at these two parts now you're probably wondering what part we're doing it's this bit here so we can't see the raw edges. The raw edges are underneath the right. wrong side. Perfect. So we're doing this bit here. Uh, Sue said, um, <coughs> isn't single side to join quilt batting? Well, uh, yes, but I don't know. You still only be able to stick one side, then the other side wouldn't be able to stick to it, would you? Unless you do it like a bandage across it. I doubt that would be, though. Um, Lou Labelle oh. says, hello, I found out about you at the Festival of Quilts. I am loving this. Well, oh. us or her. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad you joined us, Lou Labelle. Right, so I'm using a stitch length number four because it's classed as a top stitching and it's going to be seen on the outside. And I'm only going to that mark and I'm going to reverse. What machine are you using, Becky Alison Frost? My favourite machine, the 780 80 plus. plus. Yeah. Michael, you know that roll of. Um, that, like, have you got it? No, 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 it's like a roll of, of it looks like, um, yeah, sorry, I'm just going to read the packet because we don't know what you use it for. Oh. So it says the single sided <coughs> is for, um, okay, so, uh, oh, I see, when you're doing alterations, use it instead of pins. Oh, right, like uh, a marking tool. Yeah, use tape to mark pants lengths when you're doing marking. Hem folds. Oh, okay. So it's like for just it's like using sellotape. Yeah. Hold pleats. Oh, when you're making pleats, oh, hold pleats yes. in. Do not press over the tape. Loops in, like you know, if you're doing lots of ruler loops down the back of a wedding yeah, dress, yeah, yeah. holds yeah. all those in place. Ruffles will hold ruffles in place, um, but it's not double sided. That's why we're not showing you today. That's no good for putting the zip in. Right, I'm just doing the last row. There's the time machine, £2,789. So this is your go-to machine now, is it? It is, yeah, because obviously I quilt and stuff like that. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah, it's my go-to machine. Good thing about it, it detects. So when you're going through, if you've got the AD foot on and you've got the AUD um, stuff on it, it detects how much pressure it needs to put down. Oh, uh, brilliant. So I don't have so to adjust it. So if you're a bag maker, it's a fantastic one for it's bag a fan making. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, a good, it's gorgeous. It's the next one up from mine. <clears throat> is I've got the 680. Yeah. That's the 780. It's got all whistles and bells and things like that. And it's just a fantastic machine. And you can put more stitches into it. Oh, can you? Yeah, so you can program stitches into it oh. from Janome. And it's got a walking foot, has it? Do you yep. say put a Oh, it's a tiny walking it's foot, a, like a big one like yeah, mine. Yeah, it is a big one. No, no, no. I meant as in my actual box of my, oh, my yeah, walking yeah. No, foot. No, it's no. a big box. That goes no, it in the back. goes into a black box at the back, which is built in. Oh, so you have to put it on and off like mine. No, you, just you pop do. It down. You do have to put it on and off, but it, oh. the machine does all the talking to the black box. Uh, so, oh, black box like in an aeroplane. Yeah, yeah. I thought you yeah. meant a black box for it to live in. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Right. So I've done all that. So we're now just going to run quilters tape on these this part here, which we haven't sewn. Uh huh. Laureen also says that single-sided quilter tape is used to mark the quilting lines. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, I haven't thought that, see. I use masking tape. Do you? Yeah. I shouldn't say that really out loud. No, that's fine. I? Yeah, 
Remember, you can get the sewing machine on split pay, five way split pay, £557.80. Comes direct from Elna, so as soon as you pay, you make, make your first payment, Elna. What day is it today? Wednesday. 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 Oh, you might possibly. Oh, that's pushing it the weekend. Beginning of next week, definitely. I had mine at the weekend. Oh, did that's you? So I ordered mine on Thursday, got it on the Saturday. I also, I also want to say to you, is you're not paid by Elna, you're not an ambassador. No. It's like me, I bought mine, so we're not paid by, we're not ambassadors for that company. It's no. the machine we cho chose to buy. We choose. And the yep. children went without food for a week. Yep. <laughs> and the month. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm just going to grab the first one. Yeah. And I'm going to peel off the two backing plates. Then I'm gonna get the top main body piece, right side facing up, here we go. Oh John. no, we've got to count numbers. Yep. One, two, three. I'm not that bad no more, shh. Oh, can you do it now? Yes. She couldn't use a ruler <laughs> when I first met her. Right, okay, so using the measurements in the book, yeah. you measure the first measurement at the top and then the measurement at the bottom. Obviously the measurement at the bottom's wider than the top one. And you stick this right next up to the, the quarters wall. Just get rid of this. Got these pieces of thread. And then you repeat the same over this side. Yeah. I still have to count in my head though. Oh yeah. You, you yeah. know when you're coming in not to count out loud. Yeah. I do it in my lives at home. I do it? Yeah. So you've got a YouTube channel, haven't you? I have, yeah. This will actually be on um, YouTube Live after I've finished the bag. That's um, later on. Right. That starts on the 15th. For oh, seven. hang on, hang on, hang on. So you're going to so you're gonna do it live, live? Yeah. Not so it's not a recorded YouTube. No, but it still it stays on. Oh, yeah, obviously. It stays on. So, so you can do one of that one later on. Yep. On what day? Starting on the 15th. 15th, but we'll do that, we'll do that. So yep. it's like a sew along. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you can do this one as a sew along as well. Yep. Oh, fantastic. Yep. So buy it now and then be ready to do the sew along with, with so you'll do like an hour and do the first hour's worth and then another next yeah, day or a few uh, days later yeah i'm going to do it weekly because yeah, i'm so busy be life much, yeah. yeah um so i'm doing an hour and a half on thursdays until that pattern's finished take a couple of weeks off and then work on to oh. the next pattern yeah princess is helping me her princess what's it yeah her majesty what's she doing for you she's my admin on um oh YouTube. okay she's not going to be there no, in your no, house no, doing no. the sewing or anything <laughs> right okay so starting off where i left off we're going to reverse our stitch here and sew all the way down on both of those yeah either one eighth of an inch away or a quarter of an inch away i'm just doing quarter of an inch are you going to ali pally no are no you? i'm not either no that's not long, is it? No. You've got um, Belfast this Tomorrow. Week. Oh, have you? I've got to get up at three o'clock in the morning to go to Belfast in the morning. So you're going to the Kennedy Airport, whatever the airport's called? Oh, I don't know. Is there more than one? Oh, oh is, I've got no idea. A tractor on there, she's picking me up. All right, okay. I've, I've checked in, I checked in last night. And the only trouble is, I, I can't check in for the journey coming home the next day until Til the, tomorrow. It's yeah. just confusing me, so I can't check in. Do you know that. where you're staying? I think I'm staying at the same hotel that the, the quilt fair's at, I presume. All right, OK. The yeah. store month, but there's no Starbucks or Costa nearby. But a tractor's checked and they'll do my soya vanilla latte for me. So you're not going to have time to go to the Belfast Museum? Not going to have, I have time Titanic to go and see Museum. friends and everything. I'm flying in, doing the show, doing a talk tomorrow night, doing Radio Belfast, doing BBC Belfast, going to bed, getting up and coming home. <laughs> I'm back in here on Saturday. Oh no, you're going to be tired. Yeah, well I'm going on holidays on Monday. After I've taken Luther and go to have their jabs on, on Monday morning and clean the house properly for Charlie and Hats, then um, I'll be going on my holidays. Oh, where are you going? Kefalonia. Are you? Mm. My mum and dad's have been there. Oh, it's lovely. We went last year. Oh, I was going to say, didn't you go there last yeah. year? And then next year, we're going to have to go to San Diego because my nephew's, well, he's got married already, but he's going to have his wedding on the beach in San Diego next, next summer. Yeah. Mm. Hello. Right, please don't look at the stitching. This table's a bit higher than what I actually am. Do you want, us, <laughs> do you want a thing to stand on for the next hour? Yes, please. Can we have the block? Oh, there's a box next door, apparently. Is that, that Sally Harrison on. box? No, it's um, the lady who does the feathers. Yeah. Yeah, you know the one. Chrissy Dayton. Chrissy Dayton. Oh, Chrissy Dayton, yeah. yeah. Right. right, okay. So, in the pattern, it tells you to go and put the hardware on, but because we're using foam, we need to 
just move to this part here first, do the base. Okay. So we're just going to attach the base along. <clears throat> oh, Princess, can't wait for YouTube Lives. Love your Bex from Princess. Thank you. <laughs> I just love watching Becky on YouTube. She's so helpful. What, this Becky, Susan? <laughs> Does Ginger Ninja make any appearances? No, because I operate it all myself now and he's actually working in the other room so you might hear him shouting down the phone, you know. Oh, what, when he's doing a business meeting? Yeah. <laughs> Does he work from home all the time now? Um, three days a week, yeah. <gasps> well, but that's a nightmare. No, it isn't actually, because I keep tabs on him. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Michael. <laughs> yeah, love right. you, Michael. <laughs> Three eighths of an inch away um, from there and reverse your stitch, drop your stitch length down to a standard stitch length, which is about 2.5. You kids will be going back to school next week, won't they? Um, the oldest does. Oh, the, the youngest doesn't? No, the youngest goes about three days, four days later. Oh, okay, that's right then. The youngest goes to a specialist school. Oh, okay. The oldest is um, in the final year of exams. O levels? No. A uh, levels? No. O levels. Oh, GCSEs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that one. The 16-year-old one. Yeah, I'm going to say yeah, not yeah. that old, are they? Hi, <laughs> Becky. Watching you from very hot Spain, says Isabel. Oh, Isabel. Very nice. Very popular, this machine. Good. OK, so... If you're using the cotton version, you just press that open. Right. But because we're doing PU, we can't press it from this side. Okay. So, so, so um, it, it's a bag that can be made not just out of PU. You can use your favourite quilting fabrics you or something like that. You can use quilting. You can use canvas. You can use wax canvas. Oh. You can use anything, really. Very nice. Or tell it would be nice made out of, you know, a dark ooze fabric. You know, um, dovetail. Dovetail, that Afri yeah. That African um, wax cotton would be lovely. In some yeah, of those, it would actually, it? yeah. Tell you what would be gorgeous, if the main bag was made out of the wax cotton and then you had a complementary colour, like the straps and the, and the bits sewn on, they, and the base would be beautiful, Well, the it? pattern is actually written, so it's got two contrasts. So oh, it's, yeah, it's see like now, the front yeah. of the pattern. Yeah. Where you've got pink and blue. Grey, yeah. Yeah. Is it blue, sorry? Yeah, and is that PU on the picture of the... On yeah. The, there, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> right, OK, so we've yeah. now attached the base. We're now going to go and attach it to this, which is your sewing foam. Right. So you're going to pop it down. So haven't ironed anything? No, because it's PU. And do you use a roller? Or is it fine just like you've just been this doing This soft it? PU is really nice when you actually just put a bit of body heat on it. It presses into oh. place. But... Um, some PUs will keep. Yeah, so she uses them. Michael to roll on the bag as well. <laughs> he right. has, lots of, has a lot of uses in the house. He does. Right, um, because it will move around, you're just going to have to use a bit of quilt and tape on the back. Uh, watching my two favourite people, love you both from Dawn in Cumbria. What's Aww. she watching then? <laughs> Richard and Judy. <laughs> or oh, you're watching Ben and Charlie in the gallery. Here they are, look. <laughs> Working hard as ever. Look how Ben just la lounging. <laughs> I'm sorry, but his takeover was so funny. Wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it brilliant? I, and the, um, when he was Google searching. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what that means. <laughs> nice lounge, though, hasn't I know. It? Yeah, he's just bought the hat. If you've not been watching his makeover on, on the... On his, no. If you follow him on his Insta... Or, it's on Insta on Facebook. On his Facebook. It's uh, as, he, as he, he does befores and afters of each room. No, right. It's a bedroom next. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, like a red room. He's having panelling. Uh, and what, and navy blue walls or oh, something? Oh, wow. What were you saying? A red room. No, it's not red. <laughs> oh, no, can't. red would affect his... <laughs> it's not allowed red. <laughs> right, OK, so I've just put some tape on. Yeah. going to flip it so it's wrong side facing down. Lovely. And then we're going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around on a long stitch length, but you're going to have to move those out of the way. OK, you should get that quilter's tape to sponsor you, the amount you use. Um, you need quite a lot with that bag. I'm just warning people. Yeah. And we have we got any? Have they just sent the wrong one? Not sent the wrong one. Have they? Have we got any on the <coughs> website? The double-sided quilters tape. Gosh, racing along. 
Well, I suppose because it's stuck down, it's not going to move anywhere, is it? Um, it shouldn't do. Yeah, no. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's good, they've got the walking foot already on the machine. Dawn thinks Ben is my biggest fan. <laughs> no, oh, hang on. Oh, OK. Oh, yes, it is. Princess said the red room has gone over John's head. I don't, <laughs> was that something rude? Did you say something rude? Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, uh, I've not read that. <laughs> we were not allowed to talk about that book on it. Not when my book is it, let alone. Oh, I didn't know that. I've never read it. Oh, is it rude, you bad girl? You know I read smut Michael, books. Michael, what does the red room mean on Fifty Shades of Grey? I yeah, see, Michael's not read it either. I, oh, really, Charlie? I'd never have guessed that. I can't say out loud what Charlie's just said, but he's gone, John, it's the room where this happens. I'm like, oh, Philip. <laughs> I'm naughty, I'm sorry. There are no red rooms in my house. No, my book hasn't got a red room in it, Low. Oh, we've started something <laughs> off now. <laughs> Low's just got a dirty mind anyway. Oh, you? Low. Oh, Low, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, OK, so what we need to do is cut away the foam to where the stitch um, oh, okay, yeah. line is. Do you do that for the HX40 as well? Um, I explained that you have to cut it back before you fuse it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course you would, because you wouldn't be able to get away, would you? Yeah, yeah so you just... So they're very thorough, as per usual, your instructions then. Yeah. People aren't going to... This is why it's important to sit and read them all, so you don't think, oh, HX40, I know how that works, fuse it down, and then go, oh, you should have trimmed it beforehand. Yeah. Uh, love you two together. You make me laugh out loud. Still in bed, recovering from spinal surgery. Well, that's wow. not a red room, is it, Lisa? <laughs> That won't be a red room. Are we going to get into so much trouble for talking about I red rooms? I think we are. Yeah, we'll stop talking about red rooms. Yeah. Then. <clears throat> eh? Yeah, all the officer in today. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah, I've got them some biscuits as are well. Are you having a red room then? <laughs> You're not painting a room red, are you? I'm being serious now. Not to, not to do the book. Oh, well, what's the matter? What's Christine said? Uh, red would be off-putting, says Margaret. <laughs> oh, my word. Carol, I can't be reading these messages out. <laughs> Carol sent the messages. My mind's dirty as well, especially when you mention inches. <laughs> Honestly, it's a so... In we have to measure in inches and centimetres. <laughs> oh, dear me. This oh, is we're really, we're, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. That was your <laughs> fault. That you started that off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just thought, no. I was going to let it drop. The what? I was going to let it drop because you didn't get the Because I didn't know what it was. No, and I just read that message out then. <laughs> I love watching you turned up smiling, feeling better. Oh, Susan, that's nice. We haven't been on for a long time. Have what? We? we haven't been on together for a long time. I haven't time. seen you for apart from at festival of quilts things. I've not seen you for ages. Because no. I'm only on every eight. eight uh, that's just slow when, when you're making of imagine you've got so much going on haven't you it's getting the manufacturers to make all that stuff yeah. in time i think the last time i saw you i don't think i've seen you here have i seen yeah, you you've seen me once oh, when emily I... first started oh okay okay yeah then. but i remember doing that one with you that wasn't here was it no that was in no, the other no, studio no, right. right okay so right. we've got this far first well, you're making carol not cry now i'm laughing so much i'm crying <laughs> says carol <laughs> Don't cut into the bag, <coughs> says Becky. Oh dear, you're getting a bit wayward with your scissors over there. Fred in the red, it says now. Fred in the <gasps> Look red. Look what you've started now. <laughs> I do apologise if you're having your breakfast. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so you've got to feel where the bottom bit is here. Yeah. And you go in six and a half inches up. Right. What's that thing called? I don't talk about inches. What, um, what's that pen called? that we need to get in stock. It's a leather marking tool. Just called a leather marking tool. All right, could you write that down, Ben? Leather marking tool, and we'll have a word with Paul afterwards. Yeah, it's, you don't leave it overnight on PU. It just rubs off, like so, and it's gone. Right, okay, so I've just stuck tape around about one and a half inches down on the tabs. Yeah. <clears throat> and you've got to do that horizontally. That way. Okay, you're going to feed on your rectangle rings. Mm hmm Okay. And you're going to pop 
the the bar of the actual rectangle ring at the six and a half inches from mm -hmm. the six and a half inches from where you can feel this tab is and then you're going to peel off that fold that over and stick that down okay now you're going to do the same with this one okay i'm just going to interrupt one second because i just need somebody <coughs> to just ask where, what the kit's involved and take the kits don't include the fabric. The, these, what I'd buy is I'd buy this. I'd buy one of these, whether you like the silver or the gold. This is what I would go from. Gold first, right? What you get is you get the instructions. It's upside down. You get the instructions. Now, can I open one of these? Do they yeah. come from ours or from you? No, you can have this one. Oh, want. and I want to show them all of those. Oh, yeah, 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 go for it. I want to show it. them all those bits in there, if that's right. Um, only because I, I know you think it'll you know, £48.50, that's include the fabric. You get so much for your money in here, right? So you get your instructions. Now, just look at this booklet, right? This is a book in its own right. Look. Look at all the pictures. Now, remember we were saying earlier, somebody said, well, can you put pictures in your book next time, please? It costs a fortune to do this, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Pictures. And so not only do you have to take the pictures, there's all the printing and everything. You also get any uh, pattern pieces or templates that you need are all in there. Now, if you photocopy them, make sure that that is an inch square. That's how you know you've got it the right size. Then you get this zip. Now, your zip inside will be any, could be any colour. It's all different colours, isn't it? That one there has got the gold teeth and the gold pull, ring pull on it. But then in here, look at everything you get in here. You get your handmade label, you get your sliders, you get your... Are they feet? Yeah. Feet in there. You get your swivel clips, you get your D-rings. What's that there? Um, Hinge. Oh, no, these are the strap ends. Oh, the strap ends in there. You get so much in there for your £48.50, right? So that's the gold one. And then this is the silver version here. I'll let Michael pack that one away. And that's your silver version there. I just, this is what I would buy, you see. And, and then I would use fabric that I have from my stash. Yeah. Because you only need a metre of each, don't you? You'd need less than that. Um, I think it's because you cut in half metres, isn't it? So oh, OK. So, like, oh, there you go. Then so you don't even need a metre of each fabric. I think, you see, the reason I'm, the reason I'm telling you about this, if you're just going to buy one thing rather than the fabric, <coughs> is you, this is almost impossible for us as individuals to source, isn't it? Yeah, it is, The only yeah. reason Becky can do it I is because she's a bag manufacturer and she's got contacts and everything. But even so, like you say, it takes ages. It takes, uh, I, I get them about a week before I come on here. But but you've, they're ordered yep. months before, aren't they? Yeah. So that's what you're buying, that's what you're paying for. Or if you just want the pattern on its own, uh, the pattern on its own there. The fabrics, all the bundles are underneath us on the on the fabrics there. There's the pattern on its own. £13.50. Right, sorry, carry on, Becky. I'm just doing other. this row and then I'll explain. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. I would explain about your jumper thing as well. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah. Not what she's wearing. <laughs> Right, okay, so yeah. what you're going to do is measure from this end here up one and a half inches and you're going to do two markings. You're going to sew over those markings anyway. Okay. And because there's a lot of bulk, this thing is called This is available on the website. <coughs> available on the yeah, website. Yeah, the bulk is made or it sometimes comes with machine. Yeah. And what you're going to do is either put it in that way but on my machine, because the um, walking foot's quite wide, yeah. you have to put it in that way and then sew over it. And what is it? What's it called? A jumpy jump thing? Hump jumper. Humper jumper. Um, jean jig. Jean Dip jig. Um, bulky sea maid. A bulky sea maid. <laughs> this is a bulky sea maid. I said my friend Bonnie was in there. Or Becky's best friend. Becky's best friend. After, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no Quilted no. tape is your best friend. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Right, so you're going to get it under on that mark. And as you can see, my foot's riding yeah. down. So it jump stitches at the start. Of course, so and you... we've got the jumper stitchy thingy. Yep, so if you put that in underneath. Yeah, the humper jumper. Becky's hardware is always <coughs> top quality and worth every penny, says Susan. Thank you. How do we follow Ben on Facebook, Princess? Oh. Ooh. Would you rather they follow you on Instagram or Facebook, Ben? Instagram and his name is Ben Gibbs. Oh, hang on, it's called what? <laughs> is it really? You're not sending them off somewhere else. Glenn underscore Dibs. Bibs. 
Oh, Glenn Bibbs. Glenn underscore Bibbs is his Instagram. Don't go to his Facebook, you'll all end up with curly hair. <laughs> right, okay, so on here. Um, you bring it in. Yeah, right here, I've put rivets in. You don't get that in um, the pack. Um, but most people know how to set rivets if they do jeans and right, stuff. Okay. Yeah, so but you don't get them in there? No, you don't Why get them. Why have that bag then? Because I actually thought I was making it for a customer of mine. Oh, okay. So what you need to do is just get a bit of glue. Oh, here we go. So I haven't, I've run out, um, but like the Gutman glue that you sell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Gutman glue available on the website. The solvent glue? You can yeah, put the solvent, solvent glue on PU? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That is stupid, John. Right, so you're just going to open up that hole a little bit. Yeah. And then stick that down. Brilliant. So that's the solvent glue. Go on the, on the website to find the Gutman solvent glue if we've got any in stock. There you go. Ben's not on his phone, but he's just had 15 uh, Instagram <laughs> requests. <laughs> right, so that should stick. Yeah. Mine's quite stuck. Right, so when you sew these two lines, try your hardest not to go past onto the body part because right. you're going to need to hole punch right directly either side of those two lines. So I'm using a Japanese punch, but you can use like the prim. <laughs> I'll Japanese punch you if you're not careful. <laughs> oh, you haven't got something to bang it with? No, it pushes down. Uh, they need these. We need those. Right down Japanese hole punch. Leather hole punch. Leather hole punch. Yeah. So oh, it's, it's not twist. a Japanese one. It's a, it is Japanese. Japanese leather hole, hole punch. punch. Yeah. Oh, we need to get those. So it basically twists like a That's brilliant a because drill. the one I've got is your old fashioned, you know, like that looks like a pliers, but it's got the thing you turn at the end. Yeah. I'll just explain. The thing that turns at the end has different hole sizes that like you do the hole in your belt. But then that, you couldn't do that there because you wouldn't get to get all the no. way across to it, would you? No, and this has gone all the way through. That's brilliant. So I've gone all the way through with all my holes. Just get Japan's by yours. Pardon, what was that? By yours in Japan. No, my my um my hardware's made in China. Ah. Uh, so they make these in China. Oh, uh, so we could get it then. Oh, you could just supply us. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <coughs> That'll be on next time Becky's on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So Joe Lyson follows Ben. Oh. <laughs> I like Joe Lyson. Well, it's because they live. In the, do you live in the same village? Oh, no, 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 because he lives in Hannah's village. Yeah, yeah, in Hannah's village, yeah. All right, so I'm just getting all the screws out. Oh. So be careful when you get the packaging with all the um, the hardware, because yeah. you've got tiny screws in, in your packaging. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're going to flip your bag over. Yeah. And you're going to pop your washer over your two holes. That hole hasn't gone all the way through. Just oh use that. gosh. Oh, that's now. That's now. Right, okay, so you pop this over, get your two screws into place, poke them through the hole. So it comes out this side. Yeah. Do one at a time. Then this is a strap keeper bar. Right. It's got holes on the back. You just pop that over the screw. It's so lovely that you do this because years ago we wouldn't have been able to have access to any of these, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it took me. We wouldn't even know where to go to get them. So the fact that you bring them in your kits, like I say, it makes it look like a professional bag, but you're giving us access to things that we couldn't get anywhere else, you know what I mean? Pandemic first year, that's all I researched, was where to buy them from. Oh, so, so you got the best quality and yeah. the best looking ones and everything. What's the matter, Michael? He, lost he looks lost. He looks very lost. Thought he was going to walk <laughs> in front of the camera. Right. What are you looking for? What's it called? <clears throat> okay, so you've got your first bar in place, and then your second bar will go into place. Yeah. So, pop the. <laughs> He's very confused. Becky. I know he does look very confused. Bless him. That's just my face. That's just his face. <laughs> He looks like a teddy bear today, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm not going to even comment to that. <laughs> what have you lost? Give me a positive. That. 
It's a little plastic bag and it's got paper hexes in it. Through it the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Line. There it is on there, down there, look. Is it on the floor there, isn't that it? Okay. Oh no, that's And then fluff. you're just gonna get the other screw and pop that in. Yeah. Where's my hole? There. Just ten minutes left. Yep, that's fine. Come on. What's the matter? I won't go in. There you go. Oh no, it won't. Uh, now, uh, lots of people got the sewing machine in your basket. If you want it, do check out. Please check out. And also, if you've got the lamp, the um, magnifier lamp in your basket, you need to start checking out. There's the sewing machine first. £2,789. It is on split pay, five-way split pay. Yeah, that's them. You found them all done. There you go. 557.83 or uh, five times. And you haven't looked back since you had yours, have you? No. No, not at all. No. You can do roller work on it and everything. Yeah. Right, so you just Okay, so that's that. And then the lamp. <clears throat> Three in one, love it. We're gonna beat the launch. <laughs> well if you all check out, we'll easily beat the launch. Well done if you got it though. And that's on split pay as well. Watch. Three, two, one, so you can have it as a floor lamp, a desk lamp, or a clamp on lamp. I'll show it to you again later. I'll show it to you again later. We're not going to disturb Becky's eyes. Right, so you're just going to need some... What's that? Duct tape. Woo! Gaffer tape. And you're just going to pop that over the top. This stops any of the metal hardware rubbing onto That's your the, lining. Oh, so that stays in? Yeah, yeah, that stays in. Oh, so is it like electrical tape? I've got some black one, black yeah, at home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll just go for the unicorns. Yeah, of course, I'm... yeah. Right, okay, so the next thing you're going to do is put your strap ends on the bottom and then the screws are really tiny, so if you can see there's a little screw there, so bring that down and you're going to put the strap ends into place. So this is all decoration, they're not real straps are they? They're not, they're not... Um, no, it just covers up the raw edges. Yeah. So if you ever find that you've got a strap that you cannot complete because um, the um, your machine won't go all over it, yeah. Put one of the or, well, in. also sometimes when you even with you use webbing, you turn it under and you stitch through it, and you still get a frayed edge, don't you? Whereas you this do. will just give you a really lovely clean finish. Clean finish, it, yeah. yeah. So you need a magnetic screwdriver. And then basically the a what? A magnetic screwdriver. This. No. Where yeah. are you getting all these gadgets from? <laughs> these are just eyeglasses ones. I didn't know they were magnetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll have to look and see if mine are. Right, okay. So you've got two holes at the back. That needs to go on the inside. And then the flat bit needs to go on the outside. Yeah. You just slide that on. Make sure it's naturally in position. Now, <laughs> They'd be naughty. Yeah. Okay. We've, we've set a whole motion of <laughs> somebody said stuff. their seven year old son's watching and he now wants a red room. Oh, so sorry. Because of you, Becky Alexander Frost. <laughs> when I first moved to London, there was a very famous actor lived opposite me and his lounge was painted chocolate brown and bright red. It was very. Mm. The red was gloss, the gloss paint as well, like all the woodwork was done in bright red. No, right. Right, so there's one set into place. The screws have got a little point on them, so you don't need to poke any holes because it's going to do that for you. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, most of us won't have those punches. What would be the best alternative? You can get hole punches that you can put in, you hit it with a hammer, and that can, hop up, that can do the same thing, but oh, we'll definitely source those. Um, I think you actually can get the plier ones as well. I think but would the plier ones be, be, would you be able to fit all that fabric in? Because you didn't you punch holes quite a way in. Uh, yeah, so if you are using the plier ones, I will show you how to quickly do that. So you just roll it up. Oh, okay. And then get it in. Right, okay. That way. <clears throat> right, so they're into position. I'm just going to pop the handmade tag in. It's 
a foot there. Okay, so with the handmade tag, there is no measurements in the pattern, so you can have it wherever you want. Right. So just don't go past the bot, um, the bit at the bottom. I tend to mind put mine there, so I'm just gonna measure the distance and just go for it. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five, there five you go. and a half. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> So half of that is there. and then just make sure that's straight. Then you're going to get your washer and your handmade tag and see which prongs they fall into. Um, oh, prongs. hang on your microphone's what what's why how did that happen? Oh the batteries have gone on your mic, I'm afraid. I'll come and stand next to you so you can carry on talking. <laughs> so <laughs> So you're going to find which prongs, yeah, um, which where it falls, yeah, and then you're going to pop this onto the centre and draw a line. Do you want my pack? Yeah, Michael, come round, Michael. Cause we're on no overhead, so you can come round. Okay. Just while we're all professionals and friends <laughs> here, isn't it? <clears throat> right, keep going. Okay, and then you're going to mark where those prongs fall. Oh, so that that marker pen. What's it got inside it then? A pen. No, yeah, but is it got ink? Is that the leather marker, is it? Yeah, that's the leather marker. Is it marker. chalk or is it ink then? No, it's ink. Oh, well. Oh, you're ready now. You can carry right, on now. Okay, cool. Right. That was quite nice having a cuddle then. <laughs> no one at home could see that. <laughs> right, then, <coughs> you, then you're going to get a quick unpick tool or a craft knife. Now, you've got to be careful because this is PU and it rip. Right. So you just got to poke those holes. Just five minutes left now. Yep. Now, normally I would say put a pin at the end if you're using your... Oh yeah, but you don't want to put a pin through PU, do you? No. So I always start it off with those and then... And do this one. Yeah? Michael's trying to pack away this hour already and I'm going <laughs> to recap yet. It's very eager. Let's go around. Right, okay, so pop this in, make sure the right end's the right way up. Yeah. Because I have done that in the past, upside down. Poke that all the way through. Oh, something's gone over there. Oh, it's only a little screw. Okay. I put extras in there because I'm always losing them. All right, and then you just pop your washer over the top. Yeah. Push it all the way down. In your IT, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Can you hear Ben? Have you got talk back? <laughs> no. You giggle every time Ben says something smutty, you giggle, but you can't hear him. <laughs> no, it's his, he chuckles. Michael oh, chuckles. Michael gives he it gives away because Michael laughs. <laughs> right, okay, so that's your front and back done. Yeah. Then you're going to pop these together, right side. Uh huh. And we're going to say down that bit there. So are there any bits, obviously, because we can't show it much no. more of it, are there any other bits that are tricky that we should look out for? The zip, the right. zip bridge. Now, if you go to my YouTube video where I do the walk with me bag, right. it's exactly the same method. That's not that, is it? No. No, that's spice no, up your that's, life bag. That's no. spice up your life. Um, the walk with me bag, if you um, just skip to where it says... Um, zip. The zip, basically. Oh, okay, brilliant. Yeah. So everything's covered. If you yeah. go, if you, and also if, if you're not if you're not taking this in, you can always message back going, "Where did you say I could see this? Where did you say that?" She yeah. she'll direct you to it. Everything. Just bear in mind, this hasn't got a YouTube video yet. This will be in around about October time. Okay, that's yeah. fine. But so buy it now, <coughs> buy it now, and then either do the sew along or whatever. Then yeah, uh, that's brilliant because we're in our time. I need to recap now. But Becky's back in an hour's time with now. Last time she was on with this, it completely and utterly sold out. It's like a little um, uh, vanity case almost, but then inside you can put pages inside to store all your stuff. Look, 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 look. So that's Becky's next hour in an hour's time. And it sold out completely last time we did it. Right, but I'm just gonna do a recap now of everything we've got here. So I've got the pattern and the bundle and the hardware and the zips and everything in gold, first of all. Gold hardware kit, that one's called. So you can use your own fabric, if you don't want to use any of the PUs, you can use cotton, you can use cordial, you can use denim, you can use, what were the other things you use? Canvas? Canvas, cork. Cork, anything for it. 
48 pounds and 50 pence that one you are getting an awful lot for your money there if you were to buy those bits from becky directly it'd be nine pounds more expensive so you're saving nine pounds really then we've got the ones in the silver so you've got oh, silver hardware the zip with the silver teeth now that's a, a nylon zip isn't it it's a not a metal zip, zip. So right for it. Uh, this one here will change color that not, no i'll <laughs> tell you that again it doesn't change color <laughs> it will be different it's random it could get any color in that one there and then you've got your pattern and your and your instructions in there full booklet of instructions in there 48 pound 50. then you've got the instructions on their own There you go. Again, everything you need to know there. So now, are the paper pieces that are there, are they in there yeah, as well? Yeah, they're just folded they're up. Folded up. Yeah, so you get all your patterns and everything there. £13.50. It would have been so funny to watch Becky talking into your chest. Yeah, I know, but you see, Charlie's very professional. He doesn't like showing <laughs> things like that, like we all do. But we will do. Anyway, I've got four bundles. So you, this is the, what the grey one's made out of. You need two. Well, you don't actually need two metre fabrics because we cut ours by the half metre. So you've got a metre of each of the fabrics, the grey PU and the grey lining there, 19.99. The one that you just saw Becky do her demonstration in is this one, the brown one, metre of the PU and the... Have you packed those two interfaces in today? <laughs> <laughs> 19.99. We've got my favourite, the gold one, with the lovely <coughs> lemon lining. Thank you. 19.99. Then we've got the black one. There you go. Metre of the PU, a metre of the lining. 19.99. Then other things you might need. Well, you will need. No, you will need iron on interfacing. So do you put this on every single piece? Most of the pieces. So yeah. you can iron it on to PU, can you? You can, yeah. Obviously on the wrong side. On yeah. the wrong side, yeah. on a low setting. On the low setting. Three ninety nine. Now. Uh, you can either use, if you, it's up to you, if you want a nice solid bag like that one, then you use your Bosel. Right, this is so in Bosel. 10.99. Bosel R4, so in. But, uh, or if you don't, or if your machine won't cope with it, or you want a more squidgy bag, then you've got your H640. At 9.99. And lots of people have put Becky's sewing machine, Becky's favourite sewing machine in their basket. If you want it, please check out. We haven't got ultimate, we haven't got big amounts of it. £2,789, that's the back of it there. And we'll show you the front of it now. There it is. Uh, it's £2,789, split pay 557.85 times. Lots of you got that in your basket. You love that machine, I don't, don't you? Yeah. Absolutely love it. And also, if you, if you want to ask Becky any questions, have you got any prep to do this hour? Are you busy at this hour? No. Because you could send a message to Becky on Facebook or, yeah. or any of the ways you get in touch with Becky and ask her a question about the sewing machine if you want to, or about the bags, it's absolutely fine. I did a demonstration on it a couple of times. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you in, did, in didn't you? Place, yeah. You yeah. could look it up on YouTube as well. She did a demo on it as well. Uh, anyway, don't go anywhere. Uh, we've got Emily up next now doing another bag. It's a bag <laughs> day today, isn't it? We're doing her bag, which is this one. Named after me. Oh, who's that? There you go. Cork bag, cork bag, uh, called the Rebecca bag. Now, is it named after you? No. <laughs> it's very confusing, isn't Royalty. it? Royalty. <laughs> I'm going to go and put her in a cold shower. I'll see you in four minutes uh, from now. Right, I need to... Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her. She's, uh, she, she's I just love her, so her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets, um, probably because of my uh, period background, um, but I just love them, I've got one here, um, I love the structure of them, um, the shape the bones make, I, I just think they're beautiful, um, and the fact that through the ages they've changed to uh, make women's shape different, um, and I find that really fascinating. 
Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to get to get sewing. Hi, it's Yvonne here. As you all know, I was born in Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland. And we're getting to that point in the year whenever I get to go home. From the 1st of September, the Stormont Hotel in Belfast becomes the home of Quilt Fair, which is an event that together with my friends, Margaret and Helm, we have reintroduced into the, North, into the island of Ireland. We are really looking forward to this, our second event. We have retained many of the features that you like from last year's show. We have those nice wide aisles. We have all those expert traders and our free talks and demos in our schoolhouse. In addition, this year we have added our creative workshops, which Sewing Street has so generously sponsored for us. So this year we have added in two exhibitions. One of them, Old Roots, New Shoots, is from the Irish Patchwork Society. And the other exhibition is the work from our traders. It's, it's entitled, this is what we do. So I really hope that I will see a lot of you there. We thank everyone for their continuing support in this venture that we have to create the best little quilt show in Ireland. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Emily's here. Say hello. Hi everyone. How have you been? Not seen you for ages. Yeah, really good. It's been all, all mad actually. Has it? What have yeah. you been up to? It was my birthday yesterday. No, it was, they yeah. didn't tell us that. Yeah, it was my birthday what yesterday. What did you do? Uh, we went shopping, so my other half took me shopping, but I didn't find anything I wanted. It's always the way, isn't it? It's yeah. always the way. Yeah. When they say, oh, come on, I'll take you shopping, yeah. and then when you're out there and you've got no money, you yeah. see everything that you I want. I said but... exactly that, and I've got birthday money as well. I didn't know what to... I bought some chocolate. 
Oh, that's all right then. But we're going on holiday next week, so he said, oh, I we can see treat anything. you there. Yeah. See anything Where are you going on holidays? Cornwall on oh, Monday. For well, a I like Cornwall, but I don't like the roads. Whereabouts in Cornwall are you going? Uh, we're staying in a place called Crantock, which is just near Newquay. Oh, okay. So it's like you can walk to Newquay, it's about a 45 minute walk. Oh, so. That's a long walk. Well, we've got a dog, we're taking dog with oh, us. So, yeah. Oh, that'd be we nice. Like You're not sending a tent, are you? It's like a glamping pod we're staying in, oh, so it's not fabulous. full te tenting. I don't think I could do it. Oh, no, 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 but I do glamping, but We yeah. used to have a, um, a camper van. Uh, we've not got that anymore, right. so we'd miss doing kind of... Outdoorsy yeah, things, yeah. Yeah, but it's set to rain all oh, week, so no. if everybody could wish for nice weather for me, please. Oh. Or let me know of any dog-friendly indoor activities that you know in and around. The thing Cold is, <laughs> if you're with people you love and you've got the dog yeah. and everything, yeah, you're not going to go and sit on a beach, but you can still so have the nicest it. time. Yeah, yeah exactly. just to shut off. And yeah. we've not had as week off. We've had quite a lot of little holidays. Oh, okay. But we've not had a, yeah, we've I've done quite a, we've done Wales and Scotland and we did Lake District only a few weeks ago. Oh, okay so. then. Just nice little mini holidays, but this is as big, Proper big holiday. holiday. Yeah. Oh, I will hope you have a lovely yeah. time. Right, who's yeah. Rebecca? My mum. Oh, yeah, my mum. That's it's nice. I've named it after my mum for a few different reasons. Um, she loves me to make her bags. She likes the ones with cork. Right. And when I first started out, sort of properly sewing, after I'd left college, and I had, um, you know, started my own little business making bags, and I sold them on Barnsley Market. And I didn't drive at the time, and my mum used to get up with me every Saturday. Oh, and take, take you me down. to the market. So she didn't know the bag was named after her until she saw it on um, Planner, on TV Planner. Oh. So she didn't know until she saw it on there, and she just was like, Ooh, Oh, you should have brought her with you today. She's working. So okay, it's, oh, of course, I'm so confused. Yeah. I keep thinking and, it's the oh, weekend. yeah, when it's bank holiday, yeah, it's yeah. madness. Well, I was here it? on Monday, bank holiday. Then, of course, that turns yeah. off because of Luther and everything. Yeah, but anyway, anyway, it's a cute little bag. Really, really sweet little bag. We've done ours with the... Uh, now, you could make it in any fabric. Yes, you? You I mean, I designed it specifically. When I first made it, I made it in cork. Yeah. Um, but you could make it in the faux leather, just cottons, um, anything really. Because yeah. it's quite a... Um, I kind of designed it where the base of the bag itself is quite simple but then it's learning all the elements you know if you're quite new to bag making yes. so zip pocket um elasticator pockets and obviously the zip top and everything so it's just kind of building on um is the elasticator, po the elasticator pocket inside so there's no pocket there's elasticator pockets at the sides oh yeah i was thinking where now <laughs> yeah brilliant right okay let me introduce what we've got the bundles and then we can because obviously you're not going to get time to make the whole thing so you're just going to no. show us different I'm bits so at least do the elements and then uh, okay, some parts have already made but, right now yeah. we haven't got any the, the pattern on its own is sold out the rebecca pattern on its own is sold out but you can get the pattern in the bundle so ben you tell me which bundle you want to do the which one green and white that would be this one oh deal balia yeah yeah so in this one you get your cork which is your silver cork now <clears throat> a lot of these units are available on their own as well they're all underneath those on we're not going to go through every fabric in every half meter i'll do the bundles then if you like any of the fabrics within the bundles go and have a look underneath in pre-order and you'll see they're available so for example if you like these these fabrics here right and you're thinking, oh, that make a lovely blouse or something, then you can buy it by the half meter. It's on pre-order now. So this is the bundle. You get the instructions. You get um, now a one and a half meter fabric. So half meter cork, half meter of the green, half meter of the white, 29.99. So that's everything, right? You will need to buy a zip and you will need to buy some H640. Oh, okay, this is sold out on its own. That's sold out on its own. There's just the cork left on the pre-order. All the corks. Oh, okay. Okay, none of the fabrics, just the corks. Okay. Right, because yeah, Michael's got a huge sheet of saying they're all in bundles, haven't you? Anyway, it doesn't matter. They're all gone. Right. Okay, so that's that one. That's that one. Now, which one did you make that of? The dragonfly. Yeah, Let's that do one. that one then next. So this is um, the black dragonfly fabric. You've got the black and grey sort of zigzaggy flower fabric. Is the door open? Carol suddenly got very loud, didn't she, from <laughs> next door? And then this is lovely. Look, the cork here. Got black and white in it. There's the black and white cork. 20, so you get the, the metre and a half of fabric plus the instructions. 
29 pounds and 99 pence which one are you demoing now so that the first one that you oh, showed the first one yeah. that we did okay yeah. that's fine so we've got two others now i've got this one here oh this is nice this will be cream so you've got your cream fabric and your shutters fabric and so let's see what cork you've got like here. a little surprise unbundling that. Oh now it? that's just your straightforward um, I think it's called dark grain that one. So you get your meter and a half of fabric. Oh that's nice that yeah. one. Plus your pattern. So now I haven't opened this. What's in here? The pattern pieces and instructions. So the instructions and it tells you what size pieces to cut. As oh so there's no the pattern. pattern. No. It's like cut in a rectangle, yes. cut a square. Yeah. Oh brilliant, brilliant, yeah. brilliant. So it's very beginner friendly this one yeah. isn't it and it's worth noting as well your cork you you will have some cork left right. over so although it uses quite a lot of the cottons in the bundles yeah you'll probably have enough cork left over to make another bag and, and also it's wide as well it's the cork so isn't wide, it, right? yeah and then the last one the tilde one in the green so this is your silver cork or silver veined cork <clears throat> then you've got your teals and your greens in here Beautiful. And your instructions. £29.99. £29.99. £29 now I've got two corks that are available on their own which aren't in any of the bundles. I've got your multicoloured cork. Oh yeah, look! Look! If you look at it close to what? Look, you see all the rainbow colours, like splatters come through like my shirt. Oh, it does. It kind of matches, doesn't it? The what, what? It does. It like matches your spot. It does, but it's just shirt. sold out. It's just sold out oh. on pre-order, I'm afraid. <laughs> then we've got the other cork on its own. No, no, this is not silver or dark. This is the... the yes. Fine. Very, very fine, this one. The other corks are available. Just go and find them on pre-order. This is the only one that's not in a bundle. This is like... I'd use this one to make a pin board with, I think. Mm. 8 99 Okay, what you'll also need is some H640, which you saw in the last hour. This is a, uh, this is a meter piece, this one. Yeah, meter piece, nine, 9.99. That seems too affordable for a meter, but anyway, 9.99. Now, you'll also need some elastic, whether you've got, you might have a piece, because you only need two pieces like yeah, that long, don't lot. you? Yeah. So you might have some in your stash. If you haven't, we've got this uh, 12 millimeter, two meters of the 12 millimeter elastic here. 199 now i'm going to be a little bit controversial now <laughs> um you need two zips right you need a zip for the top do you know how long that zip is at the top oh off top of me ad and i go no no you need an 11 inch zip for the top right and you need an eight inch zip for the side pocket here do not i wouldn't buy this one and i know i'm a shopping channel i'm supposed to be <laughs> selling you that i do, i think this is this is me and I would you agree, agree with you. Right? Yeah, okay. I would. This is a gorgeous zip. This is a gorgeous zip, but not. Will you stop waving to everybody? <laughs> He's so popular in the building. Everyone wants to wave at him in the top corner. Don't buy this. I know uh, you can if you want to, but I would suggest that you go to our website and choose because what I'd want is like I'd want a chunky like a black color, one yeah. or a coloured one in yeah. there, and the one on the top I'd like a nice big sturdy one with big teeth sort of thing. Yeah. These are very delicate. If you Quite look, dainty, it's, uh, aren't they? Very yeah, dainty. dainty for a dress yeah. and everything, yeah. and it's got a name on it. It's it's like a seat. I can't remember what it's called now. It's like um not what do they call it, Ben? On the it's a bit like mesh almost, isn't it? Yes, it's like on yeah. a mesh. It's like on a crib yeah no no that's all description of it doesn't matter doesn't matter but but that's me being controversial i wouldn't put that zip in here you can see that what it looks like finished but i wouldn't put that zip in there i'd want a nice big chunky one in there right okay that's me me being told off now in a minute <laughs> right so what are you going to show us first so then? we're going to do all the zip pocket first because that's probably one of the trickiest this one here on the front yeah, yeah the one on the front um so obviously i've cut everything out and at the front of the instructions it tells you everything you need to cut out to be prepped and Brilliant. ready even doing the curve at the top of the back because it's obviously got that lovely curve design yeah which you can have so when the handles are up you can have that curve design pop down so it kind of almost looks like a bit of a binding oh okay. you could stitch that down and um, one of them the one on the pattern front you I put like um i put like a little snap fastener so you could snap oh, that down nice yeah, so you yeah, could yeah. have it up down it's quite versatile yeah actually look at the packet right yeah, I noticed on the, the front of the packet look right 
Look at the zip that, that you've, Emily's yeah, used for in here. Way. It's one that matches in with yeah. our fabrics and things like that. And I think that just looks better than putting this yeah. flimsy dressmaking one in there. I'll get told off for saying that, but I don't want you to buy something that's not going to no, look I, I, the I, best yeah. that it's going to look. Do you know what I mean? So you need 11 meter, uh, not 11 meter, that'd be a very long zip. 11 inch zip and an eight inch zip. And then you need a quarter of a meter of elastic. Right, okay, so Passion you're gonna do the, the pocket on the front. Yes, Brilliant. so um, I've sort of prepped it already and then I'll sort of just talk you through what yes, I've please, done. Yes, please, yeah. So you've got two zipped pocket pieces and you need to put one of them right side facing down on the front of your bag. Yeah. Um, so I've made sure that it's centered. Well, I'm gonna double check because while I've picked it up, it's moved oh, a little yeah. bit. So. All of these, all of these are in the instructions. Yes. Are they? So all like your measurements and everything of where things need to be placed yeah. and how many inches and everything um, is in the instructions. Let's get that right. Oh, it was way off then. It moved. It, way, it must have moved as I've um, picked it up. Um, and then I'm going to pin this in place. So you can pin cork, can you? Yes. It sews like butter. A lot of people are quite scared of cork. Yes. Yeah. I always think it sews like Well, it's got something on the back, hasn't it? It's got like, yeah. a, a, like a, a woven fabric yeah. on the back of it, hasn't it? So it's got a veneer of cork on the front and then a fabric on the back. So what I've done then is I've drawn, hopefully you can see that, yeah, you can see that, um, a rectangle. Yeah. And this is going to basically be the window that the zip's going to sit behind. Right. Um, so I've done this to fit the eight inch zip. So it's six inches in length. Right. And then it's half an inch um, in width. And then I've done another line that's a quarter of an inch, so halfway through that box. Yeah. And then I've done this like little V shape. How far is the V shape in from the so edge? So I would say I've done about a quarter of an inch right, from okay. the so edge it doesn't there. Matter, it can, but can, be, can it be any size? Does it matter? Um, I wouldn't do it much bigger than quarter of an inch. You've got a bit of leeway, I'd say, with that, but you wouldn't but want stick, kind okay, of a fine. half an inch, for example. That would probably be too, too much. Too big, yeah. So I've pinned that on, and like I said, it's, it's right sides facing. Yeah. And I'm going to sew around the outer box. So the piece of fabric that you've got there, yeah. is that the lining to the pocket? So this bit is one, yeah, like the lining of the pocket. The inside the yes, pocket. The so inside. even when you open the pocket, you're going to see a lovely fabric yes. inside the pocket yeah. as well. So the outer of the box is going to be where we stitch, right. and then we're going to end up cutting through the centre Okay. Line. Right. So I will show you that as we get to it. So I'm going to go all the way around on the line. Actually on the line. On the line, yeah. And do I need to use a special needle or a special stitch for the cork? Um, no, not particularly. No. Um, I did put, there is a new needle in this machine. I oh, is there? That, yeah. You're lucky. Where'd you find that? Um, Becky put it in for me actually. Oh. She gave it a good, a good uh, she says, oh, I'll put a new needle in for you. She says, I've got a spare one here oh. for you. Sir. Makes all the difference, doesn't it? Does, it does, it does. But now as you can see, it's not struggling to sew through the cork. It's uh, a bit off there. There we go. And then if you keep your needle in that down position as you're turning your corner, that'll help you sort of not... You're going to only be able to twist it round like that as opposed to being yeah. all over the place. Christine said she'd get continuous zips on her own. Yeah, yeah, Christine, I agree. But then sometimes they don't have, I'd want a nice zip pull on mine for the front of the bag and everything yeah, so we could I see it. sometimes buy a zip pulls separate so that then I can switch the zip pulls on my zips on yeah, a roll. Exactly, I, I love exactly. to use zips on a roll. Uh, Susan went, hello, she said, morning, Emily. I went to Cornwall last year. Luckily, my sister navigated the road. Yeah, you, you doing the driving? So other half's doing the driving. Yeah. I, did in, I did offer, actually, I said... Um, I'll do some at driving, but... If you're going to do some driving, do it from your house to yeah. Cornwall. And then when you get to Cornwall, go to yeah. him. You can drive now. He'll not let me, though. He's a bit precious over his car, so... Oh, is he? Yeah. Is it a company I'll car? let him drive my car. No, but he's getting a company car soon, but I, apparently I'm not allowed to drive that. But it's all to cost... My insurance lets me drive... I could drive anybody's car oh, with okay, permission. Okay. Yeah. But obviously, like, whereas Sam's properly insured to drive my car, I'm only, like, third party yeah, yeah, drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Whereas company car, when that comes... It does matter I will be able, I will be able to properly drive oh. that one, so... I'm Has his name of a person, is it? You have to get yeah. engaged. Maybe you have to get engaged, then you've been... No, apparently just said... Um, no, no, I'm well, thinking of it. Get an excuse for you to get oh, engaged. Oh, I like you thinking. Yeah, sorry. One step ahead of you there. <laughs> oh, 
know, I feel like we had this conversation last time I were here. I yeah, no, exactly. Didn't I thought we? he might have proposed by now. No, I'm, st I'm still there. Uh, I just still make, keep making sure I get my nails done just in case. <laughs> <laughs> and then if, if you go for a walk on the beach, if there's a friend with a camera over there, you know. Yeah, I'm going to be like, Ooh. oh, yeah, this yeah. is it, this is it. <laughs> anyway, sorry, carry Chucking on. Chucking down rain, yeah. <laughs> so I've sewn all the way around um, the box, and now what I'm going to do is take some little scissors and I'm going to cut through both layers, so the cotton pocket and the cork yeah. through that centre. So I'm going to kind of get it started off. I'm just going to half it and make a snip and then unfold it. So how are your classes going? Because last time I spoke to you, you were setting up classes and Yeah, so I'm doing them all online. I've got like a bit of a club going, like a monthly club. Brilliant. Um, and that's growing really quite well. So, so yeah, that's keeping me busy. Oh. So then when I get up to those sort of little V shapes, yeah. what I'm doing is instead of cutting all the way to the end of the box, I'm cutting towards the corner on the little V shape. And that's basically gonna help um, it still look like a rectangle when we yeah. turn this the right way. There we go. And then I'm gonna post this excess material through the little letter box. Right. So on that V, on the little Ys or the Vs yep. at the end, did you cut right into the corner? So I cut as close as I felt confident to without cutting into the okay. cutting into the uh, stitching. And then it's just a case of using your iron to get this as flat as you can, because from the front you want all um, the fabric to be disappeared but what you can do is cut the excess cork because obviously your cork is a bit bulkier yeah 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 yeah. you can cut this down which is what oh, I'm okay. gonna do right so you don't want any it's not got a binding of the inside fabric it's all it's all gone yeah but sort yeah. Of, I would say if you're struggling it's as long as you kind of maybe get an even bit of the fabric all the way oh around, yeah yeah could, yeah, yeah. like a pipe of, it looks like a pine yeah. pin or something yeah that side so this will just make it so I'm just literally cutting the cork yeah she was very excited my mum to have a bag named after I'm her sure she was but now rest at family are jealous oh no who's next then I'm not sure what's I've the boyfriend called Sam sandbag no no don't have a no, no I thought no. that But then you could do an embroider, uh, not embroider, a jewellery roll, a Sam jewellery roll to put keep your engagement ring in with your bracelet. I like your thinking, to be quite honest. With you. <laughs> keep it nice and safe. Last time I were here, I used this iron, and I've never seen something so posh in my entire life. I know. Well, at least you do. everyone I'm, else just puts it up well, on Well, I got quite used to it then, weren't I? Whereas last time I kept, oh. I kept trying to stand it up. Because we like, use no. it here now. When I go home, I keep putting my iron flat down yeah. on the ironing board. Uh, excuse me, Kat. Oh. From, what are you taking into your studio? I've got a native live t-shirt. It's producer Kat from next door. Do you do what? I've got a native live t-shirt. Have I'm you got Claire in? Yeah, I'm basically where I get the from. No, she brings her own in a trolley. Does she? I don't know, does she? You're the producer. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so let me move this iron out of the way so you can see a bit better. So I've ironed this um, sort of best I can because like I said it does, does still kind of roll so then yeah. what I'm going to do is use my pins to just hold it back while of I course. pin the zip in place. Uh, yeah, or you could use like clover clips or something like that couldn't yeah, you if you didn't want you to could. use pins, yeah. There's the iron, 162.99, Aliso Pro Plus Smart Iron. Um, it's on, I was gonna say it used to be on Split Pay. Yeah, it is there, it is Split Pay 54.33. Oh, that's what I could have asked for for my birthday, I'll take one of them. What an iron. Mm. Oh, was that you switching? That was not there, that was not The lights just flashed on and off, Charlie. Oh look, there's, there's Stan out there. What are you doing out there, Stan? <laughs> There's if lots of people today. out and I about know, today, loads. Oh, like I've never seen so many people here before. What, no, what day do you normally do? 
there's no specific day. Oh, okay. Because really, weekends, so there's nobody here at all. There's I've just not us been in on here. a weekend. Okay. Not and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, everyone works from home. So if right. you've been on a Tuesday and Thursday. I think normally I've been on Tuesdays quite a lot. Yeah. I don't think I've no, I don't think I've been on a Wednesday at all. Oh, actually, there you go. So. That's because everybody's in on a Wednesday. Right, there you go. It's a hive okay. of activity. So yeah. I've got the controversial. Oh yeah. So yeah, the zip, whatever. <laughs> controversial yeah. zip. Yeah. And I'm going to pop it behind the little window. Right. And then I'm going to pin it in place. So kind of get your zip teeth central. But this, this is, is why I think a chunky one. I was would just going nice to say, there, like, yeah. so you can sort of see a little bit of the tape. Yeah. yeah. Um. And you just kind of want to get it as even as you can, pin it in place. Or if you use, um, like, the double-sided tape that oh, I know yeah, the Becky yeah, uses, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, that's oh, quite handy. Oh, it's very easy once you've done that, yeah. So I'm just pinning this in place. And like I said, this zips a lot longer than what I need, but I will trim it down afterwards. Uh -huh. I always quite like using a longer zip than what I need. Yeah, of course. Uh, Linda saying, uh, my husband bought a shirt inspired by one of yours. He's a big and hunky lad and wasn't sure it would fit him properly, but he's delighted with it. Great shows today. Oh, thank you, Linda. Aww. Send us a picture, Linda. Of your big hunky husband. I said, that's well, welcome. That sort of picture, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? This is Kat from Pretty She's not even on till one o'clock, right? I know you've been here since five, so it's on the early show as well, next door in Hobby Maker. What do you need now? Just the, you know, the... The clamp? Yeah. It's usually on the... That, isn't it, when, when it fitting that one? Or oh, it's a bigger one, no, it's a bigger one than that. It's the big, chunky one. Oh. she got a native light... What time's your native lighting show? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. And you've got and Claire you, coming in? Yeah. And if you buy a little light for it. Oh, oh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> They've got a special deal going on. Yeah. Have it you've had it. Oh, okay. But she's not got this. She's not got this. It's exclusive to Sony Street, this one. She's got the one that we had on the... Oh, was it a birthday show we did recently? Where you got a lamp. Oh, was it... What was the last day? Basically, if you buy... If you spend over £50, did you say? Yes. You get a free little lamp of native lighting on Hobby Maker later. But you haven't got this. You haven't got this. Sorry, Emily. That's all sorry. Right. sorry. So, I've pinned the zip in place and then I've switch to a zipper foot on the machine okay lovely and i'm going to sew all the way around the box again uh -huh. to attach the zip and i'm going to go as close to the edge of the cork as perfect I can. was there any did you get any response upstairs I'm doing Sundays, Hannah's Saturday, Instagram takeover and I'm Sunday. But everyone will have done everything by then, I won't have anything to show. You, were, you could have had one. Did you not get the email? Oh, Charlie. The market came from marketing. They were shorter people as well. Bruce said uh, Bruce doesn't do Instagram, so that's why he couldn't do one. Oh, but Bruce hadn't had the email either, and neither had Cat, Floor Cat, not. Don't you go on holiday soon as well? I go on Monday. Oh, where is it you're going? Catalonia. Oh, oh no, I can't wait. I've got to do Belfast nice. tomorrow first and back in here Saturday, oh. Sunday. Cats to the vet on Monday morning. You'll I'll be, be ready so for ready. It then, won't you? I'll be so ready to land that sunbed in my thong. Is that a long, a long flight then, that? Or? No, no, three hours, I think, is it? Oh, that's think? not bad, then, no, is it? No, not at all. By it's not like when we go to up. America and you yeah, go on Yeah, like, I think oh. by the time you get up to, I they come back down. Well, get once Belfast tomorrow's an hour and ten minutes. Oh. So I'll be literally, when I used to do oh, the Catherine yeah. Cookson up in Newcastle, right, and I'd come home for the weekend, you'd literally fly back and you'd take off, they'd bring you a sandwich, and then as soon as they give you something, like, could you put it in the bin, please, put it in the bin, we're landing now. <laughs> we still managed to get drunk. I used to tra travel up with Samantha Bond, right, because we both lived in Twickenham, we were both home at the weekend. And um, 
She'd be drunk on gin and tonic by the time we landed. <laughs> I went to Kefalonia last summer, yeah, or last September, yeah. Oh, nice. Beautiful. I bet the weather's going to be really nice touch for you then. Touch yeah. touch it'll, touch it'll probably not be raining like it is in Cornwall. Well, I hope so not. So think of me, won't you? Yeah. I will think of you when I'm land on the beach. Last, we went exactly the same time last year and it was baking hot. Oh, it was nice. perfect. It's quite a nice time to go because I feel like it's cooling down now for us, isn't it? So you've had yes. the warm theatre. Yes. Well, we normally go to America, you see, at this time because my nephew was at university in San Diego. So we used to go and see him at this time every year because he was still on his holidays. But um, couldn't go because of the pandemic, so we started going to Kefalonia. We said, oh, over to you. Um, so that's all stitched in place, and then I can cut this down. Right. This is what it'll look like from the back. Lovely. Bit harder to grip as well, these. Um, yes, exactly, yeah. These. And then you've got another pocket piece that you want to put right side facing down on top of this. I'll make sure okay. the pattern's the right way. And then you're going to sew the pocket together in a rectangle, but only through um, the cotton, not through the Oh, cork. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously that's a bit trickier at like the top where you've not got as much fabric, yeah. but still, still possible. I'm just going to switch my foot back. And it's a quarter inch seam allowance, obviously. At okay. the top, you should still be able to get your quarter of an inch. You right, Charlie? Is that Charlie or Ben? I'd be had an extra half hour in bed didn't you this morning. I think I'll have a nap when I get home. I have to have a nana nap. Oh when yeah, I get definitely. Home. It was pitch black dark when I set off on, this on, morning. What time do you leave? Uh, quarter to five. Oh morning. no, well I leave at I leave house at five and it's yeah. and it's, it was pitch pitch yeah, black. Yeah, and this it's morning. the first time I've come where yeah. it was dark. For the most of the journey down and um yeah it were like winters winters creeping up on us yeah well look because i was driving in thinking oh do you know what they'll put the clocks fall back soon yeah, but they're not it's not till october that's not that's not far away though really is it well no well it's no well yeah depends what you've got on in a month as to whether it goes fast or slow the what? It depends what you've got on in a month as to whether your month goes fast, fast or you know, I've got two weeks of holiday in September. But then, when I get back from a holiday, so I'll all be nice and relaxed. I mean, every single day apart from the Monday after that for the rest of the month then. So I'll be, I'll be exhausted yeah. again, won't I? You'll be ready for another holiday, won't yeah. you? Yeah. We got our um, October and November dates yesterday as well. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I didn't catch that bit, but that's not naughty me for not pinning it, so. <laughs> There's a, an anytime gym in Stratford. And that's really neat. No, you're not close to anything at my house. You have to drive everywhere. But it's next to Tesco's, Aldi and Lidl. Marks and, and Marks and Spencer food. And what's it sports? Is it JB Sports? JD Sports, is it JD? Oh, is it JD? It's, oh, it might not be JD Sports. It might be, is there another sports shop? Not Sports DW Direct. DW Sports. Oh, okay, there? we are giving all the sports shops a nation. Um, <laughs> Charlie's worried when he gets to my house, there's not gonna be a gym anywhere nearby. Um, so you will have to drive to one. There's one at Alveston Manor, but you can't join that for just a short amount of time. And that's the closest one. Oh no, 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 I'm talking rubbish. There's one in me on Vale where 12 foot tall Ruth lives. Do you know 12 foot tall Ruth from next door? <coughs> or next door that way. <coughs> she lives in the village as well. She lives on that side of the village, the cheap end. She'll be watching. Okay, so then you've got functioning pockets. Lovely. So that is that bit done, so I'll pop Lovely. that to one side for now. And then I'm going to work on the elasticated pockets. Okay, next. I'll show you that on the bag here. They're across the side here. 
they go into the side seams there with the elastication across the top. What's the matter? Oh, okay, we're gonna, I can do that. I'm gonna say I've got, like, here's one I made earlier. Owen's one's got one already, got one made earlier. So that's the side panel. Yeah. Mm. So you've got two pieces for this, because again, it's like a lined, um, a lined pocket. Right. And I'm gonna pop these right sides together, and then I'm just gonna stitch the top at a quarter inch seam allowance. So you make it, obviously, before you put the bag together, you make yeah. all your elements before yeah. you put the whole thing together. Yeah. yeah. So it's quite a good way to, if you've sort of been making like little tote bags, yeah. um, that sort of thing. Kind of way I to think you need skin. to um, block somebody on the Facebook Live, Charlie. Oh, Ben, sorry. So all the, all the roles have changed in there. And then I flipped this then. So it's the right way. Right. And the way that I do mine is a way so we don't have to use elastic to thread, not elastic, a safety pin. Okay, you don't have to? No. Okay. Mm hmm? You might be okay with it, but you're going to chuck it off I'm the table. Say, well, chuck it on the floor. <laughs> so I'm going to open this. Oh no, you've got up. wider elastic than me. Will, yeah. will so the wide elastic or the narrow elastic will work? Honestly, won't whatever it? you've got to be fair, because um, it'll still do the job. The yeah, exactly. And do the job. All right, yeah. yeah. So use what you got in your stash. So this is, I think it's one inch wide. This one. So I'm just going to pop this right up against that seam that I've just sewn. Yeah. And then I'm going to fold this down. And then I'm just going to sew um, at the side here just to hold the edge of the elastic oh, okay. in place. Just a straight stitch? Yep, just a, you could do a zigzag stitch to be fair, but it's for the time being just to yeah. hold it but in But it's place. in the seam, Lance, isn't yeah. it? I'm going to see it. And you could go over it a few times. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that's right pushed up to the top yeah. and then you can use a pin to help hold it in place. And I'm going to sew underneath the elastic without sewing onto the elastic. So you could so do you're making the casement? Up. Yeah, with the elastic there. Right. So you haven't had to put it through with your safety pin. No. Got that, yeah. Um, so you could use a zipper foot if you wanted to kind of so it butts up right against yeah, it. Yeah, that yeah, would yeah. probably work quite well. Yeah. But Avril says good morning everyone. Good morning Avril. Good morning. I'm just wondering if I could change the side of the zip on this. Are you alright? What do you need to find? I would just, you know, uh, placement of the uh, straight stitch, you know, to move the needle. Oh right, okay, so you just press your stitch width button there. Alright. You just press this one and it moves the needle across oh, to wherever yeah. you need to go to. Are you going, which side are you going to? So we're going right to the oh, side, that side yeah. okay. Just test that, that it goes. No, it's not quite. That's no, not it. far enough. That doesn't look like the right zipper foot. Well, it was the feet one. On the machine. No, no, it won't with it. Won't with it oh, one, Michael, have you been missing the feet? It, it doesn't matter. Can you do it without it? Yeah, yeah. I think that's the wrong zipper foot for that For anybody at home, like that, that would just help you out basically using a. Um, oh. Oh, There's a bag that says 570 accessories. I think it's um, on the bottom of my trolley. Oh, don't okay. Me? Don't worry, don't worry, because we can do it without. Yeah. But, um, it's the wrong zipper foot in the bag. It yeah. don't matter, I'll... Uh, no, I'm not bla I'm blaming Michael. It wasn't Michael's fault at all. <laughs> so I'm just sewing directly underneath that elastic without... Because yeah. um, we need to be able to pull the elastic. So then if you use your side panel for the yeah. outer bag and you want to pull, let me take that out, pull the elastic then so the width of the pocket is the same width. Oh, clever. Yeah. And once you're happy with the width, I'm then going to sew down the other little short edge yeah. of the elastic. 
Uh, Anne's loving the show and all the takeovers. Well, oh, even today's. Now, has Ian taken the... They've got a very big, important meeting today. Has Ian taken the takeover into the meetings? We'd like to know what's going on if he has. That'll be like Ian. They'll be doing some really highly um, confidential meeting and Ian will be there like this. So then I'm just going to cut this elastic then. Yeah. So that just sort of shows how. You how no, no, that's brilliant. So, yes, yeah. exactly. And it's fixed as well. It's not going anywhere, is it? Because nope. it's all sewn in. So to then attach it onto the side panel, I'm going to do it a side at a time. Right. Um, but this bottom bit is still purposely bigger because you're going to, we're going to put like a little pleat in it and that just gives a bit more oh, depth. Oh, brilliant. So it's not just flat. Yeah, you put, so put you could potentially fit... Mm. A Toblerone. A, a, a Toblerone, I like that. Or Smarties. Smarties, just whatever chocolate but you like. It means you've got depth. It's, it's not a flat, because yeah. there's nothing worse than a pocket that then has got pocket. no depth to it. And you... So you sew the sides first then, yes. yeah? Yes. And make sure you're sewing it within um, your seam allowance. Yeah. So obviously it's a quarter inch seam allowance, so as long as you're not doing any more than that. I tend to do just a little bit under. Yeah. Morning, John. All at Sewing Street from Lynn in sunny Cornwall. Oh, it's, oh, oh, it's sunny in Cornwall oh. at the moment. Oh, Lynn, I'd we're like hoping... to know where I should go. We've been a few times, but if you've got any recommendations, yeah. tell me. Let me know. Well, what day are you going? So we're going Monday. Oh, OK. Next Monday. <gasps> Make sure that sunshine stays there, please. Yeah. I'd like to sit on the beach. <laughs> oh. We've bought a beach tent as well, so I'm a bit annoyed because... A beach tent? Yeah, you know, like just to... Oh, when you go to the beach, you just sit in some shade? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, more for a dog more than anything. Yeah. You know, in case it was so hot yeah. that we could make the and dog... And you really thought that was going to happen in September in Cornwall? Mind we've, you, we've that's been... been no... We've yeah. been in September. We normally go September and it's normally lovely. Yeah. So... It's a heat wave next week, I think. What? I'm sure it's a heat wave next week. I'm I sure thought you said it was raining. I'm sure of it. I'm sure it said thunderstorms. Because it's set for thunderstorms as well. Get your phone well. Put in yeah, it. Where's the place? What's the... Talk, or you no. could look New Quay. New Quay in Cornwall <laughs> next week and let's have a look at the weather. So then I'm going to match the other side up. So again, don't sort of lay it flat and... Oh, yeah. And so, like, yeah, just yeah, make yeah. sure you're matching it up and that you've got this bit of... Of course. ...bit of excess. Oh, if there's an heat wave, I will be happy. <laughs> oh, no, he's laughing. <laughs> he's, he's really thundering I lightning. I the radio this morning, right? But no. Let me see. Oh, it's pouring down with rain every day. It changes, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, oh, it best all. <laughs> <laughs> so where's having a heat wave then? Where do you see that? Probably Barnsley. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be awful if there was I'd, a heat wave oh, at home? Cry. I would, I'd cry. I'd come home. <laughs> Mind you, I went to the Caribbean, going back years and years and years, I went to the Caribbean for, oh, just only for a week, I just had a week between jobs. And I went, and it rained every day, and I got back, and everyone said, oh. oh, we've had the loveliest week sitting in the garden. I was like, I spent all that money to go to the Caribbean. I could have just stayed at oh. home. And I was exhausted as well. Right. Okay, so now I'm going to make the little pleat in the bottom. So what I tend to do is sort of bunch all the excess material to the middle. Yeah. And then kind of... But you can kind of do it how, however you want, really, but... And then pop it flat like that. So Lovely. It's like a little pleat, and then I'm going to pin that in place. And then same again. I'm going to stitch along the bottom now to hold that in place. Brilliant. Again within the seam lounge. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. The sea is blue and the sky is blue. I'm on the sleepy side of Cornwall near. Mm. Goran Haven. Oh, I've not is heard of it. Is that near Liscard, Lynn? And Lou, is it Lou? I've heard, I think I've yeah, heard I've of it. Yeah, I've been to Lou, been to Lou, been to been to Richard and Judy's house. Well, my dad did our family tree and most of our family originate from, from Cornwall. Do they? So we went to Cornwall on a family holiday years ago. And we even found, this is going to sound really morbid, but like the graves of his oh. ancestors. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Quite interesting. Yeah. Really. So but they didn't talk like you did. You do. Probably not, no. So Probably did you not. work out when the, when the family, or when, when they uprooted from Cornwall to uh, go to I Yorkshire? I my dad did, yeah. Oh, she's dad? Yeah, my dad that did it, yeah. Oh. Quite a while ago he, he looked into it, so... But yeah, that's why he wanted them to go to Cornwall. Yeah, of course, to like yeah, 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 yeah. Be in touch with his Aww. ancestral roots. And yeah. But then I look, it's one of my favourite places to go on holiday in this country. We've Aww. been quite a few times. Yeah, here, lovely. So. Oh, you'll have a lovely time. Doesn't matter what the weather's like. You've got your boyfriend, so. you've got the dog, yeah. and you'll have a and, and 
And, you, and you'll be fine. Has the glamping thing got a fire in it? No, it's literally got a bed in it. Go what? Just a bed. Oh, so, so it's glampy even, then. Well, no, but it's better than a tent. The ones I looked at had, had um, like a log we've, burner yeah, and things like that. Yeah, we've been in ones there. like that before. Maybe you have to upgrade quick. Uh, for next you week. know, it might not be a bad idea, actually. Uh -huh. It might not be a bad Is idea. Is the dog going to sleep in the tent with you? Yeah. He's not going to sleep outside. Oh, we don't have a little kennel outside. No. Uh, well, no, I would. <laughs> what kind not. of dog is it? He's a cocker spaniel. Because he'll be all wet from outside and everything will we'll be dry smelly. Him. No, we dry him. It's like at home, you know, when he goes in the garden. Yeah. We wipe, we like, we'll wipe his paws before he comes in the house. Before he comes in to Because I've got a really pale grey sofa. Oh, I hope not we in bought, the... Yeah, but yeah. we bought that before we you got the, the dog. dog. Yeah, because I probably wouldn't have gone pale no. grey, but... No. Never mind. Never right, mind. what are you showing us next then? So, the zip at the top of the bag now. Oh, yeah, zip at the top of the so bag. That's here. the next oh. element. Going right the way across the top. How long have I got, by the way? Oh, yeah, all right, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, fine. So, um, again, this is the 11-inch zip, um, I think it says on the back of the pattern. And then, again, it tells you how to cut each of these and what size to cut them to. Yeah. So, in preparation on all of these, I've um, pressed half an inch um, to the wrong side of all four, all short edges on like, all four oh, okay, pieces. okay, like a little hem, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to just grab two of these for now. Okay. I'm going to place one of them right side up. Yeah. And then I'm going to place my zip on top. And I'm just going to make sure I've got kind of even zip at each side. Okay. Oh, she's not near Liscard. She's near Mevagissi. Oh, I've got not... narrow lanes, but you'd love it here. It's just fields and sea. Oh, Lynn, it sounds beautiful. Oh, nice. See, right. Sam likes driving on the um, narrow lanes. Oh, I don't probably... mind till a bus comes the other way and you have to yeah, give way to the bus. Exactly. Anyway, right so side. So then, yeah, right side facing up, zip right side face up on top. Yeah. And then another piece right side facing down on top of that, just to sandwich it all together. And then I'm going to pin this. Just pop a couple of pins in. I've just realised I've got no subtitles today. It's weird, isn't it? And then again, I'm popping the zipper foot on. And I'm going to sew all the way down this right hand side of the zip with the zipper foot as close to the zip teeth as okay. I can get. Who's Carol got on with her today? Claire. I haven't heard Claire at all. Oh, can hear it's Carol. Yeah. Remember, you can get hold of Emily on uh, Facebook, on what's the one with the camera? Instagram. Instagram and yeah. there's a website as well. Confident beginner, this. So that's what I've just sewn like that. And then you would flip that then to the right side and then you would top stitch it. But so I can sort of show the next bit, I'll leave the top stitching for right, now because okay. I could always come back to that. So the top stitch should stop it rolling back yeah, over the yeah, thing, just yeah. sort of again, you'd use your zipper foot again and just go down um, again close to the zip teeth. And I would probably change your stitch length to maybe like about a three, stitch length of three um, for a top stitch. And then I'm going to get another one of these and place that right side facing up. And then the zip again with the sort of zip pull facing uh -huh. up, matching the sides of what we've already stitched on. Christine says, uh, you're inspiring me to get sewing again, Emily, but I'm trying to sort out my sewing room. It really needs a good old clear out. Oh, thanks, Christine. Yeah, get yeah. on with it, Christine. Mine gets messy really quickly, my sewing room. Yeah, it's easy enough, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then I've put the last piece, again, right side facing down. So this is attaching the next two pieces to the other side of the zip. Uh-huh. Michael's looking confused again. No, I'm just looking at stuff. He's I'm acquainted. Oh, he's trying to become acquainted he's with the room. He's becoming one with the cameras, that's yeah. what he's doing. I'm on the camera anyway. <laughs> he walked in and he recognised one camera from years ago in another oh, studio. Has it got a name? Number Maybe. one, I think it was called. Oh, no, number Aww. three. So, 
So again, doo -doo -doo -doo. I would then probably top stitch that. Yeah. But just so I can show you then how we make, um, we've got to like attach these together. I was going to say, I wonder how, yeah, yeah. Wait, how does that go together? So, yeah. yeah. this is how you do this bit. So it doesn't matter which side you do first, but pick one side and roll both up towards the zip. Right. And then get the other side, flip it round like that, so it's right sides together. Ah. But I need to unzip my zip first, so I'll show you that again, cos. But the zip's got to be open, has it? Yes, in order to turn it round. Because I haven't top stitched it, this is getting Oh, it's getting bit, caught. Yeah. There we go. Am I? So I'll roll one side up, grab the other two pieces, flip them round so the right side's together. And then I'm going to sew along there. Right. Quarter inch seam line, so just on the long edge. Yeah. Changing your foot again. Yeah. Nothing but change that foot, have you, today? Your clock's going much faster than mine, um, Charlie. No, 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 but a minute ago he said how many minutes it was and my clock was the same. And then he's just told me how many it is now and my clock isn't the same anymore. Right, so now we need to turn this back the right way. So this is where the zip being open helps because you yeah. can just pull. Oh, brilliant. Sort of jiggle it around a bit. All right. Yeah, got it. Once you kind of get the majority of it, it comes through. So as you can see now, this is the side that we have stitched together. And you just give that a bit of a press and then we need to do the same on this side. Right. So rolling this towards the zip. Right, you out. Flip that that way. I do love the way Emily teaches. It's like having a friend in the house teaching you, says Viv. That's nice. Oh, thank you. And then the same again. The more you have your zip open, the easier, easier this bit time. is. While you're pulling that through, let me just yeah. go through some of the bundles because we're going to run out of time. So the bundle that we use to make this one is you get your half metre of your dragonflies, half metre of your flowers, half a metre of your cork with your black and white and your instructions, 29.99, £29.99. pence. The one that we're demoing now is the green, hang on, no, it's not the green one, it's this one, isn't it? This one, this, no, not teal, it was the cre no, cream and, and chartreuse. Is that the one you've got? No, 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 no you were right. Sorry, Ben, that was my bad. You were right, you were right, you are right, right. Is it, I don't think it's teal, because I think that one's teal. Yeah, I would say that. that this one's the Odile one. Balia, and you've got the silver, you got the silver uh, cork, and you get the instructions. 29.99. Then we've got the one that's got cream and chartreuse, and your cork on that one is your dark, medium weight cork with those two lovely fabrics plus your instructions 29.99 and last but not least you've got your teal tilda just put that back on the shelf teal tilda there so you get your silver cork on this one and your two tilda fabrics plus your instructions 29.99 
Right, very quickly, back to you. Yep, so that's all done on that, and then all the thing we'd need to do on that is the little tabs, but again, kind of got myself one prepped. And then when it comes to sewing it together, you would just top stitch this onto your lining piece. Oh, okay. So you top stitch each side to each side of your lining yeah. piece before you put sort of your side panels in, your bottom panel, and then you'd leave a gap in your lining. But that's kind of all the elements. Right. And like I said, the putting the bag together. So that's itself, the lining. Like, then you do yes. the same. You've done. You put all your cork bits together. Yes. Yeah, so you'd put your. You'd attach each side. Yeah. So you make a cork version and a lining version. Yes. But you've got your in. So you've got all your interfacing. Which is what you on the lining. On the lining. Not yeah. on the outside yeah. one. Yeah. Only because um, obviously the cotton's not as thick as the wadi. Um, yeah. As the cork. So I decided to put it on uh, lining, but. I don't no, think it matters, really. does it? No, not really. Brilliant. Oh, right, yeah. uh, Emily back in now. We're going to do a folded star. Uh, in the meantime, check out on this. Now, uh, Ben's also put, because because uh, our native lighting was going so well this morning and we heard that they're doing native lighting next door later. He's put, can we show it? Are they on pre-order or are they on... Um, On today's show deals, right, so if you go to the website www.sewingstreet.com, click on watch the live show, then look down here, today's show deals, he's put some more native lightings on there. There's the ring light, they didn't show that yesterday. Okay, now also, while I'm here, remember the, the um, exclusive, brand new, it was only launched yesterday, uh, Okay, right, 139.99. How many? And how many have sold? Oh, we've completely smashed yesterday's figures. <laughs> well, Becky Ellis and Trust waiting to come in. Um, right, basically, you can have it as a floor, you can have it as a desk, or you can have it as a clamp, and it comes with the clamp and everything like that. I, actually, do you know what I'll do? At the beginning of the 12 o'clock hour, because I don't think the folding star will take a whole hour, no, will it? No. We'll do a recap of like the lamp, the book, there it is, look, the lamp, the book, and what was the other thing we were going to do at the beginning of 12? Oh, yeah, there might be another couple of things we're going to show at the beginning of 12 o'clock. Anyway, it's 139.99. Come on, let's beat yesterday's figure. Let's beat yesterday's sales. 139.99. Now, it will go up on Monday. We've got exclusivity till next Monday when we both go on our holidays. Uh, <laughs> and it goes up to 146, did you say? 146.99 on Monday. Um, and then it'll be available on other uh, other places as well. But now you could exclusively get it. Anyway, don't go anywhere. Becky Alexander Frost's up. Oh, she's doing this. Now I keep calling it the Spice Girl bag and I don't know why. <laughs> What's it called, Becky Alexander Frost? The keep it together. Keep it together. Oh, I can never do that. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'll show you this after break. Uh, we'll see you in an hour. Yes, yeah, see you And soon. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Hi, it's Yvonne here. As you all know, I was born in Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland. And we're getting to that point in the year whenever I get to go home. From the 1st of September, the Stormont Hotel in Belfast becomes the home of Quilt Fair, which is an event that together with my friends, Margaret and Helm, we have reintroduced into the, North, into the island of Ireland. We are really looking forward to this, our second event. We have retained many of the features that you like from last year's show. We have those nice wide aisles. We have all those expert traders and our free talks and demos in our schoolhouse. In addition, this year, we have added our creative workshops, which Sewing Street has so generously sponsored for us. So this year we have added in two exhibitions. One of them, Old Roots, New Shoots, is from the Irish Patchwork Society. And the other exhibition is the work from our traders. It's, it's entitled, This Is What We Do. So I really hope that I will see a lot of you there. We thank everyone for their continuing support in this venture that we have to create the best little quilt show in Ireland. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harbour. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. 
but I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Baffa's back. What are you doing your last hour? Look at her, look how tall she is now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how this goes. If she falls off it, I'm not catching her. <laughs> right, we are making we. She Baffery is about to make this back. It's gorgeous, this back, because it comes in two parts, right? This is the outside <clears throat> part here, right? And then what I love, it's got all the little accessories, like the little strap on the um, on the handles there, and then you've got your zip pulled around like this. Now, it comes in two parts. Let me just take this one out. So if you just want to make this, you can do, right? That's just one version there. That's the, what we're calling the outer. But that also has, look, that has the zip pockets in here and everything like that. Oh, out. they come out as well, don't they? Yeah. So if you want to make into a little weekend bag, you could do, right? Or if you have one of those in with your makeup in it and you keep your little, your smalls in there or whatever. You can have it as your makeup bag to go away with or whatever. But put those back in. All right, so I'll leave them out for now. And then you can, this is what we call the inner, which are these extra pockets here. And they've uh, one touch fastening in, they've got elastic in them there. There's so much you can do with this. Now I do need to tell you, the last time I did this with Becky, it sold out in moments. So uh, please be careful if you are thinking of getting this. I'll take you through all the, the things you need to buy now. I'm just gonna put it all back together again. There you go. There you go. So today we're only going to be working on the outer. We're not working on the inner. But from the, uh, Becky's going to do this. If, so if you buy the whole kit, kit, kit and caboodle from us today, from, as you say, September the 15th, thereabouts. Yeah. Then she's going to do a sew along on how to make this, which you can either do live with her or then watch it on her YouTube channel afterwards. So she'll go through all the different stages I've had to make everything because obviously it's going to take way more. This takes a long time to make, doesn't it? It does, yeah. There's lots and lots. And I'm not saying it's difficult. I'm just saying it's t time consuming. So there's no way you could actually demonstrate this in an hour or do it any justice within an hour. It's going to take hours and hours and hours. So if you buy the, the bundle and everything today and then wait until Becky does her sew along or you'd have to do it live. You can do, you can do it. Um, when you watch on a YouTube channel, you can just spend your time slowly making each of the stages with her. So, what we've got for sale today is, now I'll do the, you've got the, um, 
They're two separate items, right? You've got the outer bag and the inner bag, which we call part one and part two. So, hang oh. on, I've got to get this the right way around now. Part one's the outer. Part, part one two. is the outer. Right, yeah. so this is part one. This is the outer. This is the hardware and the instructions that you'll need for the outer. So you get all the zips, all the ring pulls, everything you need in there, your instructions. Now, I've also got to say something else in here, haven't I, about the template. Yeah, so... Um, basically the printer's messed up a bit on the pattern so on the back of part one you've got templates here it's not a true size that's what not even one inch so inside the booklet will be a printout pull out use that as your main template but if you ever lose that you can scan this in and then just keep printing it out until increasing the size until it comes to one to an inch. inch. But, but don't worry, if you're buying this, you do get you the do bright get the size polite. slipped inside as well. Yep. So that, that there is part one for the outside of the bag, the big bag on the outside. That's the hardware and the instructions and the patterns and the templates and everything for the outside of the bag, 22 99 if you want to make the inside of the bag, this is the pattern, the templates and the instructions. Now, is this the same? Uh, is there a slip in this one? Or? There is a slip in. Yeah, so, yep. so all of, there's a slip in there with all your other things in there. 22 99 so that's your hardware for your in... Oh, no, sorry. Here's your inside one coming now. Oh, 19 99 the inside. 19 99 so you've got your hardware and your instructions, your templates for the inner bag there. Right, if you don't want to do that, we've got the patterns for both of them here. So we've got the pattern for the part one, which is the outer bag. Keeping it together. I don't know why I've got spice, was it? Spice up the Because we were singing it this morning. What did I say? Spice up your life. I'm yeah, but keep, keep it together. Where did that come from? I think it's one. Anyway, twelve ninety nine. that's the pattern on its own for the outer bag. We've got the inner bag instructions on their own. What's the matter, Michael? Oh, he thinks the camera's making a funny noise. <laughs> Twelve ninety nine. That's the inner bag on its own. Now we have got we have got fabric bundles. So the one that this is made out of, so you can see what it looks like. The one that this one is made out of is this bundle here, and you get two. Now, is this enough to do? the outer and the inner it is, so yeah. this is enough fabric to do the whole caboodle right so you get two meters of the feathers which actually has a little bit of um it's got uh, sparkle, like sparkle isn't it? Yeah? it yeah so you get two meters of that you get two meters of the butterfly and you oh and you get two meters of the lilac plus you get your pvc oh did you know this price drop that's a good price. Forty nine ninety nine. Hang, hang on. That's that's twenty pounds off. You've just taken twenty pounds off that. No, don't worry because <laughs> you you this doesn't affect you because it's no. our fabric, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, so now, so now that's pretty just so you've basically almost given you one of the patterns for free by doing that, isn't it? If you buy the fabric, so that's enough fabric to make the whole lot, the inside and the outside. PVC. So yeah, PVC and six meters of fabric. Forty nine ninety nine. That's not right. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> they got told off a couple of weeks ago for dropping something too low. It was accidentally. Anyway, that's the one that that, that one's made out of. The one you're going to see being demoed is the Riley Blake one. So it's got the seagulls on it, or the albatrosses. You get that lovely, gorgeous kind of, um, I almost want to say... Um, native australian print sort of yeah, thing i yeah. never know the right word to say anymore but now that's a really gorgeous it's not beige it's not tan i don't know what color you'd call that plus your pvc that one's 79.99 no mm -mm. 59.99 20 pounds off 20 pounds off that's a really amazing bundle so you've got all of that plus your pvc Two metres, two metres, two metres. I don't know how much PVC you actually get. I imagine it's two metres, is it? There's um, more than what you need. Oh, way more than what you need. And also, if it arrives like this, how do I make it? I'm going to talk to you about Okay, you're going to talk to me. She's going to talk to me on one side. And you, she's going to tell you, yeah. don't worry, she's not going to, she's going to tell me. So that's when you're going to see demoed. There are two others. Now, these are the ones that get confusing now. So <laughs> I've got 
William Morris Willow in blue, William Morris Willow in ochre, and I've got the naturally seeded cotton one there. Plus your PVC. Look at the yeah, look at that one. That's how you can tell. Forty nine ninety nine. Already been dropped that one. Forty nine ninety nine. Now, if I'm not, if I'm correct, I could be eating my own words here. Isn't this fabric a little bit wider? It is. It is, look. Yeah. So you're actually getting even more fabric on that because these William Morrises are wider. And uh, oh, look, there's loads of labels all coming off. At uh, 49.99, what's the matter? What's what? Oh, seven left of that one, very popular. And you get the PVC as well. And you get the PVC too. And then last but not least, the same again as the Willow fabric. <laughs> oh, she's folded. I wonder what she's grabbed it off me. <laughs> So you get the willow with the grey or the blue background there, the willow with the cream background, and then you get the sage, and you get the, um, that's your price, that's your price, that's your price, your PVC. Okay, you will need some R-form R bosal for the outer bag. You don't need it, you need it for the inner bag as well? Yeah. And how much will, how much will I need? That will do. For oh, that'll do it, that'll do it, that'll do it, there you go. Both patterns. For both, so the inside and the outside, that's enough for that. Ten ninety-nine. You will need. I'll let you just check out on that one. You will need some iron on interfacing. I'm surprised you haven't got this on a roll in your house. Of oh, shells. Okay. There's your iron on interfacing. Three ninety-nine. You'll also need some one-touch fastening. I can't call it because we don't think it is. Hook and loop papers. Now, is that enough for the whole thing? Yeah. Can I have that afterwards, please? Because I've left mine at home. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Is that what you were uh, yes, that's a trade name, so you can't <laughs> use that name, you see. Is it like what? Kettle? Well, they can if they're made out of Teflon. And they've got elastic here as well. B E Z W forty that one. One ninety nine. That's it. That's it. So don't cut a bit off and give it back to me. No, I need the majority of this. Okay, <laughs> fine. Right. Okay. So what are you going to show? I do like the feel of that PVC, P princess. <laughs> I like to stroke it. I love my keep it together bag, says Susan. Uh, wow, that's a bargain for the fabric. Uh, Becky's patterns are fantastic and the keep it together bag is very useful. I use mine constantly from Sharon. Yay. Uh, anyway, that's gorgeous. Uh, right, what we need to get on with now is what we're going to make. So what are you going to show us? It's the outer bag, isn't it? Yeah, first of all, I'm just going to show you the zip pulls are not installed. Um, so Pardon? They're not installed onto the zip, so I'm going to just quickly... Did you not get the children to do those before they went back to school? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Right, okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to install the main bag zipper. Yeah. So you peel it apart, so you've got just about an inch of tape, and then you've got on your zip, you've got a pointy bit and a flat side. Yeah. The pointy zip part of the um, pull needs to go onto the zip first. So pop the pull on an angle and then you hold it in that hand. You open up the zipper a bit more and you pop this bit in and you'll push at the back on the flat bit and you'll hear it click and you pull the zip all the way down right. to the other end because it's a two-way opening zipper. Right. So we need to install the other one, so you open it up and- Making it look so easy. Do hundreds. Just what? I do hundreds. <laughs> pop you the zipper. in front of the telly? Yeah. Right, okay, so I've got one tooth longer on this on this side than that, so you've got to always make sure the pull goes on the teeth, that's the longest, Right. first. Pop that on, hold it with your film finger, and then pop that on. Hold yeah. On, and click that into place. You'll hear it click, and then you just bring it into the center. How brilliant. So that's how easy it is, and then you need to shrink it. Eh? Hey. Right, so all zippers you meant to iron. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Especially for nylon. So if you shrink it, 
it means that you're not going to and I noticed someone recently put on the fans page the zip was doing this right it's because it hasn't been shrunk well I never didn't know that yeah but you do that after you put the ties put the, the, put the zip pulls on. on doesn't have to be a hot iron as you can see oh have you just broken my iron no well. <laughs> honestly you can't give her anything there you go it's on thank you <laughs> right so that's your zip prepared and done yeah Right, so I'm going to just pop that to one side and okay. come to that in a minute. Quick question. You've been watching Married at First Sight? Don't tell me what happened last night, but yeah, I have, yeah. My friend, April's on it. Is that the lady with blonde hair? It's the lady who, when she, have you, have you watched the first one yet? Yeah. When they all arrive for the drinks party yeah. at the beginning, she's, they say dress designer, and she had a little oh, white yeah, dress yeah, on yeah. with the ruffles. She was Miss Great Britain. Yeah, because she said, she said um, she was going to make her own wedding dress. That's they her, all that's a bit, her, yeah. that's her, no, yeah, right, that's April, right? And um, so has, it, has her episode been on yet then? Because It watched, wasn't on the first okay, episode. Okay, no, I've only watched the first I've one. I've only watched the first one. I think oh. that's all that's gone out so far. No. Because at, at the end of it, it said. It's on every night this week. Oh! So I missed last night, so obviously oh, I've been seen in last the hotel. I've been in bed. Yeah. Right, so because at the end of episode one, it said coming up tomorrow night, yeah. and they showed the clip of her getting married to her man, and she said. So that would have been last night. Then. Yeah. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. And, she, <laughs> and he said, and he said, uh, and, he, and she said, "Have you got any children?" He went, "Yeah, four. And oh, her yeah, face yeah, failed, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. I've not seen it. That was the thing from that before. I know her because I used to be one of the judges on Miss Great Britain. And she was in Miss Great Britain pageant about three times before she won it. So um, that's how I know her. Anyway, right, go on the bag. Right, okay, so because we demonstrated this in December, I did up to this part here, which is the main outer front, and it's got a zip yeah. pocket and a slip pocket. I'm going to move on to doing the zip construction and the base construction. So we're going to do the bag gusset, and you can see how we're going to assemble part of the bag. Right, okay, so first of all you need to measure, get your base lining, and then your base lining is Velcro, so we need One to... One touch fastening. Yeah. Uh, we need to measure in on both long edges, and draw with a friction pen or something. Yeah. Then you need to measure down, and that is five eighths. No, that's five eighths. Oh, I've done it wrong already. I was going to say, I've done it wrong. That's what the joy of using a friction pen, iron it, gets rid of it. Oh, forgot. It's got a little feet. You have to give it a chance. Yeah. It's still warm now, isn't it? You can't always put a friction <laughs> pen on it. Right, it's five eighths in from the sides. One, right. two, three, four, five. I haven't worked out the five eighths on uh, the eighths yet. So I'm still counting eighths. Honestly. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so it's five eighths on both sides, then it's one inch from the top. Right. It's all in the instructions the right way it around, is, though, yeah. isn't it? Okay. So we need to add in the Velcro. So you would have already found out what size pieces you need, and you need four pieces. And we're going to use the harder side, which is the hook side. Yeah. You're going to use all four pieces. And you're going to keep the soft pieces and put those to one side because this is part two oh, of the bag. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So, so if I'm only going to make part one, do I need to put this one touch fasting on no, here? you no. don't. You can miss this part out. I put it on just in case in the future you suddenly decide to make part two yeah, as well. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah. Right, so on the back you can either glue them or... <laughs> wash um, when you buy your rolls of double-sided tape, how many rolls do you order in, a, in each go? Um, about 15. 15? Yes. Yeah. And how big are they, the ones you order? About that wide. Yeah. Yeah. Industrial size, aren't they, these ones? Yeah. You, I mean, basically, you use on everything, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. How long have you known me without having, coming onto the show without this? <clears throat> right, so you've got all your sticky stuff on the back. Uh-huh. Good thing about it is it doesn't wreck your iron. No, what the, 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 the wash away tape yeah, or really the quilts tape. I mean, not your iron, your sewing machine. Sewing machine, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I want that iron for Christmas. Oh, do you? Yeah. It's funny because um, Emily said she just wanted it as her birthday present. It was her birthday yesterday. <laughs> you want it for Christmas? Yep. 
Right, okay, so as you can see, I've just stuck one down right yep. onto those markings right next to it. Right. Then you're going to use that one as a marker for the next one. Obviously that one's a little bit too long, so I'm just going to trim that back. And then you're going to stick two on this side as yeah. well. So let's quickly do that. That's oh, so all four are going on there? Yeah, because it's to do with the spines of part two. Right. So when you take out part two, this is where the two sp uh, the spines will be sticking onto. And obviously this bit in the centre is where the bag bends. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. So if you've got a zigzag stitch, you can go down the centre and zigzag across those. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'll just quickly do that. Right, I'm just going down the centre first. Say that again, Ben. I can't hear you. Uh, uh, which one? Yeah, which one? <coughs> the outer. The outer instructions on their own, what, without the hardware. Yeah, five of the outer instructions on their own, that's all that's left. Five of the outer, which is part one. I've got it. lifting itself yeah 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 so it's a lazy mode that you can put on and um, so it's a pivot mode so it lifts up so you've got time to wiggle around your yeah brilliant right so i'm just doing a straight stitch all the way around now um rather than the zigzag the zigzag is so it basically goes over both pieces in the center oh i see of course yeah, yeah so yeah. you're doing two rows of straight yeah, stitching I've got it now. how are you making that foot go up Take my foot off the pedal. And that's it, it just lifts automatically. Yeah, so there's a button on here that you press and it basically lifts up and down. Oh, brilliant. It sounds like <coughs> and as soon as you press the button to go again, it just drops it down. Yeah, it sounds like a hen, doesn't it? Sounds like a chucky. <laughs> You've got motorised hens in your garden as well. <laughs> no. You're right, it does sound like a little chucky egg. Jean's watching, morning Jean. Was morning. it afternoon? No, still morning, still morning. Right, okay, so I've gone all the way around. If you've got markings, you can get rid of those, but I'm yeah. just going to skip that bit. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is get your foam and attach it to that. Does the foam have to be that much bigger? No, I'll just cut a random piece. Oh, okay, off, right, yeah. okay. So you're just going to do basically what we did in the first hour, stitch all the way around, but this time we're not going to trim it back. You're going to need to zigzag oh, the stitch. Okay. So I'm going to knock my stitch length up. Yeah. And I'm going to do a quarter of an inch away. Right. So I'm knocking my stitch length up to a five because this machine can go up to a five. Okay, I've got to ask a question. On the machine, is that I can see an orange light where the scissors are and an orange light where the um, da -da 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 lock stitch is. Lock stitches. Why are the lights on there? They say they're available. They're available for this mode. Oh. So it tells you yeah, what you can use. Yeah, it tells you everything, yeah. doesn't it? But also the orange light means that I've got the um, the thread cutter pedal put in as well. Because oh, that's all okay. sometimes green. Oh, right, okay. Yep. There are seven of those machines still in baskets. Please make sure you check out before the end of the show.
Right, so I've attached that and then we're just going to trim it back to the actual fabric side. So the width of the fabric. Right. Not like the other one, um, the pass bag. But you cut it smaller, yeah. yeah. And then we're going to zigzag all the way around. Now you're probably wondering why we're zigzagging. Why are you zigzagging all the way around? Because it makes the, um, it less bulky. Ben says, why are you zigzagging all the way around? Because <laughs> it makes it less bulky. Okay. Oh, be quiet you. <laughs> It was funny the first time. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm just gonna pop this onto a zigzag. And a wide one. So I'm making sure the needle at least comes off like it's an overlock stitch. Right. This all the instructions as well? Yeah. Have we got the William Morris Blue Willow on its own? I don't, not in the hour, but we might have it on the website. I'll give you the, I can tell you the code. Oh, can I? No, that's this, oh. No, I can't tell you the code, because that's the code of the two metre bundle, isn't it? Is it not? WLC416. Oh, hang on, that's not bad. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can look it up. I can look it up. Do you mean the blue background or the blue leaf, Christine? Do you have the William Morris Blue Willow on its own? Maybe. I think, you, I think you might mean this one. So look in that bundle that's got the cream on it, Michael. On the back, you've got a bundle sheet. So look at the one that's got heart, uh, the cream, two metres of cre naturally seeded cream on it. Sorry, Becky. No, it's all right. That's the last hour. You've got the last hour sheet. Anyway, carry on. You carry on, Becky. We're right, sorted. Okay, so I'll have a look for you, Christine, now. So with the main outer, you're going to pop that right side down and um, wrong side facing up, which has got interfacing attached. Yeah. And then you're going to pop this onto there. Why do you put interfacing on if it's also going onto um, the bosel? Because um, sometimes fabric has a habit of sagging. Yeah. And interfacing oh, stops the sagginess, course. doesn't it? but also it adds that extra strength to yeah. the bag. And then I'm just going to base stitch a quarter of an inch all the way around using a long stitch length. Straight stitch on yeah. that one, yeah. Okay, so you want the one with the um, naturally seeded cotton, William Morris Blue. The code is SUC474. Have we got that on its own? Thank you. We're just checking. No, it's no, it's only in the bundle, I'm afraid. Interactive. Ben's getting very brave. I take it he's finished his probation. No, because they have to do two probations here. Don't they have to do a three monthly and a six monthly. Yeah. You see, cat, our cat that went next door went, well of course I'm not be having a probation. They were like, yeah, you will, after three months and six months. Even though she just moved from this desk to that desk. Okay, so I've gone all the way around and yeah. stitched all the way around. So you're going to pop that to one side and we're going to move on to the zipper part right, of okay. the back. So, got your long zip and you're going to need one of your outers. Right, so have you done the same with that? Have you, have you um, interfaced it, bosal, zigzag shh, stitch? Shh, shh, shh. Sorry, go on, say this again. Um, interfaced it. Yeah. Then bows all attached yeah. and zigzagged all the way around. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, so quilter's tape. Now this is where most of the quilter's tape will oh, go. Oh, because the whole length, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had a bigger roll a minute ago. Yeah, it shrinks because I'm used to these. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you've got an EPP pen, um, glue pen, you can use that. Oh, okay. Yeah. As long as it's on cotton fabric, obviously. What are your little clips in? Love your pouch with your clips in. Oh, that's a, um, a YouTube video. That's a free YouTube video. From you? Yeah. Go to a YouTube, you can see that, uh, Susan. My what? I 
I'm a bit confused. Right. Okay, you carry on, Becky. Sorry, I don't know. It's what's fine. Going. Right, so if you are going to be one of those people that you know you're going to pull as it pulls off, pull yeah. um, so over this part here. It's really easy. You can just pop it under your machine, use a long stitch length. There you go. And just sew over those teeth. Okay. So you're going to need to pull your zip pulls right to the end yeah. or close to the end. Okay. But it's all closed, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's all yeah, closed. Yeah. I'm just going to move this. Bounce up. Thank you. Right, so this part of the zip here is going to hang off. Right. Does it that matter how far? No, no, no. It's just going to hang off because has anybody ever noticed when they're putting a the zip in that it's a bit wonky where you've had to move the zip pull? Yeah. That's because... Oh, uh, so you can cut that off in the end? Yeah. Oh, uh, see. So don't put it off too far off because you're going to no. waste a bit of your zip, aren't you? But it's yeah. long enough anyway, isn't it's it? It's long enough. So I'm oh, sticking yeah, I this. always used to... I hate putting zips in anyway, but I always used to get to that stage and it'd always wobble at the yeah, end. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So I've popped this wrong side, um, right side facing down, so yeah. it's to the right side. I'm just going to change my foot. Right. Oh, you just get off the box to do that. Yep, I do. Is the zip foot in there? Yeah. I made sure of that this time. Actually, all so now, So now, on this one, when you change, is it because you're taking the whole walking foot yeah. off? Normally, you just drop a foot off and drop one on, wouldn't yeah, you? Like yeah, a normal yeah. machine. It's only because you're taking the walking yeah, foot off. Yeah, because this claw goes into the black box yeah. that I was talking about. Yeah. I'm just going to put the zipper foot in. Now, I don't nor I don't use, oh, well, I used to never use the zipper foot, but on this machine, you need to use the zipper foot when you're putting the zip in. Because? Because the f walking foot's wider. Oh. Uh, oh, of course it is. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. But look how easy it took no time at all, did it? No time. And if you've got chubby hands like me, you can open it up. Yeah. There you go. I thought you were doing that so we could see. No! Just take that mode off. Okay, and then. Oh no, I've had to turn the sound off because my bar dog is barking at the chicken. <laughs> the chicken on the sewing machine. Right, so I'm just moving my needle over. There's okay. so many needle positions, aren't there, on that there one? There is, well. yeah. So I'm just going to base stitch this on. Oh my that. gosh, I love that machine. It does everything I want one from Sarah. Sarah, buy it! Yeah, buy it, buy it, buy it. Buy it. So I'm just base stitching this onto place. It's not where it should be at the moment. So I'm about oh, one, okay. so one eighth okay. from the edge. Right. Uh, Dawn, what you need is you need, um, we have this magnet thing. It's, um, I can't remember what they're called now. It's called a glasses holder and it's from Irene and they're on the website. You have to buy three though. When I used that tape to put a zip in, I couldn't undo the zip. It was stuck to the tape. What did I do wrong? I had to wet it to dissolve the tape. Yeah, it's that wash away, that's what. It does happen, it happens to me. So if you wash away the tape, so if you damp it with a wet cloth, yeah. it dissolves. Or mist it with spray. Oh what? Or mist it with spray oh, from okay, like yeah. the iron or yeah. something. Okay, so I've got that into position. We're yeah. going to get the lining piece and you're going to pop that right side facing down to the wrong side. Okay, of the so now the, the lining piece has got interfacing, interfacing on, it, on it and the other one had... Interfacing and foam. Foam, yeah. yeah. I'm running out of tape, so I'm actually having to... You've run out of tape? No, I haven't run out. I'm running out, so I'm having to... Clip this one. Clip this. Oh, no. Will you cope? Yeah. Not like you to run out. No, no. I normally bring bag. two rolls, yeah. but I've forgotten the one-touch fastener and the... Oh, look, Michael's seeing if we've got any. Is that double-sided? That doesn't look like it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> let me look, let me look, let me look. <laughs> He's trying, God love him. Bless him. At least he went and went and tried to... No, we haven't got any... No, don't afraid. worry about oh, it. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
someone's probably used that. They had that on Emma's show. Emma no, Bins. that's one detect that. Feel that? That's not it, is it? That's Wonder Tape, I think, isn't it? That's your sticky on one. That's the one that marks. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for trying. Thanks, Michael, but no thanks. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> oh, she thinks she's talking to her husband now. <laughs> Do you know when I said Michael earlier on, I thought I was actually addressing my husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Susan says, thank you, Becky. I couldn't see what I was doing wrong. Yeah, just um, basically wet it. Yeah. If you can make your zips longer and put the zip pulls to the one side, then it's fine. Yeah. Right, so you're going to sew right next to the zip, so that's three oh, eighths. Oh, this time you are doing it right next yeah. to the zip, okay. Three eighths of an inch. How many? Three eighths. <laughs> Is that the same as three eighths? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So are there extensions in your hair, the pink bits? No. It's, it's naturally, uh, it's not naturally, um, it's bleach blonde underneath. Oh, okay, naturally bleach blonde in the sun. <laughs> no, it's bleach. Well, I was young, we had something called sun in. I wonder if they still sell it. They do. You, oh, they do, you spray it in your hair. But that's lethal stuff. That hey, is, that's lethal stuff. Oh, lethal. That is, lethal. Yeah. yeah, no, it was. I used to get, make my peroxide blonde in the summer. Back in the day when I used to have streaks. Make this I was, I'll bring a, a picture in of me on a motorbike in 1988 in, in Skopelos in my little shorts. It's fabulous, isn't it, Skopelos? I like Skopelos. That's right, that's right, that's how you get there. You get the dolphin across from Skiathos to Skopelos. No, 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 because we only went on holiday to Skopelos that year, so we went to Skiathos, got on the dolphin across, and then had the whole holiday. We came with Skiathos on the other day, a okay, uh, day. Trips, I think. But it was, when I went there, it was untouched, but they were just starting to build hotels. There weren't even hotels when I spoke there. But if you go to remember, I went in 1985. Alright, I've just got a little bit of um, overhang. Oh, I've overcut. So, there you go. Okay. Let's go. Right, so you're going to press this open. The best ability. Now, you do need wonder tape because this is what oh, happens. Oh, yeah, look. It does, it proves it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you get little puckers along. So wonder tape is the best thing, right? Yeah. You're going to press it open and you're going to clip along the two edges. Clip or wonder, or is this, you clip. would use your clips now. Yeah. yeah. Just to keep the two pieces together. Yeah. Oh, Princess is answering questions on your on your behalf now. Oh, thanks, Princess. Yeah, she might not be right. No, she will be. She's one of my admin. So you have Princess doing your admin, and who? You, you Lynn to it. Lynn to it. To it. To it is um, my my main proofreader. So right. they're, they're all testers as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I've got Sue's Sue, who you met um, at Festival Quilt. She's yeah. a Facebook. Um, admin. Admin. And then I've got Emma Perchard, which helps me in the background with um, admin on Facebook as well as um, my website if I, my need to, if I need to research. They do it for free and I'm so thankful for them. Cause it's well, as a small bit, no, no offence, but as a small cottage industry working from home, you, yeah. couldn't, you wouldn't be able to afford to do no, not all of them, all of them paying everybody. No, so, so I, I send them treats and stuff through the post and oh. stuff, yeah. And also, I presume if they make one of your, if they make one for you, they can keep it, can they? Yeah, yeah, they? yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, all I want them is to tell it's me just, if there's any mistakes yeah, exactly, in it and that. exactly. So they do, they enjoy making it. Mm -hmm. And because your instructions are so thorough, they're not yep. frightened by them. No, and no. they get to keep something at the end of it. And they'll have exactly. it before anyone else gets yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right, so I haven't top stitched along this yet because I'm not confident with top stitching with a zipper foot on. Right, okay. So I'm just going to move on to the next <gasps> piece. Are you using the tape? Yeah, because I'm. Um, You're going to run out? Yeah, but I won't need it for the next oh, okay, bit. Okay, that's right. Can't you give Becky a blue glue pen? If we had one, we would do. We haven't got one in the <laughs> studio. 
Everything gets taken back by Roy, doesn't it? Oh, his face when he came on. Oh, little Roy. <laughs> his name's not Roy. Oh, isn't it? No. What's his name? So for years, right? Well, not years. <laughs> when I started, I've been here nearly two years, and he used to come to the old, you know, the old oh, studio. The old studio, and yeah. And he'd come in, and for some reason, I'm sure somebody told me his name was Roy. So he said, <laughs> morning, Roy. Morning, Roy. And about 18 months later, someone said, you know, his name's not really Roy, don't you? And I, he came in, I said, is your name not Roy? And he went, no, it's Brian. Oh, it's and I said, why didn't you tell me? He went, oh, I didn't like to. Oh. So now, for everyone in the building now calls him Roy. <laughs> in fact, we're supposed to be filming an advert together, me and Roy, but I don't know what's happened. To, not not for, the, for only for in here, you know what I mean? Oh. Um, I never get fed up of watching Becca's demos. They're so informative. Um, well, hang on, when my daughter was 14, I put sun in in her hair, but went a bit too much, and it went bright orange in the sun. She's never forgiven me to this day, and she's now 47. Um, that's me, that was. That's why I said that stuff's lethal, because uh, I, I did it. It turned uh, even your dark hair? Yeah, it went bright orange, <gasps> and it took ages. To chat it. Mind you, when I, when I, um, I, at one point in 1979, I had a blue stripe through my hair here, and it started off dark blue and went to pale blue at the back there. And it, looked, it didn't look that good because blue and hair, does, I don't think blue and hair goes together. But anyway, the blue, because it was crazy colour, the blue eventually left. So I tried to dye it myself and it went the most awful, like horrible, orangey yep. colour. And I was stuck with it then, it wouldn't go away then. So I had to wait for my hair to grow before I could then cut it out. Because I had one of those filoki haircuts, you know, oh, short yeah, yeah, on this yeah. side and long on that side. Yeah. I must have got right old sight, mustn't I? <laughs> Walking around Wakefield and Barnsley. Morning, Becky. Oh, hang on. Morning. I've had my 780 plus for more than two years and I'm still finding lots of things on it. It's fabulous, says Pat. Yeah. Pat's got one. It's great. Did you, are you disappearing? Talk to me. Oh, no, I don't know what's happened. That's no, right, it's right, it's right. You sound like you're talking down a long tube. Oh, it should read morning, John and Becky. That's nice. <laughs> I thought she'd miss me off then, Pat. <laughs> Right, so I'm repeating the same process as what we did with the other side. Princesses, we love doing what we do for Bex. Oh. That's nice. They do amazing jobs. There's so many people got the sewing machine in their basket. I, I, maybe you're waiting to see if you can, to the end of the show, see if you can, because if I bought something that big, I'd have to find a bit of money here and a bit of money there and put it all together to be, you know. But the split payment. Oh, no, no, no. Work. But you know what I mean? I still have to, even yeah. for 500 pounds, I'd have to move money around. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not like I've got 500 pounds just sitting there. Unlike you rich people, you know. No, I ain't got that. <laughs> not, not No, have you got enough to buy a great big cutting table and a no, long arm quilter? No, that cutting table I built from Ikea cabinets. You did what? We built that, we built that cutting table from Ikea cabinets. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, so it's not even a special table. You just created it from... We had to get there? one for the special. Other Swedish shops are available. Yeah, um, for the height of me, because I'm short. Oh. So oh, we, no, so none of the others can use it, because Michael would make no, use it, No, 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 it's too, too really low for Michael. And where have your Lego cabinets gone, then? That's in the living room. Oh, so I thought, the living, I thought they were in the living room. The Lego is all in no, the No, I thought room. your cutting table's in the living room. That's in the kitchen. That's in the dining room kitchen area, oh, isn't it? Oh, kitchen dinette. Yeah. Oh. Um, what were you saying, Ben? No, you weren't saying that. <laughs> oh, I want to see you getting like Hannah. You are. Hannah says that to me, and when I go back to her, say, "What were you saying?" She went, "I can't remember now." You were saying something quite urgent while Becky was talking. Then. <laughs> Yay! Shout out to Barnsley. Well, Kelly, let's get to Barnsley. The South Yorkshire used to have subsidised buses. So it was cheaper to get from Bretton Hall to Barnsley than it was from Bretton Hall to um, Wakefield. And I went for my first frothy coffee there in Barnsley. Message. Hi, John and Becky. I've ordered part one and part two with the bundle. Oh, Barbara, Yay. you'll love it. Which colourway did you get? Yay. People are so lovely, Bunty, very friendly. Who's talking in the background? Oh, there you go, you've deselected me. I was coming through um, Ben's microphone. Is it Roy again? definitely not my, I, I think I, I did put air, air through my earpiece this morning might have to do it again in the break 
You've gone over. Is, is it all right in your earpiece? Oh, you see, it must be my earpiece. Oh, no, because I've got a different talk back. If that could be the talk back. Anyway, don't worry. No, it's better than the one I had this morning. Da, 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 da. What are you singing for? I didn't cut it too long. Okay. You didn't see that. Okay. Right, okay. About 10 minutes left. Yeah, no, that's fine. I just want to get on to the next part. Yeah. I won't top stitch but, but you would do in do, real life you would do in real yeah. life right okay okay so you pull the zippers into position and then you basically sew over the two ends which i'm going to do but i need to change your foot over okay i'm oh, back to the walking foot now so how come you didn't need a walking foot oh because you can go through any thickness with the with the yeah the walking foot on this is quite wide yeah no no but you had the zipper foot on then yeah and but you still got through the fabric it did struggle i'm just oh, gonna okay, put that okay so okay um, so it's just it, making it easier putting the walking foot back on. Yeah, but there is something you can do. So if your zipper foot is ever struggling when you're going over foam, yeah. if you've got pressure, release the pressure. Oh, okay. But you have to do it um, through the computer on this one. Oh, you so. can't just turn the, the, the knob at the top? No, no. Has yours got one on? I've got the 680. I don't, no, yeah, it's you got, have, my you mine's have. got a knob on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you've got one there, yeah, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So your claw has to go back into the black box. Yeah. Click that into place and then you can put your screw in. And never tighten that up too much to the point where you can't get it off. Uh -huh. Okay, so just gonna sew over these so it holds it into place. For Lovely. Me. Uh, the machine's been very popular today. I need to tell you that I now have as many machines as I've got with people in baskets. So if you all check out, that will be... I will get more. We can get more. But you need to be careful, because if someone else comes in, you might drop off the list, if you know what I mean, if you're not checked out. No, I'm not adding any undue pressure at all. Promise. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at now? Promise. Well, I'm not, because I don't That's what teenagers want... say. I promise, Mum. I promise, Mom. but I, you know... Oh, now, apparently, somebody sent me a going... Oh, I really miss lovely. And I was like, what are you talking about? Apparently, I don't say, I, go, I used to go, oh, this is lovely. And I don't say it anymore. You did used to say that a lot in the old channel as well. <laughs> I didn't realise I stopped saying it. <laughs> yeah, you obviously have. Right, so I'm just going to trim this. Cause... Lovely. Lovely, I just said it, lovely. <laughs> I haven't got any more, f oh, I've got some fabrics to go through. Maybe I'll do it, I'm not in tomorrow. Right, so ideally you would have top stitched along that. Yeah. But like I say, the YouTube Live will teach you all of this. Yeah. So the first thing you're going to do is trim off the zips. Yeah. And make sure your zip pulls are in the centre. Yeah. You're going to get your base. Yeah. And pop that right side facing down and you're just going to stitch along that bit. And it's raw edges, yes I know, but we're going to put some binding on it. Oh, okay. Don't forget as well, if you get this, if you get this, you, Becky's going to do a sew along on her YouTube channel. Uh, you don't have to be live on it if you don't want to. You can then watch it on her YouTube channel to see how you make the whole lot. I'm just taking my earpiece out because I think I've got an air block. And then you're going to bring this part of the base over to the other side of the gusset. Okay, I've got a question for you. Here how you. tall are you? I'm five foot. Oh yeah, I didn't think you were that tall. No, so I'm five foot, but I used to be five two before my accident because of the oh. discs that I had to have operated on and that, so. And where'd they take it from? That you do lose you, they pin it, don't they? What, what, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, Your discs. Oh, your discs yeah, in your so back, yeah, yeah. Yeah, two of my discs are really close at the bottom but of the But then, if you, this gets, uh, no, I'm not a doctor, so I'm, this is a stupid question. But where's the two inches of your body go then? If you, if you take two inches shorter, you've got two inches spare because here. There's like four inches between, there's, there's yeah, two yeah. discs. Yeah. And there's a bit of air between the bones, isn't there? I see. Yeah. And between your spine, between yeah, all your yeah. spine Yeah, okay. Bits. So that means your spine goes shorter. Yeah. But if you had a dress pattern, if you took two inches shorter at the back, you'd have to take two inches shorter at the front. Yeah. Where do the two inches go from the front? I don't know, but I'm just, t I don't know. 
<laughs> no, but it's weird. To think that it's like, if you had a dress pattern or bag pattern, and you say make this a two inches shorter, you'd have to yeah. do it from the back and the front, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh. Did you know in the morning? Oh um, no, here we go. <laughs> I measure five one. Right. <laughs> five nine o'clock. I'm five five foot. Yeah. Yeah. So you stretch and you sleep, oh, don't yeah, you? Yeah. 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 You oh, you stretch, so you stretch your spine back out yeah. while you're sleeping. Yeah. Unless you sleep like me, because I sleep like this. <laughs> I like to sleep like that. Oh, oh. yes, yeah, so I'm just stretching it, wouldn't I? Because it's still bent over. I can't sleep like that because it hurts my back. Oh, no. So, you also can't sleep like that because you share a bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean, it's right when you're on your own. The other thing I thought of as well, because I live, I live on my own, right? My mattress goes like that because I sleep in the middle of the bed. So Charlie and Hat are going to get into my bed, they're going to go like that into the middle. <laughs> and it's a new mattress as well. Or newish. Oh, look, Andy Lynn says, I wish I was five foot. I'm only four foot seven and a half. Oh. Susan Susan Hall says, uh, good morning, love today's show. And ha now my brother in broider machine be ne delivered in the next hour. Perfect. Yay. Oh, Sue, 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 who's it? Susan Hall. I took the embroidery machine home, right? You'll end up doing, when it arrives, you'll get out of the box. It's so easy to set up. You'll just sit there and watch it and you go, oh, I'll just do an initial. Oh, I'll just do a butterfly. Oh, I'll just do it. And you'll, you'll, it'll be nighttime and you'll be, and everyone will be waiting for their tea and you'll be watching the machine do all that. It's just brilliant. Yeah, I, I, I say it. It's not in my house. Oh, okay. I, I, Charlie thinks it's at my house. He's going to use it when he gets there. It's here. It's the one from the studio. Right, what are you doing now? Right, you so now? I've got the binding to yeah. cover up this. Yeah. So you're going to fold the two pieces into the centre. Yeah. Two long edges. And then what you should have is a quarter of an inch either side free of um, binding. Right. You're going to open it up and then stitch in that ditch along that edge. Okay, and then you're going to fold that over, flip it over, and then fold it over again. Mm -hmm. Clip that into place, and then top stitch. Brilliant. Susan says, I'm five foot tall, and when you put your arm around me for a photo at Festival of Quilts, you said I was little. I'm not little, you're tall. A lot of people said that in real life, I'm much taller and much slimmer. They used to say I was much younger looking in real life, but nobody said that this time. You are slimmer. Me, me and... Um, I think you picked up on that. You oh, are slimmer. Oh. Um, Michael? No, Jeffs and Kate from Office. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At Festival Quilts. Well, they see me every day. I know, but we said you are losing weight. I'm you, not. You might be losing inches. I'll be like this. Next time you come in, I'll be like this. Hello. <laughs> and you'll be taller than me. <laughs> you'll need this plimp. Yeah. Don't worry, it's not going anywhere now. Right, OK. So I'm just doing the other side quickly. And then you're going to roll it over and do exactly the same. So there's no raw edges anywhere then? There is, just either side. You just need a quarter of an inch either side because right. that's to do with um, when you put the other binding on, it right, just okay. means oh, there's right, no okay. bulk yeah, yeah, in yeah, that area. Yeah. But again, that's all the instructions, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Just remember, because a few people have done this, um, the binding on the bag is on the outside rather than the inside. Yeah. It oh, so when you sew it together, you sew it wrong sides yeah. together with your raw edges on the outside and then bind it. Yeah. Oh, and people have not read the instructions. Yeah. Sewn it together like they would do a normal bag and then found it really difficult to bind. Also, that's part of the design, isn't it? The binding on the outside. It's also to fit the single pages oh, in. Oh, of course, yeah. 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 Right, so you would find the centre of the base of both sides and cut into those as best as you can. And you find the centre of the zip, does it? So keep mm -hmm. that folded. Obviously, yours will be better, better made than mine. Right. You'll get your back and front panel. Obviously, we've only got the front. You're going to tuck your handle up inside there. Yeah. So it's out the way. You're going to find top and bottom and centre. 
Now this one. Nope. Nope. Yeah, lovely sharp little snips. If you look at the eight o'clock hour things we didn't play, there were some lovely, lovely little sharp snips in the eight o'clock hour this morning. Nope. <laughs> a pin. Yeah, mark it with a pen. A pin. Don't worry, Michael. Thank you, Michael, but no, it's all right, thanks. Thank you. How many times said that, thank you, Michael, but no. <laughs> it's like it trips off her tongue, so she says it all the time <laughs> at home. I'm sure your life, but her husband's called Michael as well, isn't it? Yeah, ginger lunch. Right, okay, so from the top and the bottom. Yeah. So, base. Now do it the right way round. Oh, I know. <laughs> After you just said it. I know. Flipping it. <laughs> so, bases first, line that up. You pop some clips. Yeah. We're not going to have time to do no, this. No, no, no. Just, so just yeah. going to show. Then you pop some clips there. Clip all the way around. You'll have to clip into the corners into of the, the gusset bits, yeah. on the curved bits. But do the top and the bottom first with the clips. And sew it first? No, no, no. Just put the, the clips on. Top then and the it bottom. means that you've got the right amount oh, going around course, that yeah, edge. Oh, of course. If you try and clip it, if you do the top, then clip it. You might not have it in the. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So and then clip top, clip bottom, then snip, and then clip it all the way around, yep. and then machine it around. Yeah, and then if anybody's not made Bias Binder before, I've got a YouTube video on how to. Well, have you got you? Have you got a YouTube release for cookery as well? Well, mm -hmm. oh, I'll say nothing. <laughs> Oops. Right. Okay. Let's do a recap then. So let's do pattern for the outside with hardware. Is that the one that's in at the moment? There you go. That's the one that's in at the moment. There's pattern. That's the outside bag with your hardware for the outside bag, right? Then we've got the pattern with the hardware for the inside sleeves, which we haven't even touched on today. But when when uh, Becky does her um, Sew along, YouTube sew along, it'll all be on there. 19, 19, there they are, that's what you'll make for the inside there. Lots of people have bought both of those, which is brilliant. So be ready, be ready. And uh, the thing is, if you don't want to buy, if you only want to spend so much money today, I'd always say with Becky shows, always buy the instructions with the hardware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that way you're ready to go. You've got your, you can do your own fabric and your own interfacing, things like that. Because if you, if you buy these, right, they're fantastic, but then you've got to source all the other bits and bobs, yeah, haven't yeah. you? So I just think a, a, a most affordable way to do it is by doing that. I've got the patterns on their own. Out one sold out, so you can't buy the out one anymore. And how many? There's only three or oh, three. <coughs> three of the inner one. Yeah, three of them. For twelve nine times, three of them. Hey? Hey. What's he saying now? He gets very excitable in there. <laughs> right, now I'm going to do the bundles very, very quickly. So the one, the original one was made out of is the lilac one. Well, you might as well have that. <laughs> it's the lilac one. So you get two metres of your lilac, two metres of your butterfly, two metres of your grey feather. And you get your, P thank you, Charlie. You get your PVC as well with it. <laughs> yeah, that's that one. There's only one of those left. There's only one of those left. I think as well, you might not necessarily be buying it for the bag, but that's a lovely bundle of two metres of each of those for like That'd make projects. a nice quilt. Wouldn't it just, wouldn't yep. it just. Right, so that's that one. Then the one that we just did the demo on, which is the Riley Blake one here. So you get the seagulls, the stripes, and then that lovely sort of tan colour, plus your um, PVC there. Nine of those left, nine of those left. Then we've got the uh, one with sage in it. So you get the sage, you get the boughs. Well, with, with is that the one they call linen? I think that's what linen. they call linen, wasn't yeah. it? It's not linen, but that's the colour of it. Oh, sold out, sold out, sold out, that one. And then last but not least, we've got the one with the blue boughs, two metres of the blue boughs, two metres of the ochre, two metres of the naturally seeded, plus your, oh, now very, very quickly, you were going to tell us how we get the creases out of that. Yeah, right. Okay, very quickly. So you get your iron. Yeah. Get your ironing board or mat. Yeah. Steam it up so the it's mat. nice and hot. So, yeah. yeah. And then you, whatever piece that you've cut out, lay it on top. Hold it down until it gets all misty. Take it off and then it's flat. So your iron never goes near here. So what you do is you iron your ironing board till your ironing board's hot. Put that on it. Put some body weight on the top. That'll get rid of the creases. And so your iron never goes anywhere near that. Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> oh, she's got to step off her thing. So lovely to see you. Yeah. Do you know when you're next? Yeah, October the 28th. Oh, October the 28th. I don't know if that's... We, we got our October date. And we've got a surprise. Oh, she's got a surprise. 
She can't say. She's not allowed to say. Nope. No, not even a clue. No, don't. Because if you get into trouble, it'll be my fault. And it might change. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the day before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Becky, we don't want it in pink, want it in blue. <laughs> anyway, anyway, don't go anywhere. Thank you. It's lovely to see you. No, uh, don't go anywhere because we've got uh, Emily coming up afterwards doing a folded star. But before we do that, we've just got to we'll remind you at the beginning of the next hour all the fantastic deals we've had today so far. And we'll mention the same machine and everything like that. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you in about four minutes from now. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Hi, it's Yvonne here. As you all know, I was born in Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland. And we're getting to that point in the year whenever I get to go home. From the 1st of September, the Stormont Hotel in Belfast becomes the home of Quilt Fair, which is an event that together with my friends, Margaret and Helm, we have reintroduced into the, North, into the island of Ireland. We are really looking forward to this, our second event. We have retained many of the features that you like from last year's show. We have those nice wide aisles. We have all those expert traders and our free talks and demos in our schoolhouse. In addition, this year we have added our creative workshops, which Sewing Street have so generously sponsored for us. So this year we have added in two exhibitions. One of them, Old Roots, New Shoots, is from the Irish Patchwork Society. And the other exhibition is the work from our traders. It's, it's entitled, This Is What We Do. So I really hope that I will see a lot of you there we thank everyone for their continuing support in this venture that we have to create the best little quilt show in Ireland. We have some exciting news. Sewing Street has been nominated in the Best of Craft Awards and the British Sewing Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that two years have flown since Sewing Street started and we couldn't have done it all without our Sewing Street family. Thanks to our presenters and guests for entertaining and inspiring us every day and for all of our viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We've been lucky enough to be nominated for two awards this year, which are the most loved TV shopping channel at the Best of Crafts Awards and the best sewing social media account at the British Sewing Awards. To vote, please head to our website to find out all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. 
you can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. So much going on. Now, Christine, it's fine. I've got Married at First Sight on video. It's on repeat. What's it, uh, you know, um, Watching series link, so it'll be fine. I'll have it on there. Don't worry about that. Right, before we get on with the folded star, I've just got some things to show you. Now, you must be thinking, why has he got that Gemini machine on his desk there, right? Now, the lovely candy pink one completely sold out. Completely and utterly sold out. However, yesterday, Vix had a deal with this, right? I had a Vix with this, right? 179.99, that's how much you pay for it and everything. It was only supposed to last for the day. Management haven't cleared it off. Ben noticed that management haven't taken it off, right? So, five-way split pay. Five-way split pay, right? Now, so you get the machine, you get all the plates that go with it, right? You get a free gift. You get a free gift. Look, I'll show you the free gift. It's um, a 63-piece, 63-piece of little animals, little animal dies there. 63 of them, and what? And quilting clips as well. So it say that on that? Oh yeah, and quilting clips as well. So that's your free gift, but that's not all. So you get five-way split pay, right? I'll show you what the plates are for in a minute. You get five-way split pay, you get your free gift of quilting clips and 63 dies. Also, you get 20 pounds. That's It'll take a month for it to happen, right? But you will get 20 pounds at credit added to your Sewing Street account. You won't get 20 pounds refund, I know that, they will just add 20 pounds onto your um on your three account so in about a month's time which is over a month's time you'll suddenly look at it and it'll say you've got 20 pounds credit on there so how brilliant is that so this would cost you 179 if you bought that on its own on a normal day that's how much it costs 179.99 what it comes with it comes with lots and lots of instructions you do get your two plastic sheets now these have been well used these ones these are what they call consumables so you can replace those at any crafters companion um outlet even here or sort of thing so you get your two of those you get your shim which is the one to make it thick enough to make it to go through the machine you get your metal plate to cut to, that your die sit on and cut and everything you get this one here which is a magnetic one for paper you also get an embossing sheet so that all comes and what you do is i haven't got anything here i'll show you you make a sandwich so you took you put one plastic you put your fabric you put your die you wouldn't put that much fabric your fabric your die your shim no no not your shim hang on no i do it this way right so you put your your plate your metal you put your fabric you put your die down sharp side down you put your shim on to make it fat enough and then you put the other one in feed through your machine at uh, 16 seconds it takes cut through eight, up to eight layers of fabric 179.99 this is what's important though five to me five way split pay five way split pay so you'd only pay 30 and no interest charge whatsoever right 35.99 then you get your free gift right 63 pieces plus your clips plus you get 20 pounds added to your account 20 pounds added to your account um in about a month's time for all and you i know i know 
Oh, uh, no, right, we've had a phone call. We've had a phone call. You're not, we're not supposed to be doing it. It's actually luck. midnight tonight. That's it. We will not be allowed to do it again after that. She wasn't supposed to do it. She wasn't, he, she, he wasn't supposed to. <laughs> they weren't supposed to do it. Right. The other thing I had at eight o'clock this morning was Sam Sabido's crochet along, which she launched on the 22nd, right? Sold out. She and Rebecca Reed sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. We got an extra 40 this morning. 57.99. Now, what it is, is you get all your yarn. Oh, it's only 14 left. Oh, oh, and 21 in baskets. If you want this, you need to check out. What it is, I don't know where the thing's gone. Oh, there it is, I can see it there. You don't get any instructions in it. Now, I can't open this, because... What's that noise? I think it's across across there, isn't it? It was what? It's, it's out there, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> no, it's not the builders. Uh, you get this right, and inside, I'll read it. You can't look, don't look, don't look, because it's got a secret code in it. Welcome to the Invention and Crafting Christmas Blanket Crochet Along. This is a 10 week crochet along. Every Monday, I, not me, Sam Sabido, will release the next part of the pattern via a PDF pattern, which I will email to you. Week one of the cow will be, crochet along, will be launched on Monday, September the 12th. That's not this Monday coming, the Monday after, so you'll get this in plenty of time. And the final part will be November the 14th, giving you plenty of time to make it. <laughs> what is it? Oh, okay. Right, now inside here, you get a secret code. What you need to do is when you get this home, open this, you email Sam to be It's there. It's not, it's out there. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> You'll get, you've got Sam's address in here, Sam's email address in here. Uh, and you quote your unique access code and then she then sends you all the information you need and then you'll get your thing. Shall I show a picture of it? Here it all is. Okay, here's a little section of it, but uh, Ben's got a picture of the whole thing. That's all right, we'll wait, we'll wait. While we're waiting, check out, check out, check out. What are they making out there then? No, no, they're not in the studio. No, it's, it's, it's in the, Why in the is this room. lamp vibrating then? It's just the way the sign is. Oh, okay. 57 99 We'll get it for you in a second. 22nd it was on. Have you not got to say from earlier? Oh, this rubbish, isn't it? The computer system here. Here you go, you can watch it, you can watch it. There it is, there it is, there it is. That's part of it there. And then it's hanging behind you in a minute. There you go. What's behind you is what you're gonna make for 57 99 You don't get a crochet hook, but you get all the yarn and you will get all the instructions sent to you once a week. Was it once? Yeah, it was once a week, wasn't it? Once a week for 57 99 Now, we started with 40. How many left did you say? He's just working it out. 11 left and 23 in baskets. So if you've got that in your basket, you need to check out. You need to, need, 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 need to check out because not everyone's going to get those. The other thing I got very excitable about this morning was I was meant to be in yesterday, but couldn't because of Luther. So Vic's very kindly stepped in for me and they launched this lamp, right? They did so well yesterday. They sold so many of them. We've almost beaten what they did yesterday. I'm three off beating them now, but how many in baskets? 26, so if everybody in baskets checks out, we've well and truly beaten them. Right, this is, now I'm not going to show you the same as I did before, but, oh I can actually, I can. Right, so it's a three in one, a three in one lamp, right? So this is your main section here. Oh, okay, it's just spoiling. That, there's a picture, I was just showing you. There's the standard lamp, the desk lamp, and the clamp on lamp. I was gonna show you before we showed you that picture. So. Literally, this is the main part of your lamp here, and this is your base. So you can have it as a table lamp, that you switch it one, two, it's got daylight, and it's got two different light settings like that. It's got that fantastic gooseneck. Oh, here we go. Look, I'm gonna blind you. Whoa! <laughs> So there's, so that's your, that's your um, settings there. The, the magnifier is 1.75 magnif magnification which is huge can you see it i've got the beads here with me now now the reason it moves like this 
is because the switch is just on the top there. The reason it moves like that is, as uh, Claire was saying, you don't always work down here, do you? Sometimes you're working on a painting or a tapestry or something that's there, and you want to be able to go like that and do it like that sort of thing. So that's your basic table lamp. It, it's on electric, you plug it in. It's not a, you don't charge it up, right? If you use this eight hours a day, it would last you 20 years. It's LED lights, so it's not gonna cost. And also, don't worry about your electricity bill because LED lights use hardly any electricity at all. So don't be thinking, oh, I'm not gonna be investing in a lamp just when the electricity is all going up and everything. So that's that. But then what you also get is you also get this bit here. You see this bit here? Now you can alter it to any height you want it to be just by loosening this off like, so if you're sitting in an armchair, you can take it down to there. If you sit, want it higher above the desk, shake then you just tighten it up here. Um, you literally, this, I'll bring it down, there's literally a little screw on the back there where you fit the lamp into, right? Or, or if you unscrew that screw, Michael, I'm putting the screw, I just need to do two and I've beaten yesterday. Come on. Anyway, look, so you lift this, right, right? So, you can unscrew it. So this is the main part of your lamp. It also comes with this, right? So if you want to clamp it to a table, you can clamp it as well. So it's a three-in-one desk, floor, or clamp it light. Now it's on split pay. Now, the other thing I need to tell you, look at me standing there holding this thing. Our Mon we've got exclusivity until next Monday, right? Exclusivity till next Monday. So nobody else can't get it anywhere else. And, just put that in there. Uh, the price will go up next Monday. Goes up to 146.99 next Monday. So, uh, split pay, split pay, split pay, 69.99. I've got one, one more and I've beaten yesterday. One more and I've beaten yesterday, which I will do because there's how many baskets now? 28 in baskets, you see. So they'll start checking out as the day goes on. So we'll have beaten yesterday. Yes! No, no it's, not, it's not competition. It's not competition. I'll, I'll just put that there so we don't lose it, Michael. Uh, so that was that. Now, the other thing I've got to show you just from a still, Becky Alexander Frost just used the 780 sewing machine, right? While I clear this, we can look at the still, you see. Um, there's the price. She, now remember, Becky used to have the 720 and she said that was the best machine she'd ever had. Then she got the 780 and she just absolutely loves it. It's on split pay, five way split pay. Now I know that a lot of people got it in their baskets. Now I know what you're most probably doing. You're thinking, well, I'll just have to move that to pay for that and do this. Or maybe you're buying it with someone else. You go, oh, should we get it? Should we not get it? I got the still? There it is, there it is. So I'll just pass that light to Michael while you look at that. It's a really, really, really beautiful machine. Really lovely machine. Um, and Becky just swears by it. it. It's kind of all singing, all dancing. Brilliant machine. It's the one up from mine. And it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So if you've got that in your basket, which I know lots of you have, and I'm a bit worried that you might start missing out if you're not careful. So that's £2,789, three, uh, five split pays of £557.80. Right, now Emily's back. We're going to be doing a folded star cushion, right? Um, now it's a panel, because normally what you do with the folded star, you just get loads of little scraps. And what we've done is we've printed a panel, right? So you've got all the pieces ready to cut out to do your folding and everything. So I've got blue, red and charcoal. I'll do blue first, as she said that. Which is the one actually you're going yep. to be um, making. Oh, quick message. My, 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 my message. There you go, John. You've beaten them. My wedding anniversary present from Friday, on Friday, 33 years to myself from Carolyn. Have you told him? He's got to share it with you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Only 33 <laughs> years. Blimey. I'm lucky if I make 33 minutes, me. <laughs> right. This is a panel, right? One thing we need to point out. No, that's no, not a mistake. But in the, in the pattern, it says, Get your backing fabric and everything. That's not the same as this backing fabric. We'll explain why we're making yes. that. You need a square of scrap fabric to build it on. So these are all your foldy bits, right? And then that's your backing of your cushion. And then that's, um, that's your like inner borders. edge and your sides of your cushion there. Yeah. So at 17.99, oh! You get your panel and your instruction for 17.99. Now these, 
a panel that big is normally 19.99, isn't it? Or even 14.99 if we're having a good day, right? But then you get some instructions too. Get your instructions too. Uh, they've printed it in a funny colour, haven't they? We don't normally do it in red. There we are, colour's green. I don't know why that one's red. No, no, because they're all, they're all red. They're all, it's not like mm -hmm. the red one. You know what I mean? Normally our, our colour is the greeny blue colour, mm -hmm. isn't it? Anyway, 17 99 you get the whole panel and you get the um, instructions too. So that's the blue one. Brilliant, isn't it? Lovely for a, well, it's either a Christmas project. It doesn't have to be Christmas, but a lovely project to do for somebody. Then I've got the charcoal one, which I'd have called monochrome. But here you go, there you go. There's your monochrome one. Charcoal, they've called it. Instructions and panel. Instructions and panel for that one. And then, now the red one. The reason I did the red one last is it's not red. Burgundy, it's, would you say? What? Burgundy, would yes. you call it? Yes. Well, have a look. Have a look, right? It's, it's got some red. If you mix yeah. this dye, or not no, dye, paint, you'd put red in it. Mm. But if you suddenly, if somebody went like this, tell me what colour this is, you, you wouldn't immediately go, it's red, would you? To be honest, I wouldn't go mauve. No, I wouldn't go mauve. I'd go burgundy, yeah. claret. Yeah. Bordeaux, maybe. Charlie, you throw one in now. Mulberry. Michael. Red. Think it, that's <laughs> it's not, not red. red. <laughs> <laughs> Michael works with gemstones. What gemstone looks like that? Mad I suppose you're going to go Madagascan ruby, I suppose, because it's got pink mixed with the red. No, it's not pigeon oh, blood red. I'm thinking about it now. It's like a... a um Mooka Creek, Mookite, like a Mookite kind of red. Mookite, oh. Mookite, so he works on jewellery maker more than he does gems. Oh yeah, I've seen it presenting. I have seen it presenting, it sometimes fills in. Anyway, 17 99 you get the, not the banner, that's not a banner, what's that called? Panel, and you get the instructions. There's no instructions on their own, it's only, it's only uh, as a kit. But at 17 99 you basically get the instructions for free anyway. Right, okay, shall we, let me just see if any messages came through. Did, oh yes, I've done that one. Right, okay, so where do we start then? Emily? So, um, obviously I cut everything out ready, and yeah. the main part of your folded start is those uh, rectangles that are on your panel. So you want to cut all the rectangles out, and then you need to press them all in half, right, um, wrong sides together, sorry. So folding Is the long edges together. Are they squares together. or rectangles? Uh, rectangles. So you do have to do them long way, yes, do you? Yes, so lengthways, long edges together so that the wrong sides are facing one another. So obviously you can see then your right side. Um, and then what I did is I put them all into piles of the same and then you want to put them into then eight separate piles where, where you've got one of each pattern in your piles. So right. for example, this is it's up to you what sequence you go, you can kind of do it in any order. Um, I've kind of gone so it's more like the white backgrounds and the navy, white navy, I've done it like that. And you need to space them out um, with a quarter inch between them. So I've left one set to do here. Right. So keeping the um, sort of raw edges facing downwards, I'm going to um, measure a quarter of an inch and then place the next one which one am I doing next? Underneath that. And then same again, so all that your raw edges are all along the bottom. And then my next one is this one. That was me, not Michael making that noise. Just so you don't shout at him. <laughs> so I'm just making sure there's a quarter of an inch between each one. Keep remembering what my sequence is. But yeah, you can, it's up to you which order you put it in. You don't have to put it in. Um, as long as all your, your sets then are in the same order. And a quarter inch between them. Oh, no, this is doing it differently to how I would see yeah, it before. Yes, see our... Um, Becky, Becky said that as well. She says there's a few different ways you can. Yeah, this is very different to how I, I would. I, I've seen it in the past. I think there's not no right or wrong. 
so you've done you've done the rectangles and fold, folded them over yeah place the rectangles in your desired order of color shades which is what you've yep. done in That's identical what I'm doing, parts of yep. eight Take, now this is where you, I, I don't, don't want to no, throw you, can, you under the no, bus. No, honestly, I will always admit when I make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Honestly. She walked in the first thing this morning. Went, I made I a mistake. I made a mistake. I made I a mistake. I was mortified. <laughs> it says in step three is take your background fabric square and mark it in half, then in quarters and along each diagonals. So on the panel, it says backing fabric. So you kind of think, oh, that must be it. Yeah. So you cut that out, and that's not the right. That's not the right no. piece. It tells it you tells you need, you, you need a, is it a ten inch square. Ten inch yeah. square. 10 inch square but i missed that and automatically thought when it said in the instructions background fabric you just took the background but fabric, that's yeah. not a square no. it's a rectangle so my star were a bit lopsided, yeah, lopsided would you say? Is word, yeah. yeah it were a bit lopsided but because i've done it wrong i can now tell you how to no, do no, it no, right no, so. no 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 <laughs> and i would never throw no you under no the bus or anything, no but it, it's good that you made the mistake i wanted to point that out because yes, i just think yeah. if i if it probably easy for somebody else to do the same as well, well so. also if somebody bought it and got it home and then just thought the yeah. same thing that's a whole yeah. panel wasted isn't it yeah. so it's quite good to that and, and you must never I, d I think you must never ever be frightened about owning up to oh, your mistakes no, never. or whatever because no. like that's you how say, you do it right next time exactly isn't it, isn't it? yeah so you're now placing the um starting hang on what are you doing now so, so i've got i've now so a scrap of fabric i've cut into a 10 inch square right. so obviously i've started i'm going to explain kind of what i've done so far oh, okay. Right, okay so where you mentioned doing the diagonal lines yeah. on the fabric with an erasable pen um i've just drawn from each corner a diagonal line and then done halfway in the middle right, and okay. across brilliant um and then if i sort of just kind of move these out of the way and then what you do is you get two sets of these that I've done. Yeah. And you're gonna put them on the, ha you're gonna kind of find the halfway mark and pop it right up to the center line. So obviously that's starting right in the center. So yeah. the top of this, like the top of one of these. Yeah. Is right in the center. Same with the one on the other side and then sew down that center line. Right. And then I've done the same then. So you kind of then have to move these ones out of the way then while you're set your next set up but you go yeah, in then across I, so the way i've seen in the past is you do one you don't sew them all on all at the same time you just sew one lot on yeah yeah but anyway yeah but the, and then so i've done that way that done way away. and the next ones is going to be basically in between right those and ones and you do that before you've done any folding as well yes then. Oh, that is yeah. not strange, not strange, just different, yeah, different, because you've got so many things there to yeah, deal with, haven't that's you? it. So there is quite a lot of bulk, but like yeah. I said, the machine should go through it fine, oh, yeah, it should, yeah, yeah. should be fine. So what I'm doing then is, one that's on the side and one that's sort of on the bottom, I'm going to move them out of the way. Right. And then I'm going to get another set of these, and then I will probably have to adjust them again. And again, finding that halfway mark, and I'm going to pop that right, right at up that at the point top there. there. So, have you stitched the four? Sorry to interrupt. The four, the four that you point, you've stitched yes. down that centre line, have you? Yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to adjust this because obviously now I've picked them up just a bit. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure that it's halfway. Yeah. And then just pop a few pins in there just to just to hold it all together. I suppose it just goes to show there's so many ways, isn't there, you can do... Oh yeah, no, totally. Yeah, loads of things. It's... I know Becky was saying she's done it a different way to what it were in yeah. that book. So then what I'm gonna do is from that center point there, I'm gonna sew down the middle, so like meet back up then with the line, the line there. The bottom. I suppose what you also have to be careful of is because you're going against the folds, aren't you? You don't want them to yeah, as curl, machine like, through the cat might curl. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Underneath. So you could go, you could go the other direction, I suppose. But for me, no, 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 because then you, then you, oh, well, you mean sew from the other direction? Yeah, you could no, start. No, you want it to be dead in the centre. You don't want a ball yeah. bit in the middle, do you? Uh, you're more likely to be able to get it in centre, aren't you? Yeah. Doing it this way. I'm just gonna this as I go because it keeps stop muttering do, 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 do. are you singing now that you're muttering yes so it's just I would put as many pins as you need to kind of keep this all straight yeah yeah because what you don't want you don't want the background buckling up and you also yeah. don't want to catch either of the ones on either side do you no Thank you. 
So then that's that one. And then we're going to do the exact same at this side. So I'm going to turn this round. And I'm going to put the next set. I'm going to have to readjust them because... You probably what you could probably do is you could tack these together maybe in some way if you. Well, yeah, the way I've seen it in the past is that you sew one on at a time. I think. I'm what each think one now. of these? Yeah. Mm, yeah, because you're not that's thing into. I suppose there's. I suppose once you've no, got the on. panels. No, hang on, I'm just trying to think now. Yeah. I can't remember. It's been a while. Hmm. And I'm going to do all the exact same, starting at the centre and going yeah. down the middle. I'll be singing on the way home in the car. Will you? Yeah, probably. I do like to sing. What Not will you be singing to? Probably. Will you have the radio on, just sing along with the no, radio? No, I normally have music on on my phone, but I don't like listen to... Everybody's probably going to laugh at this now. So I had this playlist that I found on uh, Spotify yeah. that's called Songs to Sing in the Car. No. Yeah, because obviously, because I'm quite tired after early morning, I, I like to have something that I can just bop along yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's normally like, there's all sorts on there, like Spice Girls, there's current things, all the things. Oh. There's all sorts on there, so probably I've, I had that on this morning. You got what? I had that playlist on this oh, morning. Oh, okay. So Are you going to have the same one on going home? Probably. I just carry on where I left off. Oh, okay. Oh, it's yeah. quite long then. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to go and find it. <laughs> Songs to sing in the car, if anybody's interested. Uh -huh. So I've got another two lots left, and I'm going to do them on the opposite okay, two. Okay, brilliant. So just moving these out of the way. Ginger Spice is my favourite Spice Girl. Oh. Well, she was when they were... When they, I mean, I don't really think about them that much these days, but <laughs> when they were at the height of their fame, I wanted to be Ginger Spice. can't say it's a band I've really ever been. Oh? But I, th I think w they were... Spice Girls were big when I was very, very young. All right. So, not not to rub that in, but... What year was their first number one, then? Michael will know yeah, this. Yeah, we need to... 95. Year I was born. <laughs> okay. And I was on a Bond film. Wow. Yeah, Michael's 95. into music, he knows these things. Year I was born. So the Spice Girls were number one the year you were born? It must have been. At some... Oh, my word. It's funny though, because I went to the gym on Monday um, and when I woke up on yesterday, obviously it was my birthday, yeah. and I did ache, but a part of me were like, is that because of the gym or is this just what 27 feels oh, like? Oh, shut up. Wait till you get to 62, girl. <laughs> but I was like, who knows, because normally I don't ache that much when I've been to the gym, yeah. so maybe it were just... Maybe you, weren't de you were a bit dehydrated. <sighs> possibly, possibly. But yeah, I just thought that were really funny. I said that yesterday to people. I said, well, that must this must be what 27 uh, now feels like. <laughs> and then you usually oh. get, wait till you get to this age. <laughs> Although I go to another exercise class and I think I'm the youngest there and everybody else is a lot fitter than I am. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. What exercise class do you go to then? Well, I go to quite a few different ones. So I go to, the main one I go to is in Wakefield, which is about 20 minutes drive from Barnsley. Yeah. Um, not if you're on the bus, it isn't. Not on the bus, probably a no. bit longer than that. And they're normally like circuit classes or we've done boxer size, so you can punch out all your frustrations yeah. and everything. Um, but then I go to one then with my auntie that's like a cl club size it is called. So it's like all like club music and you do it in dark, with the dark with glow sticks. 
That's not exercise. That's just but going out like, clubbing. No, but there's a routine. So you know, like some bit like, oh, like Zumba. Zumba. Oh, yeah. so you have to learn the steps. You can't just dance. Yeah. So we'll kind of we're always at the back of the class. Yeah. Mind you, I think that's um, why I was so slim when I was younger. I used to go clubbing all the time and just sweat yeah, all Saturday yeah, night long. Just yeah. dance. And I only drank water, so um, just danced and danced and danced. So now that's uh, you do it with glow sticks. It's quite funny. Yeah. So this is the last. Is it really step. loud, the music? Yeah, fairly. Oh no! So when we used to do spinning, they used to have the. I used to go spinning with my friend Luana, and um, the music was so loud. That was in darkness as well. Yeah. But now you've got like glow sticks, and you do it with glow sticks. But normally, we'll just get the routine, and then it'll switch songs. Oh, okay. And then you've then it's That's another changed. routine, oh, no. and then we'll just get that one. Ali said, "27. I've got socks older than that." <laughs> So that's oh, that's an impressive pair of socks that well, yeah she's got a lot of old things in her life that's an impressive pair of socks that right so this is what oh, you're you, I've got a t-shirt what was that t-shirt I wore I, I came to work one day I was late and I just threw a t-shirt on it was the interview the vampire t-shirt and the yeah. t-shirt was older than Charlie <laughs> when I worked on a film called interview the vampire that's anyway so you've got it folded so this is what it <gasps> looks like at the moment now that's but so that's frightening when you look at it like that yeah, isn't it, it? Is. But just look at it at one section at a time. Yeah. So we're going to sort of part a little bit here and we're going to work on this little triangle here right. first. So obviously we've got, we're kind of going to work with half of this bit. And oh, it is half completely this different bit. then. Yeah. Because oh, the way I've always done, sorry, the way no, we've always fine. done them in the past is don't you go like that and like that? What and work from the bottom? Oh, whichever, uh, hang on. That's so weird. So what they're trying the to do? I suppose though, when you've got, if you've done it before and you've got the panel, yeah, you could probably do it. Starting with the way. right hand side, take the top piece and fold it in half, form a triangle. Which is like that. Right, and come through between. The, no, no, you're right. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not questioning, yeah. but it's completely no, no. different. It's, there's quite must be quite a few ways. Or uh, i would never, never done a fold. Oh, uh, and also. This picture on the front is a digital picture, so you yeah. can't actually see where yeah. the folds of fabric are, can no. you? Anyway, carry on, sorry, yeah. carry on, carry on, carry on. So, um, we're going to start with the top layer and we're yeah. going to alternate sides. So, oh. we're going to fold that sort of from the top corner towards the triangle. Yeah, and you just got one triangle there, you just got one piece just of fabric. Just the one piece of fabric, yeah. and then you're going to fold it over into this centre triangle, but then fold it back. Oh! And then you do the same with this side. That's so different. I wonder who wrote these instructions. And we're just going to do then another uh, row. So we're going to do the next one down. How intriguing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not questioning no, you at no, all. No, 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 that's fine. But it's very, very different to how I've ever seen one done before. So same with the one underneath. Fold it sort of to a triangle, fold it over, and then fold it back. And then because it's a quarter of an inch, you'll still be able to see the top one. Right, okay. And I'm just gonna do the same on the other side before I stitch these in place. And I'm just gonna sort of stitch two at a time. Did I ever go to Japanese Whispers in Barnsley? I don't think that would have been open I when I was there. I've heard of Japanese Whispers. Yeah, exactly. Though, I know exactly heard, it wouldn't have been open that, when yeah, I was in, in it's, 1979. Um, it's one of those restaurants now. Um, oh, it's a restaurant. Um, all you can eat, um, like meat places, so like, where there's like a salad bar, but then people come round with like meat on a stick, like big, like kebab looking type oh. meat and then you have a card that says yes or no and they'll keep coming round with meat unless oh. you're on no yeah. and it's like all oh, you can eat meat so you come out with meat sweats oh no well i don't have vegetarians oh, are you? no good no, for me no would definitely it? not for you then definitely uh, don't not worry you. john we're all with you watching these young demonstrators just keep going with the collagen it works just remember you've more experience in life i have fiona i haven't started the new collagen yet i'm still on the reverse life i'm going to take the new collo one with me when i go on holiday Anyway, carry on. So, once I've done two layers, I'm basically going to stitch. Oh, okay. okay. Like a little V shape just yeah. at the bottom here. Right. Just to hold them two in place, just so I'm not stitching through 
I mean, obviously, as we go down, we'll be adding more layers. But yeah, yeah, but it means it's not going to slip because if you don't stitch till you're right at the bottom, yeah, the top can ones move can out slip, of place. So it's just kind of like a. It, it, it describes it in the instructions as a wonky V. Oh, it was a nightclub and it changed its name to Regent's Park, apparently. No, you see, I didn't go clubbing that much in Barnsley. I had you this had, field. You had your coffee, though, didn't you? You had your... I had my frothy it, coffee, yeah. yeah. Your frothy coffee. Because we had, we had a disco every Wednesday and every Saturday at the college day at Bretton Hall, so I didn't even need to leave the, build, leave the complex, sort of thing, the campus. Hey. You were... In Dewsbury? Did you live there? Oh no, because I did my first ever teaching practice in Dewsbury. So that's oh. the little V shape there, and then I'm just going to do same again. So folded. So you first, how many? Sorry, how many did you do before you stitched it? Two. Two. Just the two. And so I'm two just going to work in. Yeah. And so, then so you can do two more each yeah. side as well. And then fold it back. So try and. It's the Yorkshire sculpture part now. Nice Yorkshire Sculpture Park, actually. Nice, That's lovely. not far from uh, where, well, it's about a 10 minute drive from where I live, that Yorkshire Sculpture yeah, yeah, Park. That's yeah, yeah, because that's where I was at college, you see. Oh, right. At Bretton yeah. Hall. And then we used to catch yes. the bus into either Barnsley or Wakefield, you see. Yes. Yeah, because you're kind of in between both yeah. there, really, but aren't the you? Barnsley was much cheaper because you've got subsidised buses, you see. Yeah. Back in the day. So that's another two layers, and I'm right. going to do the same again, just like a sort of V shape. Okay, lovely. I've, um, while well, we're just stitching that, I've got three of Emily's other patterns here. Uh, oh, hang on, no, two, no, uh, three, three, three. I don't know why I've got two of that one. So, ruffle top, first of all. These are very, very simple patterns that um, Emily did for last time she was on. 9.99, confident beginner. We've also got jersey midi skirt. Uh, what date did we do these on? It, it was... 15th of June. June, yeah. June. June. <laughs> and then I've got the um, Jersey Midi skirt. That was the same day, I think. In fact, all of yeah, these were the same them, day, yeah. weren't they? For some reason, they've sent me three um, circle scarf patterns. Oh. Have they stopped talking? Oh, hang on. My whole um, thing has just stopped. Technical difficulties. Sorry, <laughs> I have no idea which way it goes in now. Hang on, let me just click that on there. Just talk to me, Charlie. Is he talking? Oh, hang on, there they are, there they are, there they are. All our batteries are running out today, aren't they? Sorry. No. So hang on, what was I in the middle of? It was jersey midi skirt. And then we also had um, circle scarf. Oh, Michael's already had his sandwich. I thought he'd brought a Tupperware dish in then with his pudding <laughs> in it. Right, okay, carry on, Emily. So I've got four left on each side. So this next bit you can kind of do, because in the pattern it says to do the next two just exactly how we've done. Right. And then the last two you would just fold in half without folding back. Right, so it covers up the raw edges yeah, of one above. Yeah, but I think I'm going to do that with the bottom four because I just feel like it gives it a okay. better finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as opposed to, you're just going to fold it the once, fold it over once fold over and then same with the next two and obviously any raw edges then that were are all yeah of course in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then i'm just going to do the same again just do like a little lovely stitch Three. there before we do the last two my sister went to bretton hall a good 12 years before you oh crikey yeah, I was there 78 to 81. Hey. 
and then the final two as opposed to stitching in place we're just going to end up pinning them oh, okay. because then there's going to be like um let me just show you we're going to end up like putting um a triangle on the corner triangle on the corner okay, like that so i'm just going to fold these And I'm just going to pop a pin there to hold it in place. Yeah. Well, you could do a little tacking stitch either. That would probably. Yeah, because you're, you're going to end up with pins all the way around. Yeah, it, aren't you, it'd be better if you could do little tacking stitch, tacking yeah. stitches. But then that would be one. Right. One triangle there, so then and then we work you, as way around. Do you work round or do you work in opposites? I'd probably do it round, me. Okay. Go on then. Yeah, I'd probably do it round. I think that's how I did. So that's how I did last one, obviously that one we're a bit skew with, but so same again, I'm going to move that out of the way and then we're going to do it in this section here. Yeah. So fold to a triangle, fold into the space and then fold back. Same with this side. And then it fits like quite compact then basically yeah, in that yeah, little yeah, space. Yeah. Same with the next row. So triangle, fold over, fold back. And then I'm gonna do the little okay. stitch that we've been doing. So you don't you only need the iron at the beginning when you're pressing yeah. the, the the square the rectangles in half, really, yeah. don't you? And then when you do, obviously once the triangles are on the corners and the, there's the borders, obviously like when oh, you yeah, yeah, your yeah, seams yeah. for that bit, but. Oh. No, it's right, they just cut out to come back in now. So I think we need it. our uh, talk backs looked at, Charlie. So triangle, yeah. fold over, fold back. Same again on this side. Just doing it in twos, two on each side. Um, I think also, before you cut your panel up, I'd write down, I don't suppose I should say this, I'd write down all the sizes of the rectangles and everything like that because I think, imagine doing this in a rainbow of colour. Yeah, it's I all think very it well says doing the, in the instructions what size. I'm, in what? I'm sure it says in the instructions what size the rectangles what size they all are. are. I'm sure. I think the rectangle, the little rectangles, I'm sure it does. Oh, it does. It does. Yeah. So you don't even need to measure them or anything like that. You could just literally use, once you've made this one, in keep this, this yeah. and then use your scrap fabrics, your fat quarters and everything like that. And you can just create a beautiful rainbow one and everything. Because you could, you could use it as a panel in a tote bag or anything. Then mm -hmm. couldn't you really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we've called it a cushion. But you can do whatever you want with it when yeah. it's finished. The only thing you've got to remember is it is quite heavy because there's yeah. so much fabric in there, isn't there? There is. So how many have I got left? So now I've got the four left on each side. So like I did with the other one, I'm just going to fold it into a triangle, fold it across. Okay. Triangle cross same again again just working in twos and I'm going to do the little stitch again so once you once you've kind of done one you're getting to quite a rhythm yes of course yeah um, For the last two, I'm just going to pin it in place. But you'll get a good idea then with two next to each other what, yeah, yeah, what exactly. it's beginning to look like. It's just like plating, really. It's like yeah, it's you, quite you know, it's therapeutic, three in a plait. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. But that's what it looks like when you've now got two together. It's Fabulous. Yeah, 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 it's working now. You can kind of see star coming to yeah. come together now yeah. and I'm just basically going to work work round here yeah don't exactly worry about doing same. another one so you literally work all the way yeah, round all the way around 
Then you've got triangles. So the triangle, the triangles are obviously on the. Are the triangles a square that you've had to cut in half, or yes. are they triangles on the panel? Yes. Yeah, so there were two squares, and um, that then I've cut all in half. Let me just grab these ones. There we go. Um, so once that's all sewn together, yeah, you just kind of pop that like that, so I can kind of get a bit of an idea. You would put that kind of mat your point of the triangle will match up with the point of the star. Yeah. Making sure that you're going to get all your edges in. So you'd sew that. And then that would obviously then fold back. you will probably end up trimming this square Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I was going to say, you might not. Yeah, because um, if you look on the picture here, they don't go, they, they don't get, those triangles don't meet. meet. There, there's a gap Yeah, there. there's like a gap in there yeah, at each. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you would do that with all your, all your four triangles. Yeah. And then you've got these strips. So you've got a thin strip that goes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see. Strips. So there's a narrow border. And then you've got four of the okay. wider strips that you would stitch on. And then you've around. got the, the backing fabric yes. on the panel is so, for the back yeah. of your cushion. Yes, so don't make that same mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's basically two, just to make like an envelope back cushion. Yeah. So hem. Hem, uh, one long edge on each. Yeah. Just I did just like a double hem. Yeah, it's plenty it big place. enough, isn't it? Yeah, you probably again you'll probably end up trimming this down. Um, yeah. Not by much, but you, you'd all trim end up trimming this down. So did you did you, what you did on your first one is you cut that rectangle out and tried to make your yes triangles all up. fit on there. Yeah, and it, yeah. So Cause, I because it's not a square. So you can see yes. I like. You can yeah. see because it's not a square, it kind of went. Yeah. You know when this. Yeah, they're different. They're they different. were no. Well, it's not symmetrical. Yeah, that's the so word I'm yeah, looking yeah, for. It's not symmetrical. symmetrical. Yeah. Okay, so that's your backing to make that. Yes. Now on the picture, it's got an extra border, but it hasn't got an. It hasn't so got another. there oh. is some binding. Um, oh, I've not so cut do they sew out. it? Do they sew it? wrong sides together and then bind round the bound edge of the whole the cushion edges, yes. oh so there is an extra binding yeah. on it as well but again if you don't want to make it a cushion yeah you, you can make it a wall hanging make it a tote bag, tote make bag whatever you want. Yeah. yeah exactly anything really like you said you could do a quilt i mean like i said it has got a bit of weight to yes, it yes yeah definitely but well, it's got so uh, much when you think about it, well it's got all of this in it hasn't it really yeah, all yeah, folded and yeah. sewn and everything brilliant when are you in next um i want to set 15th of september not long Two after weeks. I come back off my holiday, yeah. Ooh. So I need nice to get and, organised. I was going to say, be nice and brown, you'll be nice and rusted. Yes. From I'll all the probably rain. be soggy from rain, yeah, won't exactly. I? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh. Anyway, lovely to see you. And you hope too. You have, I hope you carry on enjoying your birthday week. Thank you very much. Right, OK, let me just recap then. Which colour, which is the most popular? Blue. It's because you were doing yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah. So what you get is you get your instructions and you get your panel lovely big panel there with all your so which one was you which one's your binding then is that it there? The, oh there there yes up there oh at the top there up at the yeah. top there beautiful isn't it so you get the panel and the instructions for 17.99 hold that up for michael otherwise you'll get stroppy <laughs> then the red in second place Oh, look, somebody else needs to stand now. You've got a little guest on as well today. Has Kat sent us her, her menu? Oh, that's right then. So here's the red one, not red. Mulberry, burgundy, claret. Or oh, Michael thinks it's red. Beautiful, plus your instructions, 17.99. And then we've got the monochrome slash charcoal gray. There you go. Be very stylish, the black one, I imagine. Especially if you did if you incorporate some um, Lurex thread in it somewhere. Yeah. Just give it a bit of glitter. Plus your instructions, $17.99. Uh, now, I just need to just recap my book. Only because they're, they're, they've only got about, we only had about 57 of these left this morning. Okay, how, how many left, sorry? Oh, 56, 56, 46, 45. There's 45 left now. 40, and they haven't bought any more from me. 
They haven't bought any more, so there's only 45 of these left. You do get, say that again. Oh, 39 now. You do get a signed photo with this as well. Use it as a bookmark straight away afterwards. Uh, so if you haven't heard about my little book, I don't know how you can't have heard about it. It's uh, all sewing tips. It's got stories of my life. It's got my life story. It's got recipes. It's got mantras. It's got all sorts of gorgeousness in it. £12.99. pence. Plus your... I thought you'd want me then. I said, yeah, I'm Gemini. Uh, right, have you got a picture or do I need to get, to get it out? Oh, you've got a picture. Good. Gemini machine. Now, this will... This deal will disappear at midnight tonight, right? He's been told in no uncertain terms. First of all, you've got it on five-way split pay, so you're paying 35 99 today and then four more of those afterwards. Secondly, look at the price, the present you get for buying it. 63-piece uh, animals, uh, applique dies, not applique dies, no, yeah, applique animal dies, plus your clips, plus your quilting clips, plus, as if that wasn't enough, in a, oh, just over a month's time, you will get £20 credit added to your Sewing Street account. I know the Crafters Companion ladies were, what well, was it, Sue, did you say? Who, oh, Debbie, Debbie was on yesterday. Oh, was absolutely incandescent, because she's got quite a lot of power there, and she said even she wouldn't be allowed to do that. Uh, anyway, we're not supposed to be doing it either, because it was a one, spe one day special, right? And uh, well, no, we noticed that nobody turned it off, oh, taken it off, so we did it. Now, last but not least, the gorgeous magnifier lamp. It was only launched yesterday. It's completely and utterly exclusive here. You cannot get it anywhere else. On, and that's till next Monday. Next Monday, the price goes up to £146.99. Um, and it's a three-in-one lamp. I've only got one of them here, but we'll show you the picture, right? It's a th I've done two more than they did on the launch now. But there are still 30 in baskets. There are still 30 in baskets, right? Ooh. So there you go. You've got the table lamp. You've got the floor lamp. And I'll show you in a minute how you do it onto a clip-on lamp. Right, I've got any of these plugged in. No, I'll plug them. Oh, you, Michael. He's very good, this Michael. Right, I've got, I've got to go quickly. got to go very quickly because time's up. Look. Look at the swivel top, right? It's got two different brightnesses. It's daylight, right? And it's like that, so you can work on something on the table, but you can also work on something over there. 1.75 um, magnification. Uh, you have to plug it in, but if you use it for eight hours a day, it'll last you, 20, did you say 20 years? 20 years, right? It's got a lovely solid base. You can add the length onto it to make it into the, um, the standard lamp, or you could just put it in the clamp like that and clamp it onto your table. Uh, so machine very quickly lots of you got this in your basket i've got two more i've got to run out of time i'm gonna run out of time got a picture how many nine of those in baskets now nine of those in baskets please make sure you check out before midnight tonight at uh, 557.8 uh, inch of split pay right tomorrow's menu it's not me i'm in belfast tomorrow Here's tomorrow's menu, Liberty Fabric with Susie Duncan at 8 o'clock, the dressmaking book with Rebecca Harrison at 9 o'clock, we've got 10 o'clock strips and stripes quilt with Susie Duncan, 11 o'clock Sussex Seamstress Pattern with Rebecca Harrison, and 12 o'clock Creative Grids Masterclass with Susie Duncan, it's a full day tomorrow. Hobby Maker, if you're staying on air, Hobby Maker across there, Cats Producing, I'm not sure who's presenting, Bert and Gert's new floral stamp collection. We've got brand new and exclusive bundle, Crafters Companion, Crafters Inspiration, issue five magazine. More from Crafters Companion. Oh, two, two Crafters Companion together, issue five. Oh, that's on for two hours, you see. Then at four o'clock, Bert and Gert's bring us Zyla, Zila products and more mixed media inspiration. And then at five o'clock, native lighting returns with Claire Donnelly, but they will not, I repeat, not, have this. This is exclusive to us until Monday. In fact, we'll hide the samples just in case Kat tries to put it in on her show. Um, anyway, uh, thank you so much for your company. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. We, uh, well, I'm back on Saturday and Sunday. We've got Anna Sanders from uh, Alice Caroline on Saturday and Mandy Shaw on Sunday. Uh, if you're going to Belfast, I'll be there for the opening at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Just remember, I have to get up at three o'clock to get the plane there. Um, and, so, and then I've got to do the talk in the evening, so I'm going to be a wreck by tomorrow. Anyway, thanks ever so much, company. I'll see you on Saturday. Take care. Make, make sure you check out your baskets on this, the sewing machine, the Gemini, and the oh, the, the Sam Sabine Days Crochet Long. Uh, I'll see you Saturday. <laughs>